Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. This evening, in this quizzical journey of murder, mystery, excitement, and death, I'm joined by my good pal and good buddy, Lycos Lore. Lore, are you with us? Indeed. Spiritual voice of each other. Yeah. So. Okay. Cam. Like Glenny Boy. Anything about this game? I don't know anything, aside from some of the notes that I've seen online, still shots and whatnot of. Our favorite Sonic the Hedgehog characters in various different outfits and whatnot, and a, an image of Sonic dead on the ground. Bro, says Lorelai. Bro, indeed. Your brother is with us now. If not, only in spirit. I hope we can hear him well enough. If we can't hear Glenn well enough, I will turn up the volume. <laughs> or at least attempt to. Yeah. I like over here, in... Over in the... In the Loratorium. Uh, I'm pretty sure you sound fine, but... Dude. Game volume might be too loud. Well, let me see if I can do anything about fixing that. Make Lenny Boy a lot more fired up. I just gotta, like... How do I increase your volume on Discord? <laughs> I gotta do that first. Uh, okay. I'm pretty sure you can, like... Oh, shit. No, this is group chat. Is that... Output volume? Oh, wait a minute. Glenn, keep talking. Hi. Hi. I'm like a floor. Like, chill and have fun. That's what we do here. Is that a little better? Is that a little better? I think I think Glenn's volume has gotten louder. Great. Glenn, can I'm you hear? I'm assuming that's good. I, I hope so. We'll see. We'll see. But man, we have our favorite characters. We have Astio, Baxter, Blaze, Everybody. Rouge, Everybody. Everybody. Fun We're fact, Army says Lorelai. This game was obtained by her on March 31st and forgot that April Fool's was a thing. Honestly, I thought... I thought that... I, I legitimately thought that this game was an April Fool's joke. Game is game is too loud. Okay, let's turn that down a little bit. Okay, also, I'm gonna move How my about this? setup up a little closer so you can see me. Indeed, indeed. I do very yeah, much do appreciate your feedback, Lorelai. I thought I did an audio test beforehand, but to be fair, the game is... Ooh, Discord and game plus same aim time make, uh, make stream very weird. So hopefully this is a little right. bit better. And also, for all of you lovely people watching at home, I hope the game will look okay. There might be a little bit of lag because of Discord and... Indeed, Lycos... and I are not in the same room. Lycos, Laura, and I have been experimenting with more combined content. He's one of my best friends and also fellow content creators, so we are attempting to tackle this journey together. More... There are powers and yes. numbers. Also, I thought we just wanted to play a Sonic game together. This is fair. I've been wanting to play a Sonic game with Glenn for a very, very long time now, and this seemed to be the least computer-intensive game that I could possibly play with my buddy. Holy shit, I just realized we've never played a Sonic game together. We haven't, and it's insane, because we both love Sonic wow. the Hedgehog. We love oh him God. so much that we're going to put in all the effort that we can to figure out who the hell murdered our pal. Yeah. In any case. Lycos, maybe what do you think? Maybe... Maybe think, it's charming. Maybe it's charming. I, I think it was charming. I think it was that stupid bee. I'm dumb saying right here and now, I think Charmy B was the killer. All right. Lyco, shall we begin this journey? Let us let a go. Let's a go, as Sonic always says. Yeah, his, you know, his favorite catchphrase. Yahoo favorite and Whippy. Ellipses. Glenn, would you mind if I take main narrator character? Yeah, go for it. Oh, perfect. Phew, made it on the train 15 minutes ahead of schedule. So far, so good for my first day on the job. Oh, I totally forgot my name tag isn't ready yet. I should make one. I'll just sign my name here. What's your, what, what is your name? Oh, Glamrin. Glamrin, It's the two of us it. together. Oh my gosh. Lorelai says, one of the more polished Sonic games stylistically as a result this game is. Knuckles OVA hat brings so much joy. Like with the cowboy, I love it. Yeah, that's right, because he had his little treasure hunter hat in the yeah. uh, first Sonic I uh, love movie. It. It's so great. <sighs> Glamour. I love it. Did I spell that right? Am I supposed to pronounce the X here? I don't think so. Yeah. 
Listen, you do not pronounce the X. I mean, never. Yes. You never pronounce the X. I hope passengers can read my scribble. <laughs> the scribble comes from the Cameron side. The chicken scratch from the from the Lyco side. Yeah, you can't read my handwriting even. Glam, though why no why are we wearing pants? Why aren't we wearing pants? Who needs pants in this modern? Who needs society? pants in a murder mystery? <laughs> uh oh, am I nervous? Is this my first day on the job, jitters? <laughs> Working the train's dining car it can't be so bad. Come on, Glamour, and shake it off. Just <sighs> shake it all off. Do as uh, Taylor Swift would. Ouch! Oh shit, we got slapped. Well, shit, Mo, who did that? <laughs> Oh my god, a conductor? Did I just see you hitting yourself? Mr. Conductor, sir, how are you doing this morning? Oh, quite all right myself, though feeling a little bittersweet. Why'd you hit yourself, you freak? Uh, I don't know, I got first day on the job jitters. Is that because you're a sweetie? Get it? Because, like, bittersweet and all? Trying to butter me up on the first day, are we? <laughs> yeah, I kind of like your face. Where'd you get that mustache? Can I lick it? Save it for my private chambers. Alas, today is my last dance, conductor. I'm retiring after 32 wonderful years. I'm to die. Oh my! Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Time for me and the Mirage Express to say goodbye to one another. Oh well. Congratulations on retirement, sir. It's a shame I can't get a taste of that beautiful mustache before then. And like that, you put the nail in my coffin. Oh. Thank you. My wife is very excited about that. She's oh. already got our plane tickets to Fagonia Law. Oh, you have a wife? That's just the first I'm hearing this, Conductor. My apologies. I just met you, and this is crazy. Our shower's been on the fritz, so I'm excited to use the hotel spa. Fa oh. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I can really I see why his wife's excited. I understand. Uh-oh. No, enough of looking at me. I mean, uh, enough of my quibble. Today's your first day working at the dining car. Here's the menu. Oh, boy. <laughs> Is your mustache on the menu? <laughs> and you add it to your inventory. Oh, thank you. Is that Omachow? I can open the inventory at any time to view items I've received, and I should look over the menu more carefully. Oh, Dom! Dom popping in here with the beautiful... <laughs> Ten months! Oh my god, what'd it do? What'd it do, my friend? I... Also, uh, warning, I might be snacking through this. I have some triscuits. Oh, that's okay. Discord, Discord has content. the beautiful ability of n negating any sound effects like that. We're already off to our first party hat this evening. But what's in my inventory? Oh. It's the menu. Oh, the Mirage Express dining menu. It features chili dog, instant ramen, chili dog, chicken cordon bleu, and yet another chili dog. Oh, look. Chili dog. Chili dog. And more chili dogs. What an expansive menu. Expansive indeed. Why do you look so nervous? All we have on the train is a microwave. <laughs> you see, microwaves scare me. Yeah, it's... I don't- I don't see what's so funny. Why are you laughing at me? Wait, why is ramen with a microwave? I mean... No, I'm sure a little quiz is in a way. Quiz? This would be a test? Which of these do we serve in the dining car? Uh, chili dogs, obviously. Uh... Uh, chili dog! Ding, 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 I'm glad you can read. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with this guy condescending me. Uh, like, seriously, he literally just handed you a menu. What, this, you read what is this guy's problem? Oh, so there's only three things. Well, <laughs> oh, a little about the vessel. This is a state-of-the-art heart, high-speed smart tray with all the latest gadgets. Latest gadgets, including Dom Star's mention of the Malibu Cream Savers drink. I don't know what you actually call that. I did see you mention it. I don't think I have that in particular, but I've been considering putting bubble gum in vodka. And Lorelai says, bro, we've lived that life. They make bowls to make it easier. <laughs> they got bowls, conductor. <laughs> I say in response. The train can really handle anything you throw at it. <laughs> including another train. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bubblegum vodka feels like a trap. 
<laughs> it's like double fucking, bubble bubble gum. Like fucking Eggman just throws another train at this train and it just bounces off. What if Eggman just throws his entire body into the front of the train and just, you know, <laughs> dies? It's an idea. We've had a lot of adventures together, me and this train. It's not easy to leave. After 32 years, I don't blame him for being a little wistful. Makes sense. This train is exclusively used for events. It's not a passenger train. Oh. Well, what do you call me? I'm a passenger. There's no eggs on the here. menu. I remember that from the interview. So, what's the event today? Is it perhaps murder? A murder mystery party. Nothing Lord. better than some thrills to end my tenure as conductor. I wow, you it. actually nailed it right on the money. Wow. Incredible. Guests will be funneled here to the dining car as a home base, so to speak. Hmm, a home base for death and murder and mystery and party. Murder. I'll, I'll be with you to gather tickets, but after that you'll be on your own. Oh boy. And still after 32 years, somehow this train is state of the art? Doubt. Why do we still use tickets? I'm confused. So I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? And then the non-paying guests will be brutally murdered? I mean, I can't afford. I can't afford to lose this job. Bacano. Bacano? That 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 game that game anime with the with the with the murders and and the immortality. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll throw them onto the tracks. The non <laughs> You just can't. The seven is lousy. <laughs> <laughs> The We're conductor's shadowed design might be a reference to the night on the galactic road. I don't know what that is. Oh, I've heard of that. It's it's an old anime. Oh, an anime? Oh, really? We appreciate yeah. anime references. I believe, I believe so. It could be wrong. Actually, no, no. I might be mistaken for my health. Dude, Laurel, I would know. That's not me. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Doors to the Mirage Express are opening. All aboard! Choo-choo! Uh, or something. Oh, there's the choo-choo! Man, I love those colors. Dude, it's got like a star on the front, and it totally reminded me of like the star shades from like the end of Gurren Lagann. Dude, it's got star bomb and pansexuality colors. We appreciate that. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! It's a beautiful train. We've got, we've got, we've got Charmy B in the front. We've got, we've got Takal next, and we've got Tails, obviously. No, I thought I thought that was chaos. Oh, it's chaos, duh! <laughs> the big water monster. Oh, that's oh, that's not charming. Charming baby. Wow, this train's incredible! What fascinating tech! You're train like this. Oh yes, a good voice actor. Oh Glenn, you're gonna <laughs> try not to scream so loud because the Discord is cutting you out. You're too oh, vector for Discord. Oh no. <laughs> Retake. You're right, Tails. I can get used to staying on screen like this. <laughs> That's vector for you. Is Sonic already dead, or does he have yet to reach the die? I think we're about to find out. Yeah, we. <laughs> Which of us would like to be Amy? Well, I mean, I already vectored it too hard. I'm afraid if I try to Amy it too hard, time and space will just collapse on itself. <laughs> What'd you expect? You... <laughs> I'm gonna go sexual with Amy because it's funny. Bryce says boner for the sub. LOL. And right when the hedge, the girly hedgehog walks on stream. I literally Bryce, I have a couple questions for you. <laughs> I have questions. <laughs> None of which will be answered now. Oh, what did you expect? Oh wait, no, 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 Rouge the Bat is in this. We can't go sexual yet. No, we have to make her as deadpan as fucking possible. Oh my god, that's an We're... excellent idea. <laughs> also, if you want, I'll take Rouge, because you're taking Amy. Oh. oh wait, no, Blaze is here too, shit. Oh, we'll take it. We'll have to cross that road when we come to it. Yeah, we'll figure what? it out. What did you all expect? You know I always go out for my birthday party. <laughs> oh my god, right on cue. This train's as elegant as you are, Amy. Can't promise I won't take anything, though. <laughs> oh, yeah, Rush. Oh, oh, yeah, Rush. Yeah, you, you just, you go for it. Quick note on Night on the Galactic Railroad. It's a book that got an anime adaptation that made a lot of cast cats. Anime and visual novels like to reference it a fair amount, like Hotful Boyfriend's sequel has a whole storyline inspired by it. And Dom says we can't bust it down sexual style. 
Although, to be fair, there is a lot of- I, I, I'm getting a lot of sexual vibes from this game so far. I mean, did you see the conductor's mustache? Calm down, Rouge. Did I not just catch you stealing from the train station gift shop? It's a fucking gift shop, bro. It was a pen, Knucklehead. Who's gonna miss a teeny-weeny pen? What cast of characters am I stuck with? What series are these guys from? Is this that Galactic Railroad series I watched? Is this the boys? Is this the boys? Homelander! Get, your... <laughs> Get a hold of yourself, Glam Roxon. You are sweating through your uniform. Uh, actually, the oh, extra silent. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, yes! Hey, pal. Can I get one of those chili dogs? <laughs> Radio friend. Radio friend. <laughs> well, aren't you friendly? Why can't I be normal for a single fucking second? Sonic, wait until I announce everyone's roles to get food. <laughs> Sorry about that, birthday girl. We're coming around to collect everyone's tickets. Please have them out and ready. You'll join me, Gla Glamorin, won't you? Thank you for Just correcting click me. click on whoever you'd like to talk with, and we'll collect their tickets. Oh, okay. Um, got it. Oh my god, yeah. Glenn, who should we talk with? Oh my god, there's so many characters. There's three we haven't voiced yet. Oh my god! Wait, do we... Oh, wait a minute, hold on. I want to talk... We can talk to the mechanical arm or the ceiling. Talk to the ceiling first. Ceiling. Welcome aboard the Mirage Express. Okay. Okay, talk to the arm. Mechanical arm? Yes. Hmm, <clears throat> yummy. Don't mind if I do. Oh, uh, you're gonna get it. Whatever, and those are for the guests, you know. Oh. I'm not gonna have to bacchano you. Oh, no. Train, be sure Glamorant only gets one of those if they ask. <laughs> beep bop, beep beep boop? Why is that a bow tie? I don't know. Did, did the arm just kind of nod? Uh, uh, actually, uh, Train, the the conductor wants me to have an entire plate, so if you could just go commandeer the entirety of the kitchen, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> Anything? Try, young buck. Well, I had to try. So Train and I have worked for, together for a long time. You have to work harder than that to get what you want. Tread! The snacks look really tasty, too. Lorelai says, I love the Kirby dots highlighting them with the comic book art style. Gives them nice Archie comic vibes. It does feel very comic-y. I like it. Very textured. Yeah. I wonder what other parts of the train we can talk to. Maybe the door? Oh, the napkins! Also, Cameron. Oh, yeah? Are you Sonic, Knuckles, and Tails? Evidently. <laughs> we can switch that if we want. We'll see how it plays out. What's sticking out of the napkin holder? Oh my! I hate the idea of a ticket lost and alone like this. Who would do this? Let's be sure to return this to its rightful owner. And let's make sure no one uses their ticket as a napkin. Lost tickets. Oh hey, Glenn, you're voicing the events, right? Lost ticket is added to your inventory. I fucking hate Omachow. I am the Sonic Heroes. I'm, I'm the one man Sonic Heroes crowd. You are Team Sonic, my guy. Okay, so if I'm Knuckles, Tails, and Sonic, and I'm also Amy. Yeah. And and the main I'm, character. All right. Yeah. So you got five, and currently I'm okay. Rouge in the conduct. Rouge Vector in the conductor. Glenn, would you like to also take these other characters, SBO, Sonic, and Ru uh, Blaze? <laughs> Sonic and <laughs> <Not> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Rublaze? <laughs> or Relays? Yeah, I'll, I'll take Matt Mercer, Edgehog, and, and Firecat. Speaking I'll of Edgehog. <laughs> oh my. Thank you, everything is in order. What a fake Hedgehog. He seems concerned about something. Or on Edge. Is there anything we can help you with? Yeah, I want to put a bullet in your head with my Glock. I uh, lost uh, you with my chicken. Uh, I'm sorry, sir? Do you, 
Do you sell gift bags here? Nate, wait, what did that? What was that you said about the guns? Um, uh, no. no. Uh, sadly, we. I, I have a plastic grocery bag on my back. I, it, it's in my in the back. I could I could get it for you, right? Hopefully, we don't have any gun violence. It's right, sir. Please, I hope. Is it big enough to put someone in about your size? That stare, and also his comment about a body bag, is very cold. Glamour and you're shivering. Do you need me to fetch you your jacket? If it's all right with you, uh, conductor, I'm I'm good. I'm all right. It's it's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be just fine. You'll, you'll die screaming. <laughs> I feel like we should take this Sonic Adventure style where we just go opposite characters. Okay, do it. Take it, please. Thank you kindly. Happy to have someone as renowned as yourself aboard. Oh, so my reputation precedes me. Huh? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I just like helping. Also, why are you wearing a captain hat, you nerd? <laughs> Look Will at you? me, bitch. I'm the captain now. When Eggman took over, I truly feared the worst, but my kids swore... I saw you would swoop in eventually, and you did! Speaking of the jacket, where are my pants? <laughs> I can't offer much other than my sincere gratitude. Also, could you kill my wife? Oh, <laughs> don't, don't sweat a thing. I'm glad you and your family are safe, especially your wife! I will trade Wait a second. my life for hers. Is he... is he the Sonic... The, is he Sonic the Hedgehog? Is, is he adulterating? Is he cheating on the conductor? What is going on here? Where are these relationship triangles? I promise you next to stay on our train, Sonic. Have fun now and please murder my wife for my life. Please. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> have f f fun now. <laughs> do it. Have fun. <laughs> Will do, champ. Thanks. I just spin that just like through the conductor's <laughs> wire. <laughs> Pew! Oh my god. Let's go. Oh, oh, I want to do Knuckles next, so. Well, hello, you two. What can I do for you? Good morning, ma'am. Can we have your ticket? This was a mistake on my part. My, my, how forward. Let me fetch it for you. You did it, bidding. Come back if you need anything else, you hear? Wow, she's so polite. Very easy to talk to as well. And I can't disguise any other characteristics. What's that? No, it's just like, and my pocket watch is gone. <laughs> oh my god. Ma'am. Steal it. Ma'am, I saw you sneak that $20 bill out of my pocket. Oh my god. Very, very in character. Very in character. Holy indeed. shit. Perfect. Ah, uh, I need to put my. Give me my money back, man. I just realized I need to put my entire body in a different corner of the screen so we can see these beautiful characters. There's no good corner to be in for this game. Ah, uh, shit, really? No, well, it's okay. Uh, we're, actually, we're voicing the I'm whole in thing. Top right now, so. I put myself in the bottom right because we're voicing the whole thing anyway, so I eh, won't miss much. You can still see it, right, Glenn? Yeah. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Go gonna have to ask nicely for that back. Oh, you got it! <laughs> I say that internally. I don't say anything at all. Oh, this was yours. Must have slipped out. Here you go. I may not actually be the best at judging character. By the way, uh, if I see ellipses, I'm gonna imagine it's just the character vomiting. Perfect. Lorelai asks, is bro doing this for the YouTubes? I don't know, bro. Is this uh, going yeah, up on the Ootubes? Uh, yes, this is going to go up on the Ootubes. Oh my goodness. I like the Ootubes. <laughs> Ootubes is good. <laughs> I just noticed uh, my video is over top of Rouge. I'm censoring her. <laughs> now I'm censoring Amy, that little ruffian. Howdy. Could I please get your ticket? You know, I'm going to go... F Full on Western for Knuckles because of that outfit. Do it. I I think that's a ticket? 
But like, I, I don't really want to argue with this guy. Like, it doesn't really look like a ticket. But like, to be perfectly honest, it is kind of ticket-like, or you know, <laughs> conductor, what do you think? Uh, everything looks good. Thank you, except your stupid hat. Seems that the conductor doesn't want to argue either, but he is rather argumentative, despite the fact that he doesn't want to be arguing. It seems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that it? <laughs> That's all I get. Beautiful. Incredible. You get a home. Let's see. All I, right, who next? Uh, I, I don't know. Let's go to Vector. Hello, my friend. Can I get your ticket? Oh my God, sir. <laughs> I'm going to change up, like, every fucking scene. Oh my gosh. As a gentleman of upstanding morals, I'd love to show you my ticket. He lost it, didn't he? He seems to be completely avoiding eye contact. Yeah. Come in, sir. Um. I do have uh, misplaced my ticket. Oh, wait. I think I know where it is. Could you speak up? I couldn't quite hear. You sound like some... Sounds like we're about to have... Crocodile on the menu. Or is he an alligator? I forget. I, I don't remember. Oh, we did find the ticket. Misplaced my ticket. I don't know where it is. See my voice change again. God damn it. He's not really hiding his embarrassment very well. Oh, investigator. Oh, Get yeah, it? Okay, he is an Ooh, that pun. Uh, that's a nice pun. I'm going to do the pun tuning fork of Destiny. There we go. It's the pun tuning fork of Destiny. We'll see how long this oh, lasts. There's the could you hear? I, I will sound it just kind of sound as if you just max like. Can you hear this? Like a Minecraft sound effect. Can you hear this, Glenn? I heard a little bit. Interesting. <laughs> Incredible. Oh, actually, we may be able to help you. Glamorin, why don't you show our friend here what we picked up? I found this party hat, sir. That is now hanging from my face. Uh, it's the menu, obviously. Just kidding. to vote to you both. I was really worried you'd kick me out and I'd miss the murder mystery. No way, dude. Never. Oh, oh old Glamorin here would have had their hands full kicking you out and <laughs> cooking the body. Oh, dear. Ah, you're right. I believe I fight. <laughs> Hilarious. Don't me. What is up with all these party guests and making references to murder, homicide, and other things that are morally uncouth? Well, okay. In defense of Shadow, he's actually guilty. To be fair, that's an true. Alien. Yeah, Shadow's an actual cold-blooded killer. Wait, who made me both the microwave expert and the security guard? And, and maybe the follow-up conductor? I'm confused. Very confused. You're both all right in my book. Thanks again for the assist. I like the finger guns. <laughs> it's pow! Of course, let us know if you need anything else. Watch your back, bitch. <laughs> oh my god, watch your back, investigator. Can I get your ticket, youngin? <laughs> How old do you think I am? Right here, sir! Thank you. May I offer you any of the snacks we have on board? No, thank you. When I travel, I always pack my own sparkle gelatin. It's a sparkly jelly that can melt in any jaded heart. No way. I brought my own sparkle gelatin with me, too. It's my first day, and I was quite nervous. Don't be nervous. You're doing great so far. We're sparkle gelatin buddies. I don't <laughs> like being a <laughs> part of this. <laughs> Shut up, conductor. <laughs> Absolutely. If you need anything, just let us know. And by us, I mean me. Can I trust you? I can, we we're friends, Keep right? Keep your gelatin in your pants, boys. <laughs> oh my god. Conductor, and that beautiful mustache. Thank goodness <laughs> someone on this train is normal. <laughs> Sparkle gelatin. Also, the more I'm looking at the conductor, he kind of reminds me of a Klonoa a little bit. A little I bit. With the ears, right? Yeah, except they don't have the white at the end. That's very yeah, true. That's a fun game. Neither of the- oh my god, neither uh, we nor Tails have pants. Neither does Sonic. Wait, who does it? Who isn't wearing pants? Knuckles is not oh, wearing pants. Oh my god, uh, Vector, I don't think. Or Shadow. Well, Shadow's got like apron, uh, apron, tunic for SBL? Yeah, it looks like it looks like a skirt. I I'm just gonna assume for for all intents of safer work purposes that Amy is wearing at least short shorts. 
Um, Blaze it definitely is not, and that's no, clearly. No, 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 that, that's pants, dude. That's pants? Oh, they're definitely pants yeah. over there? These pants they're, over here? They're, yeah, they're like what she wears like white tights. Oh, okay. All right, all right. Because she's a princess or whatever. Gotcha. And like Rouge or definitely night, has depending pants. Depending on what game. That's true, that's true. What, is, what does Amy have to say about things? Could I have, can I please, could I please get the birthday girl's ticket? All you, Amy. Amy's you. No, Amy's you. I'm rude. Oh, wait, no, 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 it is me. Is it is me, isn't it? Oh, no, that was totally on me. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> why? Why? To throw me on the train there. Get it? Why, certainly. <laughs> oh, God. Thank you, miss, and thank you for choosing our fine tray for your birthday festivities. Okay, who put train for their birthday? Actually, I like the idea of renting an entire train for my birthday. Like, like, not gonna lie, like, an event like this, I think that would actually be really cool. It would be but cool. Like, you would not rent out, like, your normal passenger train. True. Well, the birthday discount really hit, certainly helped. <laughs> Who doesn't love a good bargain? And a murder mystery train just sounds exciting. It's right up my alley. Who doesn't love a good thrill? You see, I'm a girl who loves a good true crime podcast. Maybe we should leave her to have some fun. Oh my. Oh, have fun. Thank you. Where do I use this? Uh -oh. <laughs> Battle marks any door on the train. Happy birthday. That sounds terrible. That birthday girl gets the birthday key. It's practically tradition. Of course I know this as my first day on the job. Yeah, I'm just about to say. <laughs> Very useful. We'll use this wisely. Thank you. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> I'm gonna yeah, stab Sonic with this. Who's last? Oh, Balaze. Oh, Espio and Blaze. Oh, Balaze and Espio. Oh, I love her fan. Oh That's my god, rad. yeah. That is fire. Quite Fucking literally. Fucking rocket, I love it. May I have your ticket, please? What ha? Thank you very much. On top of it, I see. A princess as myself. Must always be punctual. Punctual. P -p 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 princess? Uh, did she just say p -p -p princess? If you don't mind me asking, are you visiting from somewhere? A separate dimension. Pretentious much? Actually, uh, a separate what? Just here for Amy's birthday. Then I'll hop back into my own dimension. <laughs> <laughs> you sound like you do a lot of smoking there, champ. I mean, princess. I quite prefer the birthday cake from this world more than my own. So I'll admit, I'm a bit... Oh, you do Okay, well, I hope you're enjoying the cake, princess. Also, I am happy they brought that up, the fact that he's from a different dimension. Seriously, though. Sh should I bow? D do I bow before a princess? What are you doing? Please get by. Oh. Why can I not win with this group? My goodness, I just can't win. Nothing works! Okay, wait, everyone. We didn't talk to everyone. Yeah, wait, we didn't talk to Espio. Oh. Oh. Maybe okay. Espio's the murderer. All right, so... We are going to, uh, yeah, no, we'll continue this next time. So, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, good vibes to the next time, y'all. Like it. Bye, 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 bye. For those who are joining us... Morning, I'm sorry. Oh, you're good. No, so for those of you joining us on the other side, Glenn and I are doing a little bit of combined content this time around, so he's actually doing recording on his side for his YouTube channel, and we got the stream going over here. So, uh, for those of you who may be interested in that type of content, I've tagged Mr. Lycus. You can go check him out on his YouTube channel. Yeah. Because we'll all be on the YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. We'll okay. all be there. Okay, <laughs> everyone. Time for me to read everyone's roles for the murder mystery. Yeah. 
And that's my cue to leave. I must prepare the driver's compartment for departure. And good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, fuck. <laughs> ah, the conductor's car. You remember our promise, yes? You'll do everything in your power to make sure our guests have a safe and enjoyable time on the Mirage Express. Absolutely, boss. You can count on me. Absolutely no homicides, murders, or other uncouth moral content. To be honest, this group seems plenty capable on their own. I mean, none of them seem like they'd murder. Except for, oh, the one who is threatening gun violence. And, and the one who was stealing things. And the forgetful and one. And the train. And the train itself. That's a good point, Conductor. Well, wait a minute. Assist Glamorin if they need any help, won't you? Uh. <laughs> That's all I need to hear. You have my truck. Dude, train. Train pal. Nothing more heartwarming than a conductor in his train. Just beautiful. Beautiful. Is that beautiful. a euphemism? Um, yes. A train, meaning his... Wait, we can't say that. Unless... Excellent. All the off. He's gonna go train himself. I must take my leave. Everyone, please, have a phenomenal time. And don't worry about mucking up the place, either. The train is state-of-the-art and has systems for dealing with all of that. So, like, cleaning up murder scenes and stuff? For everything else, please talk to Glamorin here if you need anything. It's me, Inspector Glamorin. I'm here. Sounds good. Absolutely. Well do. Goodbye now. Goodbye. Goodbye. I like that guy. He's totally gonna die, isn't he? Thank you all for th all following the outfit guide I sent you. You all look amazing. I trust you all already read your lore cards as well. Lore I'm cards? Cut out. Like Lycos lore cards? From the Loratorium? From the Loratorium? Handed to the, handed to the lore keepers. Ha, huh, pandering. That must be the details of their motivations, I guess. I, I suppose it makes sense. Lore cards aren't read out loud. Otherwise, people would know the murderer's intentions or who's going to get murdered or who's going to solve the murder. And my thoughts are going on. Now on to the nitty gritty. For the murder mystery game, one of you will be murdered and the rest suspects. Everyone has assigned roles for characters they will be playing. Participation is required, for it is my birthday. Of course! Birthday girl makes the rules. Sonic, you are a ship captain, and you'll be stationed at the conductor car. <laughs> Naturally, that's where the captain would go. Tails, you are the detective. You'll be here in the dining car. Indubitably! Knuckles, you're the sheriff around these parts. We'll leave, find you in the saloon. Got it. Rouge, you're a business tycoon, and Blaze, you're a titan of industry, both in the casino. What's the different? There is absolutely none. <laughs> oh. Vector, you're the butcher, and Espio, the poet, found, both found, uh, in the library. That explains the poofy sleeve. It does. Hear that, Espio? We got to hang together. What? <laughs> oh, can you repeat that one, Glenn? Uh, You're cutting out a little bit, my friend. But we shall proceed. Shadow is the locksmith hanging out in the lounge. Hmm. Classic. Classic Shadow. Yeah. And last but not least, me, the journalist reporter. I'll be moseying around with everyone. Did you get all that? Um. Yes! Uh, I was listening in. I hope that's okay. More than all, right, you can help ensure everyone's following their roles. Oh, that reminds me. Oh, cool, a map. I have a map for each of you. Everyone's station is marked on the map as well. How convenient. I love Shadow alone in the music room. Yeah. It's great. Also, I love the fact that this train has a saloon. I know, right? I mean, there gotta be drinks somewhere. 
The rules of the game are as follows. There is a murderer amongst you all. The murderer can kill a single participant however they choose, but you must physically be present with the victim for it to count. Everyone else must collect evidence throughout the train and use it to interrogate fellow passengers to figure out who done it. The murderer will lie to get out of being accused, so inspect everything you can find, find clues, and interrogate. I'll set a timer for one hour so everyone can mingle and the murderer can do their thing. Is everyone ready? It sounds like everyone's excited. This, this would be really cool if it was a game with like multiple endings, like if it was randomly generated, like who the killer was. Oh my god, if it is, it. if it is, that'd be cool. If but it I, is, though, that's so cool. But I think Sonic's gonna die. Yeah. Everyone. I don't know. To your stations. What if Sonic's the murderer? Maybe Sonic killed himself. Oh dear. Oh. <laughs> the suicide of Sonic the Hedgehog. <laughs> oh no. This is so exciting! A mystery is unfolding right under our very noses. <laughs> How thrilling! I have goosebumps. Same! Oh! Isn't this awesome? Now, shouldn't you two be out mingling with everyone? Well, actually, the detective and the journalist can't be the murderer. It just doesn't make sense. So we're stuck here for an hour before going out and scoping the place. This way, there's always a neutral party! That makes sense to me. <clears throat> it seems as though Amy's more excited about deciphering the mystery anyways, and she is the birthday girl. Makes sense. What do you think everyone's doing? Oh, probably inspecting their stations and talking amongst one another. Everyone has roles to play, so they must be exploring their characters. You know what their character motivations are, Amy? No, the lore cards are confidential. No one knows but the person who received them. Oh dear, a Flicky. <laughs> My backstory is that I was best friends with a Flicky that decided to join the evil Dr. Eggman, kickstarting my desire for justice in the world. My lore is that I'm a nosy person turned journalist. Not gonna lie, sounds kind of fun. Just wish I wasn't stuck on microwave duty. Oh! Interesting. I was half expecting to just hear gunshots going. <laughs> oh my god, Shadow! <laughs> the train well, started it moving. Wasn't me. It wasn't me. Shadow, you're holding a gun. <laughs> it's so fast! Grab onto something! Oh, the trigger. oh my god. What is going on? Trains that move? No way. What? A train moving? Ah, I'm slipping! Hold on! I can't! Uh -huh. Aha! You completely cut out for all of that. I am so sorry. <laughs> Discord is clearly not on our friend for, not on our side for a co-voice acted game from a distance. Yeah. No. Uh oh. Oh. Uh oh. And Are every. We dead? And then everyone died. Or maybe the lights went out. Oh. Okay. I've teleported. It's the microwave. Oh, there's the microwave. Oh my goodness. You're both awake! Hey, you! You're finally, finally awake! awake. <laughs> y yeah! Uh, it seems the train has slowed down considerably. Um... <laughs> wow, that was awesome, guys! I know! The production on this train is outstanding and astounding! It's definitely more intense than I expected! It seems we've been knocked into the dining car's closet. This train can reach such incredible speeds! We're getting our money's worth with this experience, that's for sure. Is this actually intended? It's my first day, so like, I'm, I'm not really sure about the whole thing. I don't recall them warning me about this in the interview. We should go check on the others! Glamron, could you get the door? Yeah, of course we can. Oh, oh, ah. Uh, uh, see if the door's blocked. I don't think it's budging. And shelf a whack with your pico pico hammer. Uh, oh, <laughs> let's find another way out and start like looking for clues. <laughs> I'll search. I'm gonna, I'm gonna search. I'm gonna search over there. I know Amy. She's hiding something. Ha <laughs> ha. I suppose she did wake up before us. Something could have happened. Maybe she killed Sonic the Hedgehog. 
Well, listen, I know I'm a detective here, but all the best detectives have sidekicks. So I'm gonna need your help. Let's gather clues on why Amy's acting this way and interrogate her about it. Check out everything you can around this closet, then we'll show it to Amy to uncover the full situation. Gather evidence and interrogate. Got it. And that's what we'll do. I'll need you to do everything in your power to make sure the paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? Understood, sir. You can count on me, Tails. I won't turn evil like your ex-Flicky companion did. I'm happy to hear it. Now, let's get searching. Glenn, I have a question for you. Yeah? Now that we've just found out that apparently Amy and Tails are the neutral party, I assume they're gonna be following us around everywhere. Would you like yeah, to take one of them? Yeah, I assume too. I was actually about to ask, do you want me to take over one of the roles so you're not just talking to yourself like most of the game? I leave it up to you which character you'd like to take. I I'm actually having a lot more fun with Amy, so do you want to take Tails? Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take Tails. Uh, who do, who do you want from my cast? Um... Ooh, can I? Well, Espio didn't get a chance to speak yet, so I can do Espio. Uh, no, I, I gave him a voice like this. Oh, you did. You're right. You did. You did. You want to take Blaze? Oh, I can take Blaze. Oh, I I'll, I'll do Blaze. That pompous, pretentious uh, cat from another dimension. Yeah. I've got that one in the bag. So, Glenn, I think we should investigate the bleach for- Nope, that doesn't work. Oh. Oh, oh but wanna, there's a- I want to click the bleach. I can't click the bleach! But also, I can't I click the stick. on Amy's face. Yeah, right? It's very like, mm. What's this? A rod? Oh, my. The tip is broken. It looks to have originally been attached to something. I'm not sure if it's related to our mystery, but I like spinning it around, so we'll keep it. Stick was added to your inventory. Excellent. Okay. Let's see. Everybody except for the, the 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 hedgehog. No microwaves. No no jars. Trash can. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check there. Sadly, it's empty. I love Tails' expression with the little munch side. Munch. By the break, the trash can. A very clean one indeed. How do I become as optimistic as this kid? Be eight years old. This is fair, that'll do it. Now, what do you think, Tails? Want me to cook any in, in this for you? Well, we can get out of here, sure! I probably never make my way to Tails. What does this kid not do? This kid does everything. Cast Iron well, Skill, it'll do it. Dude, he builds his own, like, aircraft and stuff, and he cooks himself, I'm like, damn. This kid does absolutely everything. So, Glenn, I think... I can... Oh, oh, go ahead. Yeah. Go for it. <laughs> oh, iron pizza. I've only had microwave lunch this, this week. I'm on microwave duty. Was that not already obvious? So Glenn, what were you gonna say, Cam? I was gonna say, so I think Discord is cutting out a little bit for the both of us, because I think I'm cutting out a bit on your side every once in a while, right? Yeah, you actually just did as you said that. Incredible. Let me see, because I think what's happening is Discord's doing its noise suppression thing, and I think we can turn it off. Oh, oh, I got an idea. I'm gonna try this. Okay. Go into Discord, and next sure. to Voice Connected, there should be a little set of, like, vertical bars. There should be, like, the yeah. disconnect button in that one. If you go into that and unclick noise suppression. Ah, I see. There yeah. We go. So I think what that'll do is it'll stop Discord from, like, attempting to suppress, like, the loud noises and stuff. Yeah. So we'll see if that works a little bit better. Yeah, hopefully. All right. Signage. Ah, the wet floor sign. Keeping people alert and safe. I think that's working pretty well so far. Once I spent out some spilled juice at the grocery store, no wet floor sign at all. Oh my god. Luckily, Sonic was there to catch me. Damn! Wow, Sonic really is as fast as they say. Well, you was going so fast, he also slipped on the juice. Oh my god, Sonic. We slid into an older gentleman's shopping cart. Well, it's the thought that counts, I suppose. 
Oh, a bookshelf. Excellent idea. The shelf blocking our exit, it's currently not budging. Hey, Glamorin, look closely at this. <gasps> Somebody whacked it. I wonder how the side of the shelf got smashed. There's nothing the shelf should... <laughs> Nice, nice, There's nothing nice. There's the shelf could have fallen into, and I'm sure this damage was near before. This train has way too much upkeep. Yeah, why Seriously, didn't train fix it? Seriously, what the hell? Seriously. <laughs> I feel like this is important. We should log it. Crack on, crack on the safe shelf is added to your inventory. I've taken the crack and I put it in my, <laughs> I'm taking the crack in my, in my backpack. <laughs> I, I mean, clues. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Tails, are you Let's okay? Let's go interrogate Amy and find out where the crack really is. I mean, what really happened. I mean, seriously. That train just refuses to go back into the closet. Oh, get it? Because because the train's not cleaning up in the closet? <laughs> I mean, there's so much uh, in the I closet. Think, I think you can talk to Amy now, dude. I mean, I have to. I don't think there's anything else. Not unless I can... No wine. Uh, can't talk to the bleach. Um, no feather duster or whatever. That looks like weed on the wall, maybe. I don't know. Amy? Uh, what's the latest? Find clue. Oof. I found a spoon. If we find two more, we can dig ourselves out. <laughs> Just out. On a train. Uh, um, uh, um, y yeah, um, I'll keep looking. Start the interrogation. Oh, I see where this is going. Oh, very Ace Attorney. Very Ace Attorney-like. Ooh, look at that. Amy, we believe you're hiding something from us. What? You, you accused me on my own birthday? Uh, how dare you? This isn't going to be easy, is it? I've been stuck in here, just like the two of you. What in the world do you think I'm hiding? Amy was awake before Tails and I were. What could she have done in that time? Could she have... Killed Sonic Microwave the Hedgehog. The chili dog. Microwave the chili. I mean, she could have microwaved the chili dog, but we didn't. Wasn't able to investigate the microwave. What if she tried to get out? You were sitting, sitting idly while while Glamorin and I were knocked out. Hmm. You attempted to escape the closet. And you failed, Zekus. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Prove it. Oh. Show me evidence that I attempted to escape or help me search for a way out. Do we have evidence to prove that? Tutorial time! Tutorial time! First, find the correct piece of evidence from your inventory. Once that has been deduced, we must form our argument to fight back. Alright. Let's do it! What proves Amy attempted to escape the dining car closet? Is it A, a chili dog, B, all the other chili a dogs chili in the dog. menu, the chili dog, C, the chili dog, or C, the crack C. on the shelf? The crack, I mean. A or, large chunk of bookshelf. Or uh -huh. Z, the dog chili. Or the dog chili. It's, it's gotta be one of them. I think it's your crack, Amy. Ch what? Some damage on the shelf is supposed to prove something? It fell over! Damage makes sense! You have no argument here, and you're grasping. Oof. Okay, Tails, what now? Well, I followed this train of thought. Get Since it? the crack on the shelf relate to Amy. So now I have to explain myself? Uh, well, um, uh, you see, uh, you see, um, yeah, um. Huh. Well, I guess some things to think. Oh my what god. What would Sonic do? <laughs> what would Sonic do? <laughs> what, what would Sonic Je do? What would Jesus do? Or our Jesus stand in like Sonic the Hedgehog who's gonna be murdered and come back to life? It's obviously a Christiocentric narrative. Sonic's a ah, shit, Trisket in my throat. Ah. <laughs> Triscuits. Sonic's supposed to be reckoned with. He's always running forward, collecting rings, crushing bad nicks. He never loses. Like, the player sucks. <laughs> what sort of dog and rope a mini game would help us here? An endless runner game. Can the we, perfect mini game. Can we all be like 2D and start spinning in a circle? Just do 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 do
I play a lot of those on my phone. The endless runner games, I mean. Like Sonic Run. Ah, uh, sure, whatever works. Oh my god. What the hell is a Danganronpa? <laughs> what? Just close your eyes and think. What would Jesus do? And find your answer. Argument. Wait, wait, don't you mean Sonic? I know what I said. <laughs> Alrighty then. Uh, let's prove we're not grasping. <laughs> let's follow the train of thought. And fire up. Come. Back. Like Sonic would do. Oh. Oh? Oh, oh my god, it is a oh. minigame. <laughs> oh my god. It is most certainly a minigame. Oh my god, I love it. I can't believe it. It's a minigame. It's actually a minigame! Clyde, I'm so sorry you can't you can't play this. Oh my god, it glitched. Oh, it glitched me. Oh, I see. You just need to connect enough. You thought that they jested. We thought it was a joke. It was not. Oh, we did it. Oh. Also, I like that. <clears throat> that it's uh, uh, Glamlet, Glamorin's uh, dream gear. I know. I know. I love that. Sure, the shelf fell, but there's nothing around for the shelf to fall into. Therefore, gravity. You're telling me on a train this well kept that the damage was here before we arrived? I doubt that. I have a lot of faith in the corporation that hired me. <gasps> uh, um, uh, well, um, I, um... If someone is responsible for hitting the shell. <laughs> I think that's a euphemism. You just said nothing was around for the shelf to fall into, so you're contradicting yourself. What was the shelf hit with then? Oh... It was the chili dog. <laughs> of course. Look at this fine example of a chili dog. It also kind of looks like a flashbang, not gonna lie. <laughs> Flashbang! Uh, now, what is that stick you're holding? Don't you think you should put that away, big boy? You truly believe a stick would could do this kind of damage? <laughs> think! It's not Did just a hammer? stick! <laughs> hammer? I hardly know her. Only time I'm making that joke this stream. Are you sure about that? Well, that remains to be seen. <laughs> oh no! Oh god! You died. Uh, uh, well, well, if we look at it closely, you'll see, uh, I think you've been twirling around that stick a little bit too much. <laughs> Where, Bryn? Bro? Let's try to follow that train outside, shall we? I think I should try to spin my stick again, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm on duty here. Do I get paid to spin my stick around? Yes, keep twirling your stick. Yes, like continue twirling your stick. Oh no! I didn't have enough rings this time! Oh my god! Damn it! <laughs> oh my god. Me around here twirling my stick too much. Cameron, get your shit together. Try again. The instant death pit. Tails can fly. Maybe I should be the one running. Be gone, ads. It's so that we don't have to deal with pre-rolls. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, here we go. Oh, 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 it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You made it. Oh my goodness, we've done it. We followed the train of thought. You're right. A stick can't do this kind of damage to the shelf on its own. But if it was enhanced with the power of chili dogs. It's attached to something it could. Like, let's say, a hammer. Ack, I hardly know her. Uh, you attempted to hit the shelf out of the way, but you failed. You're not as proficient with your stick as I am with mine. Your hammer snapped right off. Um. Ow! Ah! No! That's <laughs> as you said. I tried to get us all out with my hammer, but I failed. I gave the shelf one big whack. The handle ripped right off. What the... is the shelf made out of? I don't know. Maybe it's wood. No, because because she's she's hit the shit out of robots before, and her hammer is basically indestructible. Perhaps it's just straight up titanium. 
I figured it was no big deal and tried to hide it, but I suppose my embarrassment really got the better of me. Hopes and dreams are what those that shelf is made out of. She does look genuinely sorry about the situation. I never your hammer to snap like that, Amy. It was one of my backups. It's a little lighter to carry around. I didn't think I'd need it. Well, lucky for you, I'm a detective and I dabble as a mechanic. Let me see both pieces of the hammer. Just type things here, a little elbow increase there, a little extra. And fixed! <laughs> Thank you! According to my calculations, if you hit this shelf just right here, that should do the trick. Alright, y'all. Stand back. Wapow! Also, I love that he needed to do a calculation to break a bookshelf. Right? If you divide the mass of the shelf by the length and width and girth of the books in the side, you can hit it like this, wapow, and now it's completely shattered. Incredible. Or just, you know, sit on one end of it and just plant it, and then it just shatters. We did it! We're free! Yes! We defeated the mighty bookshelf! Great job, Amy! Let's get out of here. Onwards. To adventure. To adventure? Oh, shit, dog. Oh, wow. Wow. Wait, is that... Oh! <gasps> Oh, Lord! Oh, no! You wouldn't! Sonic! <laughs> oh, I look so happy about this, but someone murdered my dear Sonic! It looks like the game's begun! I'm gonna find out who did this at once! And Tails has had the expression of, like, this is really fucked up. I know! <laughs> No shit, yeah, just Tilly mean, Dogs. We'll, we can figure this out next time, so thank you guys so much for watching. Oh. Favorite, thank you for playing this game with me, and we'll see you guys in the next one. So, as always, my friends, good vibes till next time, y'all. Ignore the Triscuit. Bye. Lycos, out. Bye, Lycoses. Oh my god. Tails hey, is guys. traumatized. Oh my god. Hey guys, wake up, we're here, and welcome back. Uh. Fuck, what's this game called again? It's called The Suicide of Sonic the Hedgehog, or so the we be believe. It also could be Homicide, Wait, we're not really sure yet. Yeah, we just found Sonic's dead, and Amy looks really happy about it. <laughs> yeah, it creepy, actually. It's all murder. Man, well. What a whirlwind. I'm exhausted already. I definitely could have seen couldn't have seen this coming with a murder mystery, of course. That was really convincing, Sonic. Good job. Sonic? Sonic? Somebody poke him with the kazoo. Kazoo him. Son Sononic. S Sononic? Sonos? Uh, 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 body numb C can't move what do you say i don't think i quite understand dead people can't talk i, I just need to do rest sonic 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 is he actually hurt like is this man okay he, he's not moving are these wounds on him genuine? My hand's on his wrist, but I, I don't I don't sense a pulse. Oh god. Am I doing this right? What in the world's going on? Is this part of the murder mystery? Or is this serious? Sonic? Sonic! Oh no, 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 no. I feel myself panicking. Uh calm down, Glamorin. Come on. Um, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Um, words back to the conductor. I need you to do everything in your power to make sure our paying guests are well taken care of. Understood? This is traumatizing. These guests are incredibly renowned, which means they must be remarkably rich. Oh my. 
So I leave that care to you, Glamorin, my favorite employee. Surely you won't let me down on this last ride. <laughs> <laughs> I barely know you. Oh my god. It's not like he's wearing gloves, thick as his wrist or something. Otherwise, you know, the whole, like, you know, feeling of the pulse thing. I'm gaslighting her. <laughs> We're gaslighting ourselves. Oh my god. I need to catch up to Amy and Tails and get to the bottom of this. Even if this is a part of the game, I just can't risk it. Um, I'll keep everyone safe, Conductor. You'll see. That beautiful mustache of yours will look down upon me. Choo Choo Magoo. From the heavens of retirement. Oh my god. <laughs> the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. The murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. So wait, is this game saying it's not suicide? That feels good, actually. Oh, who did that to the frickin' arcade Oh category? my god, who did that? Why is there this Omachow? It's terrifying. Oh my god, I love that there's a reward out for Omachow. Oh my god. I love the Green Hills trees in the background just, like, going by. Mm. Oh wow, look at this place. Um, Tails, where are you? Man, I'm over here! Good. Big game's already gone ahead. It seems she's really excited. <clears throat> <laughs> nice. You need something? Got to just my throat, damn it. Um, yeah. Uh, question, actually. How do I put this? There's a reward for a robotic chow behind you. I'm actually curious what the monetary value is on that reward, because that, this job doesn't pay a lot. Uh, but aside from that... Sonic's dead. Is he really hurt? Oh. Is he laughing? Doesn't go down here so easy. He's not a tray full of his friends. Nothing would actually happen to him. We're all just really committed to the mystery for Amy. You have nothing to worry about. Promise. Plus, Sonic likes to nap in a lot of things. It's a strange spot. Be fine. He is making a lot of sense. But I can't shake what Sonic said to me. Watch out for Shadow. That dude's edge is fuck. Is this really part of the mystery game? Or is there something deeper happening here? Like gun violence? I need more evidence to figure out what's going on. Because gun violence is no laughing matter. As my friend Sonic would say... <laughs> as Sonic would say... Guns don't kill people. People kill people. And oh, Shadow's a murderer. People kill guns. <laughs> people kill guns. <laughs> Sonic says, people kill guns. <laughs> Sonic says, guns don't kill people, people kill guns. That makes sense, Sonic. His dying words. Well, can I tag along with you, Tails? If you don't mind, like, is it cool if I tag along? Sure. Now I'm giving you a snack, you idiot. <laughs> Fair. Snack. At the best to have psychics, I'm so happy for you. If you ever catch me looking glum, though, just know it's because, uh... Where's my lore card? Ah. The last guy who worked at Cadence with me ditched me- ditched our practice to <laughs> the evil Dr. Eggman. <laughs> I love the lore coming full circle! Not a proper detective without baggage. Yep. <laughs> this is true! I will say the, the idea of, like, this whole, like... Like, the premise of this, like, having some friends, like, yeah. doing, like, a floor card, like, this actually sounds really fun. Oh my god, I love the idea of doing a murder mystery party at some point. Yeah. Ya varmints! What are you doing in my saloon? He is trying so hard to stay in character. So we're trying to figure out who murdered Sonic! <laughs> I can see that. Amy mo moseyed through and uh, uh, told me about it. <coughs> and, and enough of that. I wonder how long he kept that voice up for Amy. Tell you before the I think to help. Help us establish your alibi and... Nope. I've got nothing to tell either of you. Leave me alone. He's obviously agitated about something, but why take it out on us? I mean, come on. Oh, Lorelai was AFK when those lore cards came up. If Amy didn't write them all, who did? Did Charmy write the lore cards? Hmm. Could 
would be Omega. It would be Omega. Omega's got nice handwriting. He's a robot. I don't know how you would knuckles. It's so too drawn around. Maybe it was Omachow. Oh, God, not that Wait, asshole. Friend, we need to figure out what Knuckles was up to while we were apart. And also, by the way, if you see Omachow, let's catch that bitch and cash him in. Whoop pow <laughs> I'm totally with that. Let's investigate for clues, and then... Interrogate. Let's do it. Uh, but, but do we have to do it in that particular uh, inflection? Oh, my what, boy what Knuckles! What are you talking about? Is that chilly? <laughs> I think it's chili. Is it chili? Dude, eat the chili. Oh, it's just a bowl of assorted nuts. The classic saloon snack. Peanuts, peanuts, chili, and peanuts. What about peanuts? Crunch, crunch, crunch. Kind of bland. Hmm. It seems like somebody licked all the salt off of them. Oh, oh come on. Oh, my God. Oh. Or maybe they're just unsalted. Dude, oh, okay. Glenn, we are totally gaslighting everyone. <laughs> that is that is the whole job of this this particular character is to God. gaslight everyone and himself. All of us knuckles been drinking. Rouge was the one who stole all the salt. Maybe. <laughs> oh God. Howdy, partners. Oh goodness. All right, arm. Check the trash can. Oh, trash can. That's a good idea. The rubber arms here are really helpful. Beep boop. Hmm. What's the arm doing into my hair? <laughs> That's incredible. I love how they used uh, Tails' terrified face there. What interesting tech. They also give great prostate exams. Oh my god, Tails? <laughs> <laughs> Click it again, screen screen cycle. Screen cycle? The bulls? Aha! The bull of a sword and nuts. Classical insulin snack. Oh, okay. I mean, I meant that wrong. Oh, that was all the thing again. Oh, the screen cycle! Oh, look at that! It's a spittoon free establishment. Coliseum Highway Zone. Oh, nice, nice. Is that a. That must be a reference. I don't recall there being a Coliseum Highway Zone. Not yet, at least. By the way, let's go, let's become the inner raccoon and dumpster dive. Dumpster diving. Something's always hidden in the trash. Let's check here. Sadly, this one's empty as well. Well, god damn it. I'm starting to think your theory on something to always be hidden in the trash is flawed. It's only a matter of time, Tails. Come on, just have faith. Have faith. It's as the they trash. say. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Ha ha! Dude, what race are we? Are we are we trash pandas? Are we raccoons? What even are I we? So. I don't know. I think Tails is ignoring me. Oof. Bastard. You're getting ignored by an eight-year-old. That's true. Oh, we oh we can check like the uh, outside in the glasses too. That's a good idea. Lamrin, this is interesting. What is it? It's just a few used cups. Sure, but why are there three? Uh, Knuckles was really thirsty, and for also, at least that lipstick on <laughs> and for a brief moment decided to put lipstick on. No judging, Knuckles. What are y'all saying about Captain me? Knuckles. <laughs> Captain Knuckles. Captain Knuckles. lipstick on the rim. That's not Knuckles' color at all. Someone else must have been here. We should log this. Oh, but, gosh. Like, I think the only person who would wear lipstick is Rouge. Maybe Amy was? Did we catch whether she was wearing like, lipstick or not? I don't think she was, and Blaze wasn't either. Dude, what if it was Charmy B? It's fucking Charmy! I knew it! That asshole! Get him! <laughs> Get the bee! No, don't come after me. I'm so fabulous today. <laughs> oh, we took the cups as evidence. Look, look yeah, look at the... Wow, absolutely breathtaking views. Aww. Broken chains and whatever that is. This tree passes by some incredible sights. There's chows out there. I'm just oh happy God, to be right. just happy to be traveling at a normal speed. I get nauseous pretty easily. I have to avoid things like roller coasters and whatnot. And roller coasters, though I find myself running on the tracks more than I do riding in the cars. I am never gonna understand this friend group. I don't understand these references at all. 
Yeah. Oh. Should we? Oh. Ah, oh, decent casual word for finding this robot. Maybe I'll just keep an eye out <laughs> and perhaps completely derail the entire campaign. I'm a child. Is this my class? <laughs> <laughs> well, what'd they do? <laughs> Medical malpractice! <laughs> Interesting. I love the idea of Omachow being like, Alright, now I'm just gonna do it this here and this there and, and oh, you're dead. Oh my god, Omachow's the murderer. Oh my god. I must be. The male practice was on Sonic the Hedgehog himself. I would never trust a robot. Oh, Super Monkey Ball. We don't get no, Super love, Monkey Ball. I, I love Super Monkey Ball. I've been told amazing oh. things. <laughs> Male practice, you say? <laughs> like, like men? Practicing on men specifically? Do we think it broke uh, when the train sped up? The damages look like more like it could be caused from punches. Now, who could have done that? <laughs> oh my god, the side eye. Hey, what are you two looking at me for? <laughs> nice. Smash Arcade is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Oh, wait, did he just rage quit and just smash the machine? I, I love the idea of that. Go on. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh. We put the arcade where? Right behind Knuckles. Captain Knuckles. What about these doors? Can I just leave? Oh. Ah, honey, this door's side tight. We can't go any further. Even though you could clearly go above or below it. Huh. Oh dear, I can't crawl underneath this door. It's Pokemon physics. Oh, God how, damn it. How is Amy able to leave then? Good point. Where were the doors locked and how long were they locked for? We'll have to keep this in mind. Hmm. I guess we shall. Now, Knuckles. Investigate Knuckles. Investigatory. Investigation, yeah. I thought I told you to leave me alone. Excuse. <laughs> Please don't punch me like you did the arcade machine. I like your hat. I like your hat. Oh. Oh, uh, no promises. Knuckles, would you ever fight me? No. You bruise too easily. It wouldn't be fun. I bruise easily too. Just guess I wouldn't be fun to fight either. Oh no. I'd fight you. <laughs> He's not actually gonna fight me, right? Right? <laughs> Wait, can, can I take your order? <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Hmm. I'm not hungry. Well, if you ever are, just feel free to let me know, won't you? Sure. Like a, like a butler of sorts, right? Come on, Glamour, you're not a butler. Tell him that. Stand up for yourself. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like a butler. Excellent. Thank you, butler. <laughs> Dang it! <laughs> this guy. I thought I told you to leave me alone. I told you to leave me alone, Alfred. Knuckles, I already <laughs> ate the salt. I already ate all the salt off these nuts. Knuckles, Glamour, I need to determine what you were doing before the Please. I already told you to buzz off. You're not getting anything out of me. Thankfully, we don't need you to say too much. What happened here is pretty obvious. Uh, uh what? It, it is? We have evidence, too. We do? Wait, wait, just take a look at our inventory. What uh. was distracting Knuckles during the time Sonic was murdered? Distracting him? It must have been making out with these used cups. Or it could have been Delicious. Super Monkey Ball. It's Super Monkey Ball. Super Monkey Ball. I mean, to be fair, that game is addictive. It's pretty addictive. It very much is. The arcade machine? Aha! <laughs> what makes you think I touched it? Think. Play Sonic Run. It's the oh only God. solution. Oh god, what, what was the uh, skateboarding minigame in Danganronpa 2? Oh, I don't, I don't think I ever got there. Ugh! Oh. Um... You have no argument here! You're weak! Ouch! Oh, we gotta do this again. Not again, shall we? Loving these sassy poses that these guys keep taking. It's beautiful. 
Oh, you never got that part in Danganronpa 2? No, I actually didn't play too far into Danganronpa 2. Really? Nah. Certainly not that far. Oh, now I just need to get to the end. Nice. What, like you weren't into it, or...? No, like, I never got all the way through it. I was playing it in college, and I just never finished it. Uh, Lost track of it. Damn, that was a lot. Damn. This isn't a tough one, Knuckles. Knuckles, you clearly touched the arcade machine because... Your cape cabinet is covered in punches. Your hair was found. I didn't find any hair over there. Now, what evidence do you have that the damages are punches? Mm. What are you all staring at my hands for? Because you clearly destroyed the arcade machine. But why? I needed a punching bag, and none were available to me. You confess! Just a sudden urge to punch, huh? And yeah, yeah, definitely, definitely a confession. Um. I believe preparing the arcade machine will give us our answer. And luckily, you're a mechanic, right, Tails? Uh, 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 and, and how, how do you intend to do that? Uh. I, Glamorant, distract Knuckles while I fix Super Monkey Ball. Bring it on! Oh my god, you actually gotta fight him? Oh, oh my god. It's time to play more Sonic Run. Oh, was it a snowboarding minigame in, um, Danganronpa 2, maybe? Yes. Perhaps? Yeah. That's what I'm getting from Newer and I. Oh dear, hello. Yeah, it, Hi there. It was like a thought dive or something. Or oh, like a thought dive. I see. Oh, just in time. I don't think I... I think I finished the first trial, maybe? I, I don't remember how far I got into it. It's been... It's, it's definitely been at least three years since I played it. The arcade machine is dead. No! Uh, don't, don't look at the scores! Quick, look at the scores. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love it! Okay, Wait, what does this tell us? Vector, Nux, Toast, Toast, Apple Bread, Ultimate Bagel Candy. Ultimate Bagel Candy. Ultimate Bagel Candy? Uh, nothing. Obviously. It tells us something massive. Look at the name on the top of the list. It's Vector. This is a library card. Hmm. The picture is beginning to be painted here. You completed. You competed with Vector to see who could get the highest score. And Vector beat you. Ugh. And, in frustration, you destroyed the arcade cabinets. Ah! He's punching the air in frustration. I'm punching the air in frustration. You're guessing. Where's your proof? Where is your evidence? Just Vector is a common name. Prove to me where he is now. Oh my god. Well, this is obviously indicative of the, the lipstick on the cups. These, these, uh, these, these run games are, oh my god. These are getting hectic. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, please. No! Oh my god! Aw, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. You have nothing, zilch, nada. Now leave, you two. Quick, let's try this again. Oh my goodness gracious. I might need more water soon. Oh, definitely hydrate. I actually don't have any hydration on me. Completely forgot about that. I can get some after this. Hydration break? Hydration break? Oh shit, I was baiting. Oh my no! Ah, damn it! Oh my god, dude. It, if it helps, the difficulty can be adjusted. Oh no, no, no. Pro I, I, I got this. I got this. I got Cameron, it. Cameron with an X is what they call a pro gamer. Yeah, uh, d definitely believe what uh, Lyco says here. I am most definitely I, I, a pro. Damn it! Pro I, gamer. I, definitely I mean, pro gamer. Me. I, learned, I, all, uh, I know all my gaming knowledge through him. Oh my god. Oh yeah, yeah. I taught Glenn everything. I taught Lycos yeah, everything. That's why. Oh I my God, no! God damn it, dude. I got it. I got it, Glenn. This is your chance to take a water break. And you know what? Yeah. I'll no. conquer the Dream Gear. Oh, see you oh. In a big guy. oh my God! I got it. I'm doing it. No, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Papa, look. Am I making you proud now? Papa, I did it! Yes, Papa! Actually, I should get some water as well, while we're also doing a whole break thing. 
In a moment, y'all. I need to go to my glass collection and grab a glass that's fitting for water. Like, like, because we're in the saloon, I'll grab my beautiful cactus mug. So excuse me for just a moment. Y'all can still hear me across the stage over here, but I'm just filling up my water over here. Better to hydrate on this type of stuff as opposed to alcohol, you know? Because I have an entire bar. Fine. Cheers, ladies and gentlemen, and those who fall in between or beyond. Hmm. Quick note here from Lorelai. It's a shame that I wasn't able to get past the first trial, or just didn't. The Killing Game VN that gives them some future... There's, a, there's also a mystery thriller killing game that gives Lorelai some future diary vibes. Paranorma Site, a town that has seven mysteries that are tied to curses that can be used to kill other curse bearers in hopes of bringing back the dead with the victim's lost energy. Or the victim's soul energy. That sounds really yeah. cool, actually. Welcome back, Lycos. Pro Gamer Cameron has naturally defeated the evils of the dream. Naturally. What proof Spectre is here with Knuckles? Um, um, um. The used cups, obviously. No! that there's more than one cup sitting next to you. Well, you were supposed to be participating in the murder mystery game for Amy's birthday. You and Vector enjoyed some drinks playing arcade. It's... I'm... It's It's not... It's not like... It's not... I, I wasn't... I, it, just, just don't tell Amy. I think we're on the right track here. It's as you say. Vector popped in at the top of the hour wanting to play the arcade game with me. We went back and forth trying to figure the game out, but when we did, we competed for the high score. When he bested me, I destroyed the machine. No proof of his win. I was trying to fix the arcade cabinet before you two came in. Honest, I did not want to be caught. And that's my story. And alibi. I've already told an abridged version of this to Amy. Boy, this friend group has a lot of pride issues. Well, I mean, that explains one of the used cups. But what of the cup with the lipstick mark? Were y'all getting kinky? We're getting kinky. Rouge was in here too. Te <laughs> terrifying! <laughs> it's inconsequential. N not worth mentioning, obviously. She searched around for something but failed, and made fun of our game. And then she left. Obnoxious, that one. You offered her a drink, apparently? Listen, I, I don't know why she showed up, and I've told you everything that happened before the train sped up. Are you not satisfied? Will you two just relent? Hmm. I'm understanding the scenario. Vector visited to play games, Rouge couldn't find something, and then left. Then Knuckles destroyed the machine. That all makes sense to me. Thanks for answering so many of our qu- Really? That's not everything, is it, Knuckles? Oh! Hmm. I want to step back to something I noticed. One more name on the high score list doesn't make any sense. Glamorin, can you take one more look? An odd name on the high score list. What's Tails talking about? Vector? Canuck. Toast. Toast, apple, apple bread, bread, Altum, Altum bagel, bagel candy. Well, Vector and Knuckles are, are characters that I know of. I think it's Altum because everything else is food. I agree there. I agree. Blushy Crushy is Rouge. T-W-A-M-A. Banished to six ads. There were six ads there? Ugh. Daddy oh. Bezos be stupid there. On the bright side, everything that comes out on Glenn's channel will not have any ads on it. Hey, well, except for the ads like on the YouTube thing, I guess. I guess there's nothing yeah. really stopping us there. Yeah, well, I don't get ads because, haha, too small, suck it. And not a single one of them with a Blue Beetle ad. That looks like it's gonna be cool. 
Oh yeah, I just saw an ad for it actually uh, shortly after I got home and I'm like, oh, I might see that because I actually really like Blue Beetle. I saw it during lunch today. I watched Young Justice and was a big fan of Blue Beetle's character. Hmm. Hmm. Hey, I clicked on Ultim. Oh, I did. All oh, the okay. other names have a food theme, but this one. And then there's my favorite dish, Vector Nut. Oh, wait a minute. It's Shadow. It's gotta be the ultimate life form. Yeah, I just, I just realized that now. <laughs> Who here goes by Ultim? You may not know, Glamorous, but there's someone here that does <laughs> go by that title. Oh the my god. The ultimate life form. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> I love it from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Da 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 Oh my god. Wasn't it Cars? I think it was Cars, the ultimate life form. The ultimate or something like that. There's something in Yeah, like JoJo spoilers. Whoops. There's really someone here that goes by that? Nothing sticks by you, does it, bud? Vector and I were struggling so much with the game, but then Shadow Walk dropped by. So Shadow was here too. He taught us the game. It was the first to get his name on the scoreboard. Vector and I then fought to beat Shadow's score. They're both very, very annoying. To compete, huh? You gave me this before. He gave me this before he left. Shadow told me to lock the door and to not open it for anyone, and then he left. When Vector was leaving, I locked the door behind him, saw no one else after locking the door. That's the honest truth, partner. So when Amy came through here not too long ago, did you open the door for her? No. I think she has some sort of key, too. Yeah, she's got the skull. Oh, the yeah, key. right, right. She got that special birthday key. Well, I have a lot of questions. Hmm. What happened in the library to cause Vector to come here? He was probably bored of shit. Right? Why is Shadow locking doors? And what was Rouge searching for? I don't know. They didn't tell me. Even though I asked with that cowboy accent. Purdy, please. Uh, Shadow, my guess is to troll people. Rouge, I don't fucking know, buddy. Well, you're just gonna have to find them and ask them yourselves then. Oh, that was a cool little awesome. trumpet sound effect. Yeah. That was good. Oh yeah, Blue Beetle, Jaime is a good guy. Very fun. Knuckles, Shadow wrecked us with the gone with Gon Gon. That asshole! Dude, I love Gon Gon. He's my favorite character. Gon Gon's a nice monkey. What can I say? As a brain, I believe your story, Knuckles. Well I know for sure once we confirm things with Vector. Fair enough. The library's next to the next car. I'll open the lock for you. Give whoever KO'd Sonic an earful for me, Detective Tails and Butler. I liked it better when he wasn't talking to us. Also, is it funny that the detectives are neither of the detectives were the detective role? It's yeah, it's true. It's very very funny. Well, well I mean, Sheriff. Come on, come on, Glamour, and we'll head to the library. On it. Because remember, Team Chaotix, they're detectives. Oh, true, true. You're right, you're right. Oh, you're yeah. right. I got gotcha. you. Yeah. This is way more exciting than microwaving chili dogs. Clamoring! <laughs> oh, my God. Don't stop such heresy! Cocoming! Uh, wait, what did you say? You will burn with the other heretics. The heretics, they say. Heretics. You shall fall in holy fire! What was that, Tails? Ready to, ready to mosey down to the next car? That's what I thought you said. <laughs> you no got way, it. Dang, it, partner. No way. I guess investigation can wait a little longer. Yeah, just let but me not make it. Another episode. Ha ha. Ha ha. Another so, episode gone. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. Thanks, I guys. Am, I am loving this actually. This is really, this is really interesting. It's very cute too. I like Sonic. Yeah, and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. So, as always, friends, goodbye. Till next time, y'all. Like it. I'm waving my hands a bunch, but nobody can, nobody on your side can see me waving my hands. But that's okay. That's okay. Hey guys, Lacus Lore here. Welcome back to Who Murdered? Howdy, partners! Oh wait, we, we just, just finished, finished that segment. Up in the saloon. 
talking to that roguish uh, Knuckles, the sheriff. Canucles. Who lost to Vector, no, who beat Vector in Monk, no, he lost to Vector in Monkey Ball, but he beat Shadow the Hedgehog. And Hell yeah, he did. that lady was here too. Hell yeah. Holy shit, the mouse is going fucking crazy. Now who's got control of the mouse, I wonder? It's my partner, my dear partner, Frank Cameron, with an X. That's me, I'm Cameron, who spells his name arbitrarily with the X, and it's silent. Right, I'm moving on down to the next card. It's time Here to go! Minute, partner. Indeed. Follow you on to a thread from last episode. The, the it's, if it is funny that both the investigator characters, like the the actual sleuths, are not the detective. Yeah. Because Vector's probably too overpowered, and Amy would not want to lose. Yeah. And thank you. Oh, I have a nice hat. I like the Chow hang in there poster. That's cute. Hang in there, baby. All this stuff's getting kind of heavy. Never call me baby. <laughs> I'm gonna dump what I don't need. Okay, Tails. Everyone's favorite journalist reporter, Amy Rose, is hot on the scoop. I'm heading out. You've been fabulously helpful. <laughs> Bye. Ready? Before you go, ask me and I want to give you your present. <gasps> my presents! It is my birthday after all. Why wouldn't you give me presents? You're both too sweet. Thank you. Mm, Vector? It seems we like have more gas. Amy, there you are! Uh, want to join us in finding clues? <laughs> Flattered, but at the pace you two are going, Sonic's murder will never get found. You guys suck. Oh man, she's confident. She's got to have something up her sleeve. Perhaps the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog? I mean, that boa that she's wearing is rather blue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This tip is just too juicy to ignore. I'll see you around. Don't worry, Sonic. I'll be the one to avenge you. And quick. Amy, I do not want to hear about juicy tips. Oh god, Ever. juicy tips. Oh. But how are you going to leave? The door to the next car is locked. Oh, you doubt the birthday girl. <laughs> well, the birthday girl has a master key. Right, the birthday girl has a birthday key. Of course, a birthday privilege. I'll solve this case before anyone else. Bye. Ivy may be hasty, but she's thorough. Now, what are you two doing? Looking mighty sus, I say. <laughs> Looking like a sussy baka. <laughs> oh my god. Sussy baka! Sussy baka! So I can't be a sussy baka! <laughs> oh my god. That's and I'm. Um. Um. I'm. Um. I'm the pizza delivery guy! Here to ask it's if anyone's hungry. Toy. Stop! I'd kill for chicken parmesan about right about now. Maybe kill isn't the right language to use right now. Also, are chickens actually a character in this universe? Uh, I don't remember. Oh. Uh, Vector, the butcher. Oh, I get it. License to handle raw meat. Can you say that again, but slower, sir? And I'm Espio, the poet. No, 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 the one who was talking about raw meat. Why? I love handling raw meat. I like I'm this butcher. guy. It's what I do. I'm loving this guy. Ah, poetry. A resonant message from a po from poet to reader meant to challenge our delicate perspectives, but the most rhythmic of Can I hear some? No. <laughs> oh my god. Sh sure. Uh. Oh my. Oh, I love the little that's, chows! Oh, that's so cute. It's so cute. Okay, the blue one kind of looks like a Bracadillas from Monster Hunter. It kind of does. I'm loving these. Teardrops in the spring. Can you hear me sing? La 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 la. Dee 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 dee. Hmm. Also, I love the rose. It's oh, very uh, Waluigi of him. Wow. What was that? What was that? Huh? I have more if you like. <laughs> it's a haiku or something. I'm, so I'm sorry, Matt Mercer. I gave your character the best voice. <laughs> Cherry blossoms in the spring. <laughs> but completely uh, cut off. I'm satisfied for now. At least he's rhyming. I mean, like, I suppose. I don't think so. I don't think he is. 
Clever and I are here to establish both of your alibis. Can you walk us through what happened after Amy had everyone leave the dining car? Oh, sure, it's simple. We just explained this to Amy, actually. When we were all sent off, Rouge, Blaze, Shadow, and Sonic all passed through the library car, where Amy told me and SBO to stay. I promptly picked a book off the shelf and made myself- Oh, shit. I probably put the book off the shelf and made myself comfortable. Vector got bored, so he left to see what Knuckles was up to in the saloon car. Yeah. Where was Rouge? We happened to see her lipstick stain on a cup at the saloon car. Rouge came over to the library card, seemingly looking for something. Am I tired of talking to myself yet? You're doing an excellent job there, Lycos. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> then she went to search the saloon car. She came back shortly after, and we heard her shout, No way at the end at the brochure stand over there. But she left the bag. She left back to the casino car before <laughs> Shadow came through and locked the door. What an ass. I wonder what she found. And she's obviously been on the hunt for something. After Rouge left, Shadow walked through the casino car. Makes sense. Then entered the library car and locked the door behind him. More importantly, why has Shadow been locking doors? Shadow walked through the library car to the saloon car where Knuckles and I were playing games. He insisted on showing us up at Super Monkey Ball. I was so engrossed by rolling by the rolling monkey action. <laughs> oh my! I only noticed when Shadow left the saloon car. Never say rolling monkey action ever again. Get I'll it? Slit your throat. Get it? I guess he walked through the library car to the casino car again, locking the door behind him. Then returned to the lounge car where he was meant to be stationed. When Vector came back, we realized Knuckles locked the door to the saloon car. We were stuck in the library car. And that's when the train- Ow! And that's when the train sped up. We were worried about the bookshelf falling on us, but we got through all right. We sat here and laughed until Amy arrived asking questions. She's the one who told us someone more than Sonic. And yeah, that's all that happened. Hmm. With all these locked doors, it seems Vector or Espio couldn't have left the library car or the saloon car. Thank you both for your cooperation. We're just going to peek around and we'll return with any questions. If you return with any meat, I'll chop it for you. Please don't chop my meat. Oh, God. And if you'd like to be serenaded with a poem, I've got you covered, too. Oh, thank you, sir. Please, no. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Cameron, let's run. Get out of here. Do you have gasoline? We'll burn this fucker down. <laughs> Tails? <laughs> Their alibi seems solid enough, but we should search for clues. What we're looking for is any evidence that proves that they were what they were saying is true. We need to confirm Vector's reason for leaving his post and determine if Espio was actually in the library car reading. It's a tall task, but we can do it. Let's get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Awesome. Oh, God, my poor throat. Dude, claps for Lycos there. Absolutely excellent job. Is it bad of all those voices? I think my favorite was actually Espio. It's a funny one. It's very clown-like, just like Espio, I guess. Dude, look at all these beautiful portraits. <laughs> Consumption! Dude, Glenn, take a sip of your water, my friend. I already did. Mm. Hydration, guys. Hydration, hey, hydration. If you're watching the video. Hydrate. Take a of water. Water's good hydrate. For you. Dude, as exactly. Lorelei astutely pointed out earlier, there are also a bunch of other paintings on the wall, like the conductor, the chow, whatever uh, the hell that oh. guy is. Wait, is that an eyeball? Where? Uh, the one in the crooked painting. I can't tell what that's supposed to be. It looks like it's an orange dude with a hat on, and two very odd eyes missing a tooth. Weird. 
Okay, you have a better view of it than I do. That's fair. I got mine on the full screen. I have mine as best as I can do. Indeed, indeed. Toast, toast, says Mr. Paul Tracy. Toast, I'll raise you one better. Butter? A chow hangs precariously from a tree bridge. Butter and toast. The large text below reads, Hang in there! Wow, I really need to see this. What? This little oh, chow is hanging there, refusing oh. to use his wings to fly to safety, because choosing the hard way is often the most rewarding. That's beautiful. If this chow can stick it to his principles and fly his strength, then I can too. That's really fucking deep. There is no way there was that much thought put into that poster. Oh God, I'm, that was deep. I'm 14 and this is deep. <laughs> R slash I'm 13 and this is whoosh. <laughs> R slash whoosh. So many books on the ground. I wish we had time to pick them all up. I sadly have no interest in picking up these books. I'm on microwave duty. A lot of these were knocked down by the trains speeding up. LaRouge pulled a lot of these books too, searching for something. What reckless behavior. I feel sorry for the poor books. The spines are creasing. They're opening too far. This kid feels empathy for everything. Cameron, do you feel empathy for books? No. I doggy ear their pages, I write all over them with pen and crayon and various other writing utensils, and sometimes I lick them with my finger, of course, for the purposes of flipping the page. So happy I have not flipped through your Pathfinder 2 ebook. Yeah, either of them, actually. Yeah, that's right, you have two. I do have two. Oh, I wish I could stop and look at all these books. Not read them, just look at them. But Sonic Kinky. needs me, there's no time to rest. All right, well, let's move on then, obviously, right? Who's this old dude? <laughs> oh my god. Well, I mean, a little deep wouldn't hurt. He's scavenging through all the book titles excitedly. He's like a kid in a candy shop, or in this case, a genius in a train library. Todd. I know some books have fallen on the floor and everything, but... Every book on these shelves is in alphabetical order, except for this one. Hmm. The, the manual. Express. It's the user guide to the Mirage Express, the train we're currently on. Of course you would know that because you fucking work here. Naturally. Do you think someone found it on the ground and put it back? Maybe, but it is interesting. Let's make a note of this. A cha-ching! All right. Oh, I didn't even notice that SBO has like a quill. And <laughs> the I old man has really a human weird. ear. The old man? Oh my God, he does. Oh, yeah, that's the. Yeah. I think that's the the Chancellor of Spagonia from Sonic Unleashed. I feel like I recognize this this dude. Yeah, I know. I was gonna say, I'm like, he actually does look like he's from Sonic Unleashed. Holy shit! Oh look, a single book. Oh. Huh. What's this bright red book? Oh, yuck, this reeks, reeks of the evil scientist, Dr. Eggman. It smells of evil. And lemon scented. Yep, this is Dr. Eggman's autobiography and recipe book. What kind of recipes? Who cares? I want to trust any book he's written. This is weird, even for here. Maybe people just appreciate an omelet. Get it? You may not be wrong. Get it? Get it? I would have actually loved to like flip through and see what recipes are in there. Me too. I for one am a purveyor of recipes myself. Cause like who knows? They could all be egg themed, but they could be like I don't know his dessert guide. What I don't if, know what he does? What if Eggman hid the secret of human trans transmutation in his recipes? God damn it! Something's I, uh, full metal alchemist. Full metal alchemist. <laughs> full metal. That's alchemist. what he's doing. That's why he's trying to, like, kill Sonic and his friends. He's trying to use them to make a Philosopher's Stone. Oh, yeah. That's what it's all about. Something always is hidden in the trash. Let's check here. I hate to say it, but there's nothing here. I really thought there was going to be something there. Cameron, are you sad that there's nothing in the trash bin? Don't get philosophical on me, boy. No, I I'm all right. right. 
I'm fine. I'm, uh, I'm sure they'll be fine hidden in the next trash bin we'll find. You really think is so? This is going to be a running gag. I that, feel like... like Every time we check it, there's never going to be anything. I have a feeling maybe at some point, Tails is going to put something in the trash can for us to find. Yeah. Now we just got to stay optimistic. Yeah. Yeah, okay. These trash cans bins hide a secret. I'm sure of it. Conventional. But I like that. And I like you, small 12-year-old. Uh, or maybe I don't. Was that supposed to be a compliment? Also, be careful about saying the phrase, uh, liking a 12 year old. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Every mod turns their head. The globe of our marvelous planet. I haven't traveled around very much. The islands are fun and all, but I'd like to visit some of the countries, you know? And honestly, plenty of wonderful people and chefs. The food can't be beat either. It sounds perfect for a vacation. The conductor was talking about Spagonia, if you've ever been there. I actually. If you're ever visiting, please search. Please, please be sure to stop at the university and say hi to Professor Pickle. That's Professor Pickle on the wall. That's the guy. Yeah, yeah that's him. He'll tell you everything about the area and makes one scrumptious sandwich. I'll keep that in mind. But wait, wait, is he the pickle on the sandwich? This group knows everyone. Maybe. And they've been everywhere, haven't they? Gosh, I must be out of the loop on something. Well, I mean, Incredible. they've been in... They've been in fucking space. They've been like, everywhere. Where haven't they been? Arm... Oh, 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 wait, sign? Sign. Oh, Chaos sign. Cola. Chaos Cola. Chaos Cola. Check out our book club. Cola. Book of the Why month. Why does the train have a book club? The Gone Gal. Gone Gal? Gone Gal. Gone Gal. Gone Gal. Gone Gal. Gone Gal. I like Chaos Cola. Arm. And. Oh, poor thing. That arm is really struggling to clean up this guy. Oh. I mean, to be fair, I wouldn't want to clean up all this mess either. Let's just leave it alone to do its thing. Yeah, pray for the best. Maybe it's one of Eggman's robots. Leave it to me, Sonic. <laughs> oh, for sure. Ideas here like amusement parks, car oh caverns, hotels, restaurants. Oh! Huh. Grandma, look at this. There's a couple maps here. This seems to be a map of the library car. The books are categorized by genre, which are listed here. I love a good overhead map. Let's take it. But it up, up, up. Add it to your inventory. Should we take this brochure about a cave, too? Looks like there's stalactites. Nah, I'll leave it. Oh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, that, that's fair. That's fair. Nobody shares my fondness for caves and caverns. You Deep like orifices caves. in the earth. The you know. orifice. Or what is the plural of orifice? Is it orify? Orifices, I would imagine. Or, or, orify, maybe? I don't know. Actually, you know what? I can Google it. Alexa, what is the plural of orifice? Or beep me to it. Oh, I can't hear us. Wait. Alexa, maximum volume. Alexa, volume 10. Alexa, what is the plural of orifices? According to the Alexa, it's the plural of orifices. Orifices. It is yeah, orifices. It is orifices. I pulled it up on my, my end as well. Excellent. I'm glad we know this now. Armed with knowledge. Fancy a poem? I can't say that I do, actually. How about... Oh, space or trains? Space. Space. Uh, a hero, a hero, a warrior's heart. Beware, beware, the dragon ball comes. Shit, wrong one, hang on. <laughs> I was I like, where are you reading this? <laughs> with my beloved antique face. But a mistake in my haste. Drop the vase from my embrace, so my antique I must now replace. <laughs> I got you to drop a vase. Don't read too deeply, it's just a poem. He hasn't thought it through, has he? Can I take your head, sir? Can I take your head, sir? Hey, what do you want to eat, I have, I have a poem about this. My star of stomach bubbled. 
No, I ignored the grumbling tummy. For the eggs I received are scrambled when I asked for my egg study. That was a really good one, actually. Um, wow, actually, uh, this is good. This is gonna sound really awkward, sir. We don't serve any eggs on this train, unfortunately. Talent is wasted on you, Watt. Oh my god. So <laughs> melodramatic. It looks like he's actually having fun with the role, so good for him. That's really good to see, honestly. I wonder, I wonder if he was reading the Eggman cookbook. I kind of <laughs> hope he was. Right? Sir, it's a lizard. Did you, Eggs. Did you bring me any meat to chop? Dude, I wonder if Espio hatched from an egg, says Lorelei. Maybe a butcher, like, but they confiscated my meat cleaver before getting on the train. Ah, oh, no fake meat cleaver. You actually <laughs> tried to bring a knife on the train. Oh my god, Vector. I'm a man of... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a man of authenticity, Tails. Without a knife, I'm just a chef in... I'm just a chef in a ketchup-stained apron, not a butcher. I, I think if you had a knife on you, we'd definitely think you were the murderer. Hmm. But what if I hid the knife? Oh my god. It's Sonic. <laughs> oh my god, it is liver specifically. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of this line of thought. Can I take your Can order, sir? Your order? <laughs> I love how this is just a thing now. Oh yes, please, I'm starved. Actually, I'm off duty at the moment. The murder mystery is much more important. Why the hell did I ask? I'm glad you asked. Then why would you show the menu to my me? My point exactly. I'm so sorry, sir. Also, look how pissed he looks at that. Yeah, he's like, how dare you tempt me with food? Come on, Clamor, why would you tease him like that? Oh my god. Honestly, though, <laughs> honestly, I will I will say I would agree with Vector. Like, if you offered me food, but then you're like, oh, I'm just fucking with you. I'd be like, you're an asshole. I totally hungry. agree with that. Yeah. And here I thought I could trust you. You made a fool of me. I'm ruined. Oh my god, poor man. Look, Clam. Look, Clamoring, you made him a fool. Come on, Clamoring, smooth this oh, over, God. damn it! <laughs> no, no. I am the fool. Yeah! Yeah! I really smoothed things over, but at what cost? <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God. The mental war games that we play with ourselves continues. I guess we gotta What's interrogate that? these dudes. Oh, yeah. the door. The door, the door, the door. Well, it's probably locked. Probably. Shadow supposedly walked through the library car before going into the saloon car. <gasps> when Shadow left the library car, he locked this door on his way out. Oh, it's unlocked because Amy, duh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's gotta be a reason he's doing this. Sh should we make a note of it? Yes, I believe we should. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba! Shadow's lock is added to your inventory. I think we found enough clues. Let's go interrogate Vector and Espio to see to find out what really happened. Vector, where's your knife? Is there any any meat to chop? You haven't mm. left. Only the meat on my body. So the two of you don't believe us, eh? It's not that I don't trust that of you, but it wouldn't be a proper detective without examining the validity of your alibi. Clamor and I are here to confirm two things. Why Vector left to play games with Knuckles, and if Espio actually was reading in the library card. Vector, we're gonna Vector start with you. Oh. Why did you leave the library card to visit Knuckles? We're prepared to present evidence if Na- Oh, that's easy. I got bored. Huh. What? Oh, yeah. I wasn't entertaining him. I wasn't entertaining him enough, it seems. Vector enjoys being social. Plus, we were instructed to mingle. I remember Makes the sense. arcade machine, the saloon card, so I figured I'd check it out. This does seem to line up with the information we gathered with Luck Knuckles. Then that brings our attention to you, SBO. Rouge entered the library card, found something, and left. You said you immediately started reading. But were you actually reading the entire time you were in the library card? Of course he was. Uh. Once Espio stops reading, he doesn't stop till it's done. I've seen it happen. It must be a good read. What was the book? Oh. 
HBO doesn't owe you that, detective. Let the man live. He's entitled to his prosperity and privacy. What do I say? What kind of things do you think I read? <laughs> or not? If you talk, I have a hunch on what that m book might be. Glamour, could you help me out? I think we can. All right, Glamour. What book do we think Espio may have been reading? I mean, it's either the manual or uh, Eggman book. Uh, I mean, I apparently it's the manual. Yeah. I don't see Eggman here. We um, only have one book in our inventory. An exhaustive manual of the Mirage Express, many features and capabilities, doesn't seem to mention how to drive the train, which probably would have been neat. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Lorelai says, let the twink fight his own battles, Vector, come on! Let him stand up for himself! Come on, SBO! Step it up! <laughs> A manual! You think SBO is reading instructions? What argument could you possibly have to support this? Allow me to support that argument with a game of Sonic Run. Everyone's favorite game that just keeps oh on God, getting harder. Rings. Oh my, there's so many more rings. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh, fudge nuts. <laughs> it's okay. Oh my God. Grasping. I knew it. I'm not grasping, you're grasping. Let's do it again! We got it. We got it. We got it. One coin that time. That's fine. Rings? Rings. That's what I was meaning to say. Oh my god. Hi there. Oh my god. Hey there. Okay, that's fine. Oh my god. Wait, what is that? Oh my god. Ninja stars. Holy shiz. Oh, that, that makes sense. That's totally Espio. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're good. Oh, we're totally good. We're totally good. Yeah, dude. Oh, nice. High five, Glenn. Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> there are books scattered around the floor for sure, but the remaining books on the shelves were all in alphabetical order. All except the manual. Means someone, at the very least, picked up the manual and put it back in the incorrect place. Picking things you up and putting them down. Bitch? Yeah, come on, SBO. Yeah, lack of this lack of attention to detail is normally like you, SPO. Oh my. Hey now! I won't have you insulting my pal like this. Calm down, Vector. I know you mean well, but I can handle myself. I'm a big grown twink. I can defend myself. You really are, SPO. A butcher and a poet. Friendship can form anywhere. Indeed, the book I was reading. The Mirage Express Manual. Trains are cool. Trains are cool, my guy. In that case, we'd like to ask you a few questions about the manual. Clamoran, if you don't mind. Uh. Can you ask SBS some questions about the manual? Just flip to a page and ask away. Uh, I, I, I can try to. Um, let's see. Uh, quiz SBO about the manual that he proved he read. Admittedly, says Lorelai, if any member of the cast would be inclined to believe you based on only game prowess, it would probably be Vector. Oh yeah. My Sonic Run skills are absolutely maddening. Which page should I quiz him on? Um... 14. I'm gonna guess 14. I don't think he got that far through the book. Unless... Okay, um... What efficient and extremely accurate technology was installed to assist in keeping the train spotless? During events, they can perform a variety of tasks that are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. I do remember the conductor saying the train can clean itself. Though I have a feeling the train company just didn't want to hire any janitors. The robotic arms can also detect weapons or explosives being brought on the train, ensuring passenger safety. Hmm. Seems like SPO asked that question, Glamour. Hey, what's the one? Oh, okay. Um, uh, which one next? How about... 89. 89. What is the Mirage Express's cancellation policy? No refunds and you will be charged a no-show fee. This does not apply if you're over the age of 65. Well, gee, the person who made this rule must have been over 65. Well, I mean, let's see if that deal can go three for three. Gotcha. Which page should I pick last? I think 
402 because it's similar to 420. I know, oh right? I, I love that we were on that same way. So like. close. What was implemented to support the conductor duties and ease general train obligations? An intelligent data processing system. It was intended with the conductor to ensure a smooth travel for guests. I do remember this as well. The train has an autopilot, but it can't access its full suite of capabilities without the conductor present. Now, did I pass you a little test? I think you did, sir. Absolutely. Yeah, he went three for three. It's definitely these guys' fault that the trash cans have been empty this whole time. You know, the robot's arms, naturally. Yeah. Totally. Oh, uh, yeah, so it's because Espio is eating all the trash. Mmm, delicious chameleon trash pan abilities activate. Oh, I love trash in the morning. You know, Espio, it really is wild that you're able to retain all of that information so quickly. Is that, like, just an aspect of being a chameleon? Oh, but it's great. It's all... Surprising. I don't know if I'd be bragging about that, to be honest. You clearly read the manual. Those, those answers feel far too specific to be guessed. Naturally. And you both have the nerve to question my body like that. The ninja. Don't we want to be supporting folks who read? Always, Vector. But you don't. You have to admit, though, reading the entire time a murder occurred does sound a bit suspicious, even if it's true. But he did answer all the questions so calmly. It's very impressive. I'll say that. No, no, I understand everyone's cautious attitude. Victor was the only one to see me reading after all. My alibi is hard to substantiate despite being the truth. What? Uh, well, you definitely read through the manual, so I suppose we can... Espio, is that true? Spectre was the only one to see you reading? Yes, that's correct. Problem? Frankly, I don't believe that bullshit. <laughs> and we have Tips. evidence to back it up. Clamoring? I think you should really, like, tone your attitude down, Tails, but he, why did you, why do you leave the computer? Dude, what the hell, man? Come on, it's my microwave guy. Yeah. <sighs> Come on, Glamour. Pressure's on. This little kid's screaming at me. This crocodile looks like he could eat me. And this ninja poet guy. I'm sexually confused. We should put this piece of evidence linked to somebody who also saw SPO reading. But what? What could it possibly be? Um, the layout of the map. Actually, what could possibly... I mean, we did hear stories of people walking through, like, the train cars and stuff, right? Oh, no, no, no. Shadow walked through the room. That's the lock. Yeah. Oh, duh. Yeah. Oh, that's no. gotta be it. Shadow the luck? I think you mean his cock. I no wait no I think you were right the first time. Wait what did you say? Spray spray tell. So oh, I have I a chance. A nice... Oh shit I missed my line. Uh, H. Where are you clamoring? Let's let's get our argument together. Go play Sonic. It's time to play Sonic like an absolute toy. Oh, got special special jumping action to get over this one. Oh yeah. Oh my god, super speed. Super speed stars. Oh god, he got me. Oh god, he got me. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay, okay, okay. There is a chance. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh my god. Holy Go crap! On. Holy yeah, shadoodles! Oh my god! Yes, oh, it's okay. Whoa. Oh, it's yeah. no, 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 no! Yes! No. It's only cool. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, oh. I don't think I have a. I don't think I have a chance with Vector. No way. Oh, goodness I gracious! Walk through the library car to get the, the saloon car, where he yes. set the original high score to the arcade machine. Yeah, but I ended up beating it. It wasn't a high score long. Crocs Loser. Games. Crocs. SBS said he saw Shadow enter the library card, but he's mentioned nothing about Shadow's return. He only mentions that Vector came back. When Shadow left Knuckles and Vector in the saloon car, SBS was fully seated, ready, reading his book for a good while at this point. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. We know Shadow had to walk back through the library car when you left the saloon car. 
So there's absolutely no way Shadow and Ezreal didn't notice one another on Shadow's return trip. Oh, I mean, it was a simple slip-up. I was just fully immersed in my book that didn't notice Shadow. You're telling me the sound of, of doors opening and locking wouldn't have caused you to look up? Well, I, uh, you see... I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't that easy. Oh, uh, you cut it, you cut it out. Oh, defending the... I can sense Espio's desperation here. Defending the argument that he was reading the entire time isn't easy. It cut off the end, but who cares? Fuck it. So if you didn't see Shadow returning from the saloon car to lock all the doors... Hmm... Then at that moment, were you really in the library car at all? But how would Espio leave? Shadow locked all the doors and no one saw Espio in the saloon car. It's a mystery, my dear Glamorin. Huh? One that I would love for Espio to solve. I don't like you calling me my dear child. You gotta believe me! That cool demeanor is vanishing. Get it? I was so involved with my book, I didn't notice Shadow passed back through the library car on it! When Vector returned, he even had to tap me on the shoulder to get my attention! Yeah, I think I remember doing that! I must avenge my friend's death! So I'll ask you again, SBO. If you weren't there for Shadow to see you reading, then how did you leave the library car? I wasn't! I didn't! Why doesn't this seem right to me? Tails definitely feels like he's onto something, but I just... I don't see it. Was Espio simply sitting reading, or did he somehow vanish to not notice Shadow's return to the library car? What should I do? Yeah. I think... I feel like we could show in Tails on this one. Yeah, I like... I mean, Espio can vanish. Yeah, he can turn invisible. He's a chameleon. That's what or, he does. Or maybe we defend Espio because we know that he can turn invisible. Well, how would Glamour know that? It's true. Hmm. Tails? No. I can't interrupt Tails while he's on to something. I'll let him continue this line of questioning and... <gasps> Flashback! Cameron, my favorite and beloved employee, please protect the passengers aboard this train. They must be taken care of. If you fail, the lawsuits will be torturous. Oh, Don't allow such an old, feeble soul to get sued. He's the one who's over 65. I have to make sure our guests are taken care of. I have to speak up. Tails? What? We have a piece of evidence that can answer all of our problems. So just lay it on me. Lay me. <laughs> what piece no. Your shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another. Well, um, um, the overtop map. I mean, like, I'm trying to think. Like, the we did get an explanation of people walking around, and we had the library map, an overhead map of the library's lounge. Yeah. That's the only piece of evidence we haven't used yet. Yeah, that was my thought. I guess we we gotta, right? Maybe yeah. he was hidden. Maybe he was hiding in the corner or something. All right, now let's get my thoughts in order. Time to the think run. Because oh, what if Shadow like jumps up to like the second floor? Oh, maybe. Or Espio was reading on the second floor. That's possible. That's very true. Game. These guys got mad hops. They got mad hops. Look at these hops. Look at these Santa cops. Yeah. Oh my god. Absolutely killing it. Absolutely. Yes. Nice. Except for this. Oh my god. Except for that. No, we're good. We're good. Are we chilling? Are we chilling? Are we good? We good. We totally good. Nice. Oh, Ding yeah, dong. The library map. Oh, I see. Oh, it all makes sense now. See, the exits are right across from one another. A straight path. Okay. Oh, that's your shit. Oh, if Shadow walked down this straight path, there's a way Espio and Shadow couldn't have seen one another. What do you mean? Ah. Uh. 
Oh! Is it like that uh, circle by the long rectangle? Uh, long rectangle, like right up uh, the. Uh, I'm trying yeah, to think, like, like I guess, like, if you were to walk all the because way this it, way. Because my thing is, if that small rectangle by that circle is a shell. Oh, yeah, it's behind the shell. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, so if Espio was there, he wouldn't have seen, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, it can actually select it. Oh, yeah, right here, behind yeah, the wall. I, yeah. Interesting. Nice. That, that's where I was sitting, reading my book. And Espio can cling to walls. I can second this. When I returned from the saloon car, Espio was in the same spot. That confirms that you, you see, Shadow and Espio couldn't have seen one another from that spot. Because a bookcase is in the way. It was a bookcase. There's no way Shadow could have seen Espio or vice versa. It makes a lot of sense why you never mentioned Shadow's return, Espio. There's just no way you would have seen him. My apologies for losing my cool back there. I felt like I was grasped. I was grasping desperate telling the truth. You good, Spio. Well, I'm glad you all believe me now. Your reply isn't the most alright, but I have no further points. Thank you both for answering all my questions. We did it! Another pair of alibis? Validated. Hell yeah! The ding dong. Oh my god, my boys. Oh my gosh. Too many locked doors to worry about, but I'm glad everything straightened itself out in the end. Well, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna crash here for a bit. These chairs are so comfy. Likewise, I could use a breather. Okay, yeah, you you two, of course. Naturally. Gladly, our work isn't done. I've got plenty of questions for Rouge, and especially Shadow. Oh, it seems the door to the next car is open. Amy must have kept it open when she passed through earlier. That's a cute way of That's what I was feeling. Uh, peace out, guys. Give him heck. If you need Amy, chop, say the word. Naturally. I'll keep my poetry shut for you both. Oh, a murderer is on the loose while doors keep getting locked. Tick tock tip. Tick tick tock goes the clock while our heroes are in up the caboose. Click clock goes the clock. Click clock goes the clock. Shadow? At this point, Shadow, I'm. Shadow, hi, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm feeling pretty confident in our detective abilities. We're really doing this together. I'm coming! Here awesome. we go! So, I think we can actually wrap this episode up here. Shall we, shall we, so, shall. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you are enjoying this. I really am. This is wonderful. This is really delightful. Like, I love this murder mystery with I love, love Sonic characters. being dead. And, hey, we'll see you guys next time. So, as always, friends, good vibes till next Bye. time, y'all. Bye. Out. Bye. Also, before we continue, I need to use the bathroom first. I'm sorry. I'll go that. for it, my friend. In the meantime, I'll hang around here with the beautiful lovelies of the yeah, crowd. Yeah, talk to the lovelies. Talking to the lovelies all the time. How is everybody out there? Beautiful, beautiful murder mystery time, as per the usual. I like that I, I tried to do things a little bit differently for this little murder mystery scene. I've got my beautiful blazer on. Somebody it, it complimented my hat earlier. It took a little bit of engineering prowess to make sure I got my headphones over top of my fedora. <laughs> it's kind of fun. I appreciate everybody out there who's been braving through all of the ads and whatnot. I, I went through a lot of annoyance with the with the ad schedule thing. And my defense for doing so was because pre-rolls are annoying as hell. And apparently the way to get rid of the pre-rolls is to run two minute ads every half hour or so. So I kind of went back and forth with that thinking about it for a while. Because like, I feel like it's... I, I don't like walking into places. I don't like walking into a Twitch channel with an ad running over the front. I feel like it really dissuades me. So that's one of the main reasons I went this way. It was just kind of, it just feels better that way, I guess. And a little bit easier too. <laughs> you and Tails do kind of, oh, we do kind of do. We do, we do. Cause we got the whole like, like, that's what I was trying to do with the inspector vibe here. But I appreciate everybody very, very much. Absolutely. Ooh, I was actually, uh, I saw this pop up the other day. Uh, the Sonic murder mystery one, and I was th I honestly thought it was like an April Fool's joke, and so I was like, I, I gotta play this on Monday. 
and I was uh, I was chatting with Lycos, who's been helping me out at work naturally, so we've been driving together to work and stuff and catching up. And so I was like, I plan on playing this tonight. We should totally play this together. And so he agreed to it naturally. I think uh, I'm glad that we're gonna be able to put some. I, I've been wanting to do more content with Glenn, so this is this is quite nice, I'd say. No worries, says Lorelai. But the six in a row felt kind of weird. Yeah, I don't. It's it's interesting. Like I. According to what I'm seeing here, and please feel free to fact check me on that because I don't see what you guys see, it's it's only supposed to be two minutes. Which doesn't feel like a lot, but like in the moment it does kinda it does kinda feel like a lot. If this is something that is just not gelling well, like I will absolutely turn them off. If it's just not doing well, then I will happily turn them off. I most certainly don't need to add money. There's literally literally jump change. It makes absolutely no difference. I'm an engineer by day. I get paid enough. That's okay. But yeah, I saw this game, and I was like, I have to, I have to play this. I have to. And so I thought, like, usually, I was planning on playing, I think I was planning on playing, uh, finishing up Super Mario 64 this evening, but I think I'll probably do that uh, two weeks from now, as we proceed a little bit farther with it. Trying to get those other games out of the way so I can make, so I can make room for playing some other games and whatnot. In particular, I have a couple on my list that I really want to get back to. I want to, I haven't played Bee Simulator in a while, and spring is coming. And so I figured it'd be a good opportunity to go back to that. I want to play the Bee Reckoning. The Bee Reckoning. Oh, absolutely. Lycos is back. Yes, I have returned. And I also say too, another game that I want to get my hands on. I haven't tested it out yet for my hardware, but I want to test out that Wolf Among Us game, which cool, looks like a really cool like narrative story-driven one. So eventually, I will get back to that. That and Chrono Trigger. I haven't played Chrono Trigger in a while too. Just big, gotta gotta go back and redo things. And of course, oh, are you talking about games we want to continue streaming? Yeah, yeah. See, I haven't, I haven't played Beast Simulator in a while. That game was really fun. Finish Chrono Trigger, start The Wolf Among Us, and I need to finish Sonic Generations, Super Mario 64, which I'm really close with. And like, I haven't, I, the Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door is like a, a longer one, because it's an emulator one. It takes a little bit while. Hope you enjoy, oh, and yeah. B was cute. Ah, it was a fun one. I've got, I've got some that I want to continue. Oh yeah? Like what, sir? Well, I've got uh, Kingdom Hearts. Ooh, that's true. Where I have my challenge of every time I die, eat a handful of crickets. Oh my goodness, I want to see that door. By the way, I'm gonna go grab one and go turn the rest of the Do it. Just run into the back of the door. The other one I want to do is I want I do want to continue Fallout 3. Oh, because I good. because I really liked it. It was really fun. Despite all the screaming and me not knowing what I'm doing and technical difficulties in between, I'm sure. I I love it. It's fun. Well, I think there's a good there's a good side to technical difficulties. On the good side of technical difficulties is you identify that there is room for improvement. That's good stuff. Yeah. <laughs> crickets. Mm, <laughs> Kingdom crickets. Hearts crickets. Kingdom crickets. All right, my sir Lycos. Shall we back right, yeah. embark on our adventure? Back hey to the train guys, game. Lycos like Lore here, and welcome back to the Mortal Assault. Hello, everybody. Last episode, you came to the Chaotic Library. Indeed. Where we talked and talked, and Shadow loaded a Glock. Loaded a Glock. Bang, <laughs> bang, bang. Blue Hedgehog dead on the floor. Gun violence is not cool, don't kids. Call me a fucking twink. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> it's a good thing that we kept those comments to our, our, ourselves, naturally. We were thinking them internally, naturally. I mean, to be fair, SBO be do, do looking quite, uh, quite luscious in that outfit, you know? And that feather. My god. That is a really big feather. It's a very big feather. I mean, who's it? But we have to move on to the next car. Yeah, to the next car. Indeed. I are you sure you don't want to stay and look at the great books a little longer? I don't think they'll let us. Mystery calls! <laughs> okay, the investigation continues! Onwards to car number... Was it three or something? Yeah, oh my! Oh, 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 I am loving this. We've even got a chow bouncer. Oh my god, I love him. And he's I got like a stash. pompadour or something. Oh, all this stuff's getting heavy. I'll dump what I don't need. There we are. We have a lot of weight shit. <laughs> you kind of mixed up. <laughs> Rude, there you are. We have a lot to say to you. 
We've visited every train car so far, and everyone said they've seen you wandering about. It's high time you told us lies. My mind. Talk about a warm up. Put oh. to the point. Aren't you, darling? I see you brought the microwave master with you. Oh, please don't let that be my legacy. Tales are right. Folks have brought you up a lot. Care to explain? I barked. I barked. <laughs> Tell him, Rouge. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need the help. Oh my god, Valley Relaxing. Oh god. Please? All right. I've been hunting. I've been hunting for a treasure rumored to be stored here on the train. T treasure? Well, they certainly didn't need to tell me about treasure in the interview. Since I'm part business ty tycoon, part purveyor of fine collectibles, I knew I had to find it. Tell him what it is, Rouge. <laughs> All right, well. It is a... Uh... Fabergé. Yeah, okay, that was my first guess. Fabergé. Fabergé, chow egg. Wow, that does sound extravagant. But please don't tell me you accepted Amy's birthday invite only to find the egg. A woman can have multiple goals. I gave Amy her birthday present already, so everything's well taken care of. She roped me in on the hunt immediately. I stayed here while she searched the train cars for clues. I deduced that the Fabergé chow egg is here, in the train car, locked in a safe. Wait, so the treasure is real? It's actually here? I wonder if Rouge paid for the, that present, though, says Lorelai. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, well, why don't you both take a look? Oh, it's blueprints of something that looks phallic. I found the train's blueprints in the library car. Oh, yeah, the, that. With the safe code written on it. The score of a lifetime. Oh, naturally. The train's blueprints? Please, Rouge, let us see that. Finders keepers, sweetheart. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love that. I got uh, that better. Uh, uh. Very good. <laughs> and it was signed 230401, the release date of the game. <laughs> There's a problem. We need your assistance. Kinda of problem. The elevator behind this security guard leads us to a room hiding the Fabergé chow egg. How could there possibly be an elevator that opens? This is a train car. Well, we're not going anywhere without that guard's access card. We need a plan to get that card and use the elevator. And our chance of success grows with everyone's help. So you want us to help you steal the Fabergé chow egg? Wait, you don't have a problem with this? I say no issues here. Sounds like a fine business venture. Ah. Uh, her lore card must be influencing her decisions here. Either that or breaking the rules must be refreshing for a princess. Do you have an opinion on this? <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Stealing is for squares. It's time for a five finger discount. Oh my god. The library also had an upper level too. That's an excellent observation. Blaze, yeah. it's not my... <laughs> Uh, these aren't the laws of my universe. I mean, technically, <laughs> she's got nothing to lose. It's, it's not true. her universe. This is not her universe at all. Why does she have to follow well, the rules? I suppose that both Blaze and Glamren are in. Okay, let's get the Fabergé chow egg. Hee hee hee. That's the ticket. Happy to have you both on the team. <laughs> I love, R Rouge, I love just the Rouge, you're making me uncomfortable. <laughs> Stop. I can only get so erect. Oh my god. <laughs> I should not be saying that about fucking Rouge. Hang oh on, my wait, god. Wait. Oh my god. Clint, are you referring to Tails by chance? <laughs> no, 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 no. Now we must plan. Oh my god, that came suddenly. What the fuck? Oh my jeez. 
Oh boy, what have we gotten ourselves into? Access the Fabrice Chalet room is behind a locked elevator door. The security guard has the access card. Oh Do my me. god, it's so cute. They're all drawn so chibi like. I Cartoon know, it's really cute. A, attack the guard. B, bribe the guard. C, distract. I don't want to distract. I don't want to beat a child. To distract them. Perfect. We're all charming enough to sit for that to work. Where's Charmy B at a time like this? That's actually a really nice thing to say. That was a real confidence booster. Wait a minute, is everything okay? I've never seen you smile like that. <laughs> uh, Seems they don't just don't know how to take a compliment. If I'm gonna be in a casino, my poker face needs work. Okay, who's, why are we who's distracting the security guard? Huh, rouge is colored rouge for rouge. I get it. Mm. Let's see. How do we distract with annoyance, with charm, or with indifference? Princess. Indifference it go, is then. Yeah, I go blaze because if we're breaking into a vault, we're gonna need Rouge's expertise. Or firepower. I yeah. think you could distract the guard, Blaze. In my life, I've never let a single person down. I won't falter. Great. Her voice was so stoic, despite the valley girl accent. I have chills. Well, I trust her. Moving on. Maybe I was getting confused with that bat girl. What's the distraction? Pretend the claw machine is stuck. Push a bunch of poker chips to the floor. Ask the chow about their partner and kids. Now, I don't know about you, but talking about myself is very distracting. That is, that is true. Most people do love to talk about themselves. Well, excellent. People love talking about themselves. This will be easy distracting the guard. That's oh, what I'm. I love the, that's I love what the I'm picture. saying. Perfect. I think we can move on then. I love that. Oh my God! Look at the thing here. <laughs> he's got the little thing. illustration. Like, oh, that's so cute. That like so he has the cute. baby pictures and everything. With the guard distracted, Rouge, how will you get the access card? I I think I think there's an easy solution. Yeah. I'll snatch the access key, no problem. That Chow in uniform won't notice a thing. Excellent! We can count on you, Rouge. Try not to take anything else from them if you can help it. No problem. With the card obtained, we need to get Blades out of there. Glamorant, what's your plan? Um... Pretend I'm oh Blaze's spouse. Oh my god, I want to date myself. I want to marry myself, apparently. I, I need to know what Blaze's response is to this. Well, then you'd be marrying into the royal family. What's your heritage? Any war crimes I should know about? I made mustard gas in the bathroom once. Oh my god. What? I, I, well, I, um, um. You just brought too plain. You need a complete refashioning immediately. Uh, you know what? <laughs> maybe, maybe uh. we should, maybe we should try something else. Aww. Hmm. Interesting. You gave up far too easily as well. Well, I'd have to work on your fortitude. I said we'll try something else. Jeez, fine. <sighs> Okay, what's the plan? Uh, drink without a coaster? Uh, uh, that sounds, that sounds right. Her scribble has the heart chest pattern, even though that's not her top. Oh, that's true, look yeah. at that. I just yeah. noticed that. She's not I, wearing her normal outfit. I don't want to get violent with a child or a chow. Actually, I don't know how old the chow is. Also, I wouldn't think he's a child considering he has a spouse and that's, kid. I mean, oh, that's true. He's definitely reached the age of maturity. Yeah. <laughs> Tails. Absolutely vile. I can think of nothing worse. <laughs> Despicable. I would never allow such a thing in my kingdom. Oh my god, does this really piss off everyone so much? The guard will go running immediately, I'm sure of it. Great. And with the guard distracted, we'll all head to the elevator. And just like that, we all make it in the elevator. Inside we... 
<laughs> Celebratory dances. Pop some applesauce, sing victory a cappella. I the dance. love the idea of dancing in there. And the Chow is an adult. He's got kids and his head shape is fully grown. Oh, that's fair. Very full kid thing. Oh, I love, I love, I love that that's the actual. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, yeah why are you blue? proper victory. I love it. Oh no. One last security measure we didn't account for. What do we do about the mechanical arms attacking from the ceiling? Wait, but like, how do you, why do you think that would happen? High five each of them. High five each of them. Have tails, disable them. Tie them into yes. one big giant knot. Um, I, I think tails, I think tails. Or the knot. I think tails would be able to do it. Yeah, I should be able to disengage them. I just need some time. Well, that leads us nicely to our next question. Oh no, tails is taking a while, and the grip and the arms are tightening their grip. Oh my God, Rouge! Uh, <laughs> Enjoy it. Cry it off this sympathize. <laughs> Should I play my kazoo for them? Imagine you're not in pain. Pretend there's nothing wrong. Pretend I should... there's nothing wrong or, or cry. I think I think the proper solution here is to let out our emotional baggage. Tails managed to do it. <laughs> I'm happy to say the plan is perfect. Dude, Rouge just wants to write her own choose your own adventure book. I love this. This is wonderful. That's great. If everyone is ready, it's time to execute. I'm ready. Let's begin. All right. Let's see what's up that elevator. Time to enact the plan. Oh, damn. We just did it. Whoa. Oh. We did it. I knew the plan would go off by the hedge. We couldn't have made it this far without you both. You have my gratitude. Beforehand was very thorough, I must admit. And it was executed to perfection. Yeah, did you like it when I cried for mercy? Did you like the dancing part? The dancing part was fun. Enough chatter. Now we claim our real prize. I have the save code right here on the blueprint. Let's claim our Fabergé chow egg. Hee hee. Tee hee hee hee. Oh my god. Where could it possibly be? Would it be this giant vault? Or this giant vault? This giant vault, Jesus Christ. I think it's this giant to... vault. Where do they store this on a fucking train? I don't even know! <laughs> no question. This, this has got to be the safe with our treasure. Enter the code on the blueprints and find out, Rouge. On it, sweetheart, let's see. 2304 When the game came out. Yeah, yeah it came out two, uh, two days oh, ago. Oh, wow! We're recording this. It's here. Ha ha. I have it. <laughs> Whoa. Alright, but before anyone sees this, let's get out of heat. Hold on, kiddo. You can't be so hasty. You truly think that's all there is to this egg? No further secrets whatsoever. Rouge, spit it out. What are you hiding? Only three of these eggs were ever made, each hiding their own individual secret. No one knows the secret because anyone who's opened one of these has never lived to tell the tale. You can open the egg? Blasphemy. You sure can. And all of you, and all of you will bear witness to its secret. Rouge, I don't know if you should... All you need to do is twist it. Pull it! Bop it. it! Shout it! Shout it! Oh my god, it made the thing. Tick, tick, tick. Oh, fuck. It's a bomb! Oh! Uh, oh! Uh, uh. Rouge has no one left to tell the egg secret. Because each egg is a bomb! I always knew it was a bomb! There's a terrorist on this train! <gasps> My job is on the line! It was tail. I think you're on something, kid. It sure sounds like a bomb. Uh, we need to dispose of that egg now. Dispose of it? After all our hard work? Rouge. 
I'm fine. But what do we do? Where do I put this thing? Back in the safe and close it up. That's an excellent question. What do we do with this bomb that's creating this strange ticking noise? Oh my god, what in the oh world? My god, whoa. Oh Holy my god. Shit. Uh uh, what if I just wait? Let's let it finish sticking and see what happens. Let, let her stick it. <laughs> Are you insane? Do you want us to just blow up? Yes. We need to dispose of the bomb, Glamour, and this is that's our goal. Listen, listen, I get that, but what if the egg isn't a bomb? Wait. Hey, that's right. <laughs> Glamour, I think you're on to something. Oh, uh, what's right? Spit it out. Spit it out, kiddo. We don't have any time. Sorry, it's just... Espia did say something interesting when we quizzed him about the trade manual. Oh? Did he? Okay, um, what efficient and extremely accurate technology was it all to assist in keeping the train spotless? Black gobs. During events, they can perform a variety of tasks that are responsible for cleaning up trash and messes afterwards. You're about to be that bad. So we're uh, oh. uh, uh, oh, oh, I see. can also detect weapons or explosives. Like bombs? On the train. Ensuring the passenger's safety. Unless they decide to troll you. Oh. What if this feels lying now? That's robot arms that attack us in the elevator seem to have a, have a lot of functions here on the train. If a bomb was on the train disguised as the Fabergé Calais, the arms would have detected it and wouldn't have allowed it on. The only other person who knows the coming and going of the train is the conductor. And he surely wouldn't allow such a thing either. So, if we're out of options... I think we should wait and see what happens. Mm, okay. Mm, we wait then. Okay. Ker Bluey, you read it from the manual to confirm his answer, so the book would need to lie. Oh, the book would need to lie if they were wrong. Yeah, because, because yeah, he got it from that book. Oh, clickety-clackety. Here comes that crackety. The egg. It's open. It's hollow. Not a bomb at all. You both were really on to something. We got you, girl. Ooh. My, my. Well, that's one way to get the heart racing. I'm completely relieved. My hunch was right, thankfully. E. Look at what's inside. Oh, it's beautiful! Aww. Look at that. Oh. Oh, look at that sparkle. It's so heavy, too. Nice. I love it. Gimme, 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 gimme. The gimme, gimme, secret gimme. to the Faber Shakes chow egg is the Ooh. chow covered in gems. And the other two eggs could be a hero in dark version, like the oh, Lorelei says. Yeah. That's a good idea! Mm hmm. It's perfect. It's exquisite. It's revolutionary. Is she drooling over a sparkling ornament? Though I must admit, it is stunning. You said no one lived to tell the Fabergé Chow egg secret. I wonder why if the egg wasn't a bomb. Because they weren't as tough as us. Uh, I don't know, who cares? What a precious treasure, a beauty to behold. Maybe they naturally died of old age and just like kept the secret with them? Like, you know, something morbid like that? Been. We should get out of here before we're spotted. Good call. Let's go. Another 30 minutes have passed. Oh, goodness. Oh, wow. Actually, Lorelai, I have a question for you. Are those ads make taking up the entire page? Can you still hear what's going on? Or are they, are they like, because th I thought they're supposed to be on the bottom of the screen. I thought that was, that's what they're supposed to be doing, but I don't really know. Well, in any case, no one seems to suspect anything, and the security guard is back at their post. I hope they subdued the drink coaster fiend, okay? <laughs> nice. Thank you both for your assistance. That hunt was exactly the thrill I was seeking. Do you strangely fun? Oh no, Tails. But I prefer never to do it again. Now, Rouge! She's completely absorbed in that bedazzled chow. What? What? What is it, darling? I'm 
about those blueprints? Now that you're done with them, maybe we could take a look. While I appreciate your assistance, it's as I said, finders keepers. I need them a little longer in case I missed any other treasures, but I promise to let you take a peek later. I don't want to sound ungrateful, but I'm sure you get it, sweetheart. Did you can't just add sweetheart to the end of a sentence and make things better. But I don't think there's any reasoning with her. She's more powerful than I. Well, we'll get out of your way for now, then. We have a murder mystery to attend to! Before you go, Shadow gave me and Rouge one of these. He passed through earlier. And it's one of these doodads. Let me unlock the door so you can continue forward. You know, we've had a lot of people mention you, Rouge. But we also have just as much suspicion about Shadow. He's unpredictable, that one. Good luck to you. No, I'd argue he's pretty predictable. Yeah, yeah, he's he's edgy and whatnot, but he's he's got a predictable ammo. The yeah. Door, the door's unlocked. Both of you stay safe. Thanks again. Little dude, come on, Glamorin. Let's head out. Let's get on out of here. Gotcha. And the mystery continues. All right. Oh, this train car. Oh, we got access to the whole train car. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's let's look around, actually, because we haven't really looked around. I don't oh, think. yeah. Oh, garbage can. Here we go. Garbage. Tails, we must search the trash bin. It's empty. Of course it is. Oh? Oh, did, did I hear an O? I get that reference. I've always believed in a thorough investigation, even peeking in the trash. See, it's about persistence, Tails. It's all about what I told. My dad told me that when he met my mother, he would drive to her work two hours away every Tuesday with the flowers from his garden. She quickly agreed to a date, and when she arrived at the restaurant, she found two dozen roses waiting for her, and within a year, the two were married. It's about caring, dedication, persistence, and a bunch of other shit. Very sweet, and often here's the lollipop stick. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, what? A, lo a lollipop stick? Yeah, like a leftover stick from a lollipop. That's all that's here. Lamron? Lamron? Is everything okay? Do you need me to bring you a flower? Y you can just leave me be, okay? Beautiful. Stupid Why is the robo arm playing slot? I don't know, let's ask you. The capabilities of these robot arms are quite spectacular. I'm impressed every time we see them. I can't help but wonder how they're controlled. Wires and hydraulics. I, I don't know, something mechanical. The conductor was ordering it around a bit earlier. At the very least, things operate much smoother with them here. I wouldn't really worry about it. True, sure, they're very versatile. Evidently they are. Let's see. Sign? Jackpot! Knight's Pinball, nice. nice coming soon. Love the Knight's reference, no cheating. Twinkle Park, all right. Oh! I love Twinkle Park, it's one of my favorites. I like that one. Yes, Indeed. agreed. Oh yeah, all right. Because I had the uh, racing mini game, and I love, well, um, not the... Like, oh yeah. Not like the Tails racing mini game, but like, oh, I love, I love Twinkle Park. Yeah, T Twinkle Park was really cool, especially at Sonic DX. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I want to play Sonic the X on the channel at some point. Oh my god. I love that game. Oh, okay. So, so what else we got? We have like a, a table and then Blaze, I think. Table, Blaze, oh. and a couple more slot machines? Let's do it. Yeah. Took a park with the bumper Eggman cars. I've built, built a lot of casinos to run around in, but I've never actually sat down and played any for fun. Want to play Jack Black? <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> want to play Jack Black? <laughs> Who's going to stop sure. me? I don't know how to play that. It's well, easy. Come on, let me show you. It's so good. Blackjack actually is really simple. It is very simple. Just Aaron, don't go past. We simply don't have time for this. We must have been Sonic. Remember, my friend is dead. Probably a very good point there, but I have a lack of empathy for somebody who I don't actually believe is dead. But I think I'm the one who's most cool here. Hmm. Should I give the slot machine a try? Yes. All right, let's see. Oh, big money, big money, big money, big money, no whammies, no whammies. I completely lost. 
Should I try again? Oh yeah, oh yeah, all right, let's see. Big money, big money, big money. Well, I lost. Should I try again? We have to see. Big money. Oh my God. Lost, okay. Up to, oh my God. Oh, it was no. like, oh no, I've been past it, oh no. No. I think, I think Tails was asking, what do you expect from it? I was expecting big money. I'm gonna get this time, you'll see. Well, I lost, but maybe next time? Lost. Did we get another, did we get another thing? Oh! You're <laughs> the same thing over and over, expecting a different outcome, right? I'm starting to get worried here. Don't worry about my gambling addiction, I'm fine. I got it this time. Oh my God. And I lost. Oh my god. <laughs> the sunk cost fallacy, you say? You mean the phenomenon whereby a person is reluctant to abandon a strategy or course of action because they have invested heavily in it, even when it is clear that the abandonment would be more beneficial? Yeah, of course I've heard of it. Why would you ask? All right. Oh, big money, big money, big money. <laughs> let's go, let's go. And I lost again. Yeah, over here with your side, you're done. Oh my god, Tails. I love this. Oh, that's awesome. Big money, big money, big money, big money. Well, I lost, and I must continue. I lost. I doubt that Tails is going to come up again. Yeah. What if I just keep on clicking? Glenn, just Nine. say when. Just say when. When, sir? I think we're done. When, sir? Did you say when, sir? When. When. Oh, thank goodness. I realized I lost you there for a second. And for a moment, Tails, I did want to be lost. Yeah, let's, we and should, we should go. Why don't you just get out of here? All right. Got to talk to the ladies. Let's talk to Rouge, because you too. Thanks again for your help earlier. Now, what can I do for you, darling? <laughs> Are you hungry? Want some food? What a paltry menu. Not a lot of options, sweetie. I think I'll have to pass. Not a problem. Just let me know if you need something later, okay? Sure. If I need a bag of chips, I'll holler. Naturally. Now, I think we need to ask her about her alibi. Do you think you could go over your alibi for us again, Rouge? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, once Amy pa paired Blaze and I up, I immediately roped her into my Fabergé chow egg hunt. We split up at the casino car and I went searching for the blueprint. I walked back through the library and saloon cars. Very far. Did you see Sonic at all during your search? I remember him in the dining car at the beginning. Do you have anything to support that claim? Listen, plenty of people saw me poking around, and I have the blueprints on me. I hardly had time to chase Sonic down, murder him, and find the blueprints myself. We appreciate you answering our questions, Rouge. Take care now. That tracks. Likewise, darling. Oh, you are such a sweet thing. I'm so sad I can't talk to the bouncer, though. Yeah, Sam. Pulling off that heist was much more enjoyable than the rest of these casino games. Uh, can I can I take your order, ma'am? Can I interest you in anything on the menu? I'm content for now, thank you. The whole maybe the egg is a bomb thing completely destroyed my appetite. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I was I was actually kind of nervous myself. You sweat out your uniform pretty often. Oh, yeah, you're a very um animated person. Wow. Incredible. Wow. I am just disgusting. Do you think you could go over your alibi for us again, Blaze? When Amy began the murder mystery, what did you do? Well, sure. We left the dining car and Rouge pulled me aside to talk about the Fabergé chow egg. Walked and talked to this casino car where we went our separate ways. I scoped around and discovered the egg was here. And after that, I played the slot machines. The train did a sudden jolt, which is odd, but I didn't leave the car. I gave Amy her present when she stopped by. Shadow passed through as well, but it was brief. He gave me the exit key and then he left. 
interesting. Do you have any sort of proof you were here playing the slots? I do, actually. I kept winning, so I saved the cash out voucher. You can take a look. Let's see here. F -f 14,000 credits! Holy shit. Jeez. That's an enormous payout. How did you... I'm just naturally lucky, I suppose. That smirk. She's so self-aware. Well, thank you for your time, Blitz. Also, I love that the fucking princess who won the money. Right, right. As if she even needs it. She really doesn't. Anytime. And Tails, do tell Cream I said hi, won't you? I can do. Well, that seems the track. We did it. How did she know? Oh, that's right. Was it in one of the, like, uh, the, um, the games? One of the Game Boy games or yes. something? No, this was a DS. DS? The first game... Oh, Conquest? She was introduced. No, uh, Sonic Rush. Rush, that was it. Nice. And that was the first game we had played. Yeah, you're right. Forgot about that. Because Rush came out before uh, Sonic 06 did. Oh, you're right, yeah. And then Blaze made her second appearance in that. Yeah, and then she appeared again in um, Sonic Rush Adventure, which takes place in her dimension. Oh, with the Soul Emeralds and stuff? Yes. Nice. I didn't actually know that. I'm slowly but surely coming up to speed on my Sonic lore because I just freaking love Sonic the Hedgehog. I just know bits and pieces here and there. Mm -hmm. Ready to get going? Let's find Shadow! Just turn on a light, jackass. <laughs> <laughs> get it? Get it? I hate Let's you. Let's do it. I hate this fucking kid. <laughs> hate you too. All right. Oh, man. Oh, I am loving this vibe. Oh, I love the chow band. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> okay, we're actually going to continue this next time. Next time. So thank you guys so much for watching. Oh, this game is such a freaking treat. That Choose Your Own Adventure heist was awesome. That was awesome. I am a big, large industrial fan of that. So I, I cannot wait to see what else this game has in store. So... But if you guys want to see that, then you got to stick around for the next episode. And until then, my friends, goodbye until next time, y'all. Bye. Out. Nice. Yo, Glenn, this is excellent so far. No, I love this. This is awesome. I am having a whale of a time. Same. Now, I do have hey. to... Oh, I have to oh, ask no. you, my sir. Would you like to yeah. continue? Oh, yeah, of course. Okay, then we shall continue forward. Awesome. Hey guys, Lacos Lore here, and welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. And I'm Last Cameron. Episode, Cameron and I, we were, we got to the casino car where we helped Blaze and Rouge out with a jet, with a uh, Fabergé egg, chow egg heist. Hell yeah, we did. And we danced along the way and got a little country. Yeah. Know what I'm talking about? Yeah, now we are Snookums. in the lounge, so Shadow should be here. Also, I love the giant emerald chandelier. That's cool. Now, it's not the Master Emerald. It'd be the Master Emerald. It'd be green. Yeah. Well, now is as good a time as any to clean out my pockets. I know you won't talk, but I know exactly why you've been locking those doors. It's hard to get a word in when you talk over me. I have my reason, like my Glock. No reason is convincing enough. It's inconceivable what you did. Hey, hey, what's going on? Hmm, I see you made it here, Tails. But I didn't expect the Iron Chef as well. Well, we'll see what you, we'll see what you say when your microwave chili dog's delicious. You completely cut out, Oh man. Well, they'll see. We'll, uh, we'll see what he has to say when his microwave chili dogs are delicious. I'd like to know why you've been locking doors throughout the train, Shadow. Well, it seems so Amy already knows. So ask her, or my Glock will. Hmm. Why do you have to He's keep threatening ready. gun violence? I'm, I'm a soldier. It's what I love. I'm not saying a thing. You lot will have to tell me why. Now, if you leave me be, I have an appointment coming up. What appointment? An appointment? Now, who wants to meet with this guy? Well, Glamour, it seems like Shadow isn't going to talk, so let's do some investigating. All right, ready to find some answers, Tails? 
Indubitably, my dear Glamorin. Not sure how comfortable I am with you calling me dear child. But, chow cupboard. And could you open the wardrobe, please? Uh, wardrobe, right. I wonder if there's a lion and a witch in there. Sure. That, wait, is there a reason you want me to do it? What? Oh, or where someone leaps out. Kinky. I don't think you should do it. Well, if Open I it. won't do it, it Tails must do it! Alright, tough love, I get it. Here goes nothing. Ah! Oh, it's just a matter. See? It's not so bad. <laughs> just dusty in there. Too bad I'm allergic. Huh. <laughs> Oops. I guess you're right. Boo! Haha! <laughs> ah! <laughs> Sorry, I just couldn't help myself. I'll let you die. Fragile. I'm not sure how much I like you saying that. Oh! 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 Hmm. Hey, Tails, do you see this? A pole string? I wonder if there's a ghost. Glamorin! What? It's gotta activate something. Like a. Oh. What the? The back of the wardrobe opened. I was thinking oh. it was gonna be a bomb. There's a full passageway back there. Holy shit! We have to see where this leads. Watch your language there, son. He's curious. No. This must mean something big. Hey, watch your fucking mouth. You first. <laughs> oh. Oh. This is the library. Wait, how does this work path? in a train? Yeah. There's a secret passage from the lounge to the library? I don't believe it. I seriously don't. Quick. Before they spot us. They? Like, oh, what? Uh -huh. Bad. Uh, ooh. We need to add that to our inventory. I love how excited this kid is. It is ba -da -ba 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 Mr. P. Tracy asks, Where's Anna? Anna's downstairs. She's taking a rest. She's got to go to bed for clinical in the morning. Working with the beautiful, beautiful physical therapists. Aha! A set of keys, maybe? Or a printer. Oh. <gasps> Trash can! Trash can! Tails? No. Tails, I think we should check the trash bin. Every trash bin has been empty, Glamour. And you've been disappointed every time. Uh. Are you going to get sad again if there's nothing in the trash bin? No, no, no. Mm, uh, well, mm, you know, there's always something in the trash bin, and like for the most part, come on, come on. <laughs> there's always something. <sighs> All right, let's check the trash bin. What's this? Oh! <laughs> Someone printed out the front page of a ticket website. It's for the band Hot Honey. Sexy. Interesting. Hot Honey is one of Amy's favorite bands. That's not a coincidence. Is, is that the band with Charmy in it? Who cares what it is? Let's add it to our inventory. Yo, what if? What if? What if it is actually Charmy? Are we sure this isn't just trash? Mm. I'll let you have this. Thank you, Tails. There's always success if you check the trash bin. Crumpled paper is added to your inventory. Nice. Pete Tracy says. Pete Tracy says we in Utah have gotten 40 inches of snow in the last week, dude. It's barely snowed at all over here in Pedelphia. No. What about over in Jersey? We basically got no snow this year. Yeah, I'm really sad about it. There's like no snow at all. I love snow. Mmm. Big Chow Band. Big Chow Band. Take a beat. A beat of what? Um, um, music plant zone. Oh, got it? I understand. I like dude. the music plant zone. It's a good one. Ooh. Cam saw some snow in Vermont in December. I did, that's true. I did see an ample amount of snow in Vermont. And actually, we, we straight up drove through a snowstorm. Printer is hooked up to the computer. Can we print something? Sonic singing a song. Sonic rowing a Sonic boat. Sonic rowing a boat. Why ha row, row, Why row, must row, we row. bring up the horrible trauma that is Sonic's death? Ha, huh, the printer's surprisingly tricky, tricky to use. Tricky? Yeah, the user interface isn't very clear, but I won't let it stop me. 
Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's and great. And here you go. I love that. This is exactly what I asked for. I love and it. I'm going to quietly set this back on the printer. Oh. I wonder if we can get the other photo if we do the other way. Yeah. Hey, I think you're my only friend, Surprise. It's really that complicated? Have you had a printer work when you wanted it to? To be fair, I've had a lot of good luck with printers. But that's a fair point. I... Yeah, uh... Oh, look at that! And there! We're taking charge! Here you go! I think that... I recognize that dude from the, uh, the picture in the library. Or maybe oh, I don't... Oh, is he the guy in the crooked one? Maybe. I think it might have been. Train printers, though. That's an excellent point. This is also exactly what I asked for. Rolling around at the speed of sound. Got places to rail, gotta ride this train now. That's a good I'm one. too lazy to run today. The train is convenient and it goes my way. All it does is follow the rails. No nice. freedom, it just follows the rails. Never derail the train. Actually, Lorelai brings up a pretty good point here. Perhaps it's an artist's original character in the game. Maybe. Because it did. It did kind of look like um, the OC that the, the Game Grumps made when they played uh, Sonic 06. Or uh, Sonic uh, Forces. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because they had like those big The uh, big, like, dotted dead eye eyes. Like yeah. Yeah. They told us about this computer in my interview. The lounge has a computer complete with internet access for casual browsing. Lovely. Seems convenient. It is. A shame to be on the computer and missing these gorgeous views, though. I feel like if you're using the computer here, you must really need to use it. Maybe. Oh, did we look check what was on this board? Uh, no. I don't think we did. Keys. Hmm. A key ring, it must be shadows. The locks. Oh, interesting that there's only two keys. I figured a locksmith would have a whole bunch of them. You want to take it? Oh, yeah, let's take it. He won't be needing these. Ba -da 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 -ba -ba. Predatory loans. I think we found enough clues, but we didn't interact with the band. Yeah, I don't think we did. We still have the window to interact with, too. Yeah, but I guess they're not clues. Oh, Let's I see. go interrogate Shadow and find out what really happened. No, I instead want to deal with it. I just noticed the textures are a little weird around the computer. Do you notice that? I don't know if you oh. can see that. The texture's like kind of weird around the computer and the window. Oh, I think I see what you're saying. Wow, Tails, you have to check this out. The windows are huge. What a view. Giggity. I didn't realize the train would drive along the coast. Spectacular, isn't it? I just want to hop out and take a dip in the ocean while the train is running. Oh my god, Big's out there. Oh my god. Oh my god. I think we all just noticed oh, that at the same time. That's cute. I love it. If the train wasn't so nice to be on, I'd agree. Yeah, jumping right out the window. You know, despite the whole murder thing lingering in the air. Despite that murdering lingering in the air. That's what I was thinking! Incredible. Now, let's see. We also have the thing on the- there's a lot of things we didn't check yet. Yeah. There's another robot arm just doing its thing. As an employee, do you have any power over these apps? Can you tell it to do something? Oh, no, but uh, I'll give it a shot. Hey, robotic arm, can you... Bring me a cold chaos cola? Nope. Definitely not listening to me. <sighs> kind of parched, too. I got a chaos cola for ya. Oh, no, no I, I'll be all right. Thank you so much, though, Tails. I'm the one that's supposed to be working here, after all. It's a big chill band. It is. Oh, give us a little bit of a jam, dude. <laughs> oh, spiritual. Oh, my God. I love it. Aww. I feel completely reawakened. I want to hear what their ditty is. Yeah. Hey, it's the big chair man! All right. They don't miss. Those chow understand music. Oh my goodness. 
Cameron, we can't move on till we interrogate Shadow. You know this shit. Well, fine, dummy. I guess I was getting ahead of myself, just thinking that maybe the curtains were locked. I guess you were. Oof. Better get back to the investigation. Amy, what do you have to say for yourself? I'm glad you two finally caught up. Rick, what surprise it took you so long to get here. I thought you wanted to save Sonic. Um, do you have any clues for it? Just a hot tip. But all will be revealed in due time. I think I'll be shedding a big light on this whole case. You know, sharing, sharing is caring, you know. <laughs> Agreed. No way. Journalist reporter Amy Rose is always first to reveal a scoop. When you're ready to challenge Shadow, talk to him. Then I'll be ready. What the hell? I am so curious what it is. She seems very confident. What the f*** you doing? Oh my god. Can I take your order? Can I take your order? I'm not ordering a single thing till we get birthday cake. Cake first, dinner after. Otherwise, I'll get full on dinner and can't have any cake. You have priorities. I respect that. It just makes sense. Hey, yo, Dom's still hanging around. How are things going? We still don't uh, know who um, killed Sonic. Yeah, we're still trying to figure that out. But he is hey, most yeah, definitely uh, dead. Let's talk to the uh, Bach with a Glock. Bach with a Glock, here he is. Why did you come over here? You know I could kill you, right? There's I don't doubt I that. help either of you with. I have to leave me be. That stare. So cold! And so attractive. You know, maybe we get out of here eventually. Friend, we certainly will not. Um. Can I take your order? May I please take your order? I will take you up on that coffee. When I'm back in the dining hall, I'll whip that right up. A coffee on the tray. There's no. There's no better combination. All right, legitimately though, Shadow, I was on a cruise once and I loved the free coffee and tea that I would get literally anywhere. You could walk up to any counter and just grab a cup and get coffee or tea anywhere. It was awesome. So I, I vibe with that. Marshmallows would make it perfect. Sure. <laughs> Who puts marshmallows in coffee? Shadow being like, you child. You dumb motherfucker. It took every muscle in his body to agree with Tails. Oh my gosh. Dude, Dom's right. Shadow's game literally created a real life gun. That gun he has on the cover was created just for Shadow. That's insane. I didn't know that. That's an authentic, unique gun just for Shadow the Hedgehog. That's great. And then somebody actually made it. Even better. That's awesome. It's time to talk. Shadow, we have questions for you, bitch. Will you three get out? I'm busy. As I said, I have an appointment set to attend to. Me time. Sorry, but this is important. But me time. I need my coffee. Shadow, we question everyone on this freaking train, and every single person has mentioned running into you. Oh my I God. wish I was kidding. You've been locking every door in this train, and... And I know why! Oh my god, I love uh, Shadow's expression. Shadow's just like, where the hell did this girl come from? The fuck? <laughs> oh my Pray god. Now. Why was I locking all the doors? <laughs> it's time to reveal my hot tip! Hope everyone's ready for a scoop found by yours truly! We're ready. According to the map, the next car is the conductor's car, where Sonic was stationed. This store right here in the lounge car is the only door that leads to the conductor's car. Are you following? So Shadow is locking all the doors for one reason and one reason alone. To keep Sonic from escaping the conductor's car. Huh? Do you think Shadow is trapping Sonic? What an asshole! Well, I mean, that does kind of make sense because then no one can go into there. That's to get definitely into the conductor's car. It is definitely Shadow's mo. I sure do. He locked the conductor's car, then locked all the others, so one locked door wasn't suspicious. Pure 
conjecture, you all get out and leave me be. Well, my source can back up these claims. They will remain anonymous, but I think the point stands. My source claims they never saw Sonic again after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Cameron completely cut out there. Well, oh. my source says that he was completely locked in the conductor. They never saw him after he went to the conductor's car. Why? Because he was trapped, and I couldn't leave the condu and couldn't leave the conductor's car. It was speculation. Is the logic sound though? Was Shadow trapping Sonic? I'm this train of logic, Andy. If Shadow did lock the door to the conductor's car imprisoning Sonic, then how is Sonic found in the dining car? Exactly. Exactly! I've been clamoring and I can explain the car change, however. Hmm. 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 Clamoring? What evidence do we have that shows Sonic could have gone to the dining car. I've got just the thing. I'm assuming the uh the door. Well, the door led to the um library. It led to the library. Well, it's interesting. Oh, oh, so that that I don't know if that proves the dining car, but I mean he does have the keys. That's but fair. Sonic could have the keys. Sonic could. Oh, but Sonic doesn't have the keys. Shadow does. Yeah. Sonic could have gotten to the dining car with the secret passageway. Yeah. Or this crumpled up piece of paper. But I think it's the hidden best way. Yeah. All right. Time to get my thoughts in order with another quick game on my cellular dream Wait. gear. Oh god, this looks cool. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, oh, no, yeah, got, oh my god, a little bit of lag. Oh, there's fire coming from the ground. Oh. Chaos control! Oh my god, I couldn't move. There we go. It lagged a little bit. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 whoa, hey, there we go. Okay, all right. Okay, okay, all right, we're good, we're good. Wow, there's a lot of these things. Wow. Oh no, right at the last moment. Ah, and I thought I had it. Whoa, Malfi, how are you? Welcome back to Sonic. Nah, is quite dead right now. I don't know why I seem so enthusiastic about that. I'm joined by my oh, yeah. pal Lycos, who's hanging on the other side of things. We're detectives together. And we are trying to find out who killed Sonic and why. <laughs> I don't know. I'm still thinking it was Charmy B, although I haven't seen him at all yet. Yeah, I'm still on the boat if it was Charmy, just because he's, he was just being a B is what he does. He's just being a B. He's just being a B. Oh, dang it. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. And I had so many rings, too. Yeah, you had more than enough. I think, yeah. All oh, right, bro. all right. This is going to be the one. This is going to be the one. Gotta just make sure I watch out for this little spikes. There we go, all the way. Yeah, that's it. That's me, I'm the one with the X. Haha, <laughs> that's me. That is, that's it. Oh my god, don't die, don't die, don't die. There we go to the middle. Oh my god, yeah, this is it. This is it. Yeah! All right! And I couldn't have done it without the, the glory of Sonic the Hedgehog. Wait, wait, I found a hidden passage in the wardrobe that leads right to the library car. That's true. We did. What? A secret passage? So someone could have used the passage, snuck through the library car, walked past the distracted boys playing arcade, and safely arrived at the dining car. Glamoring? Hmm. Hmm. This is just my theory a bit. So, Shadow murdered Sonic in the conductor car, but then thought the crime scene being so close to the station was suspicious. Shadow picked up Sonic, locked the door to the conductor car on the way out, and dropped the body off of the dining car. <gasps> Are you officially accusing Shadow of murder? That's a pretty bold statement there, Amy. I am. But of course, this is just a theory. I, um... The game theory? I don't have any evidence to back this up, other than my hot scoop. Huh. Seems Tails and I were more thorough than you were. If Shadow's not going to talk, then I'll humor you once again. If Shadow traveled through the hidden passage that appeared in the library car, then how did Espio and Vector not see him? Well, es oh, Espio was distracted. Just well, unless they're pressing Amy. That's true. 
because she may not know that. That's true. Um, well, um, no, uh, no, I suppose it'd be hard to sneak around two people. Brent, do you have any guesses? Oh, okay, well. No, I thought we were smart. Espio and Vector didn't see Shadow because. Espio was Vector. reading, Vector was Knuckles. Both of these are correct. That's true, that's true. I mean, Espio was definitely reading. I believe Espio was behind a bookshelf at a table reading. Also, watch out, Tails. You're giving up information to Amy, who may not know this. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Espio reading in the library checks out. That's what he told me, too. Oh, yeah. Sure, Amy. He's lying. Hmm. What was that, Shadow? When I completely obliterated Knuckles and Vector at <laughs> the guy. whatever game, I left the saloon car. The whatever game? I spent some time looking for Espio, but he was not there. He was not in the library car. Like I believe you, you're currently my number one suspect. Why were you even searching for Espio, huh? You must know I needed to give him a key. As if! Why would a locksmith be giving away his keys? Shadow has been giving away a lot of keys, actually. Everyone but us seems to have one. That's true. Everyone's been able to unlock the next door for us. Well, I didn't know that. Shadow's been passing out keys. Perhaps Glamour and I can further validate Shadow's claim. We can do what? Grammar Web and supports this claim about the keys. Obviously the key ring. I mean, obviously it's the chili dogs on the menu. I mean, there's really no other oh, choice and here. that's why there's two. That's why there's two or three chili dogs on the menu, duh. That feels good. Now time to get my chili dogs in order. It's time my to think dogs. with my thumbs. 60 rings? Oh my god. It just keeps getting harder. I'm in the right well, way. I mean, it's almost like it's a game of progress. No, 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 this is not a game, Glenn. This is a livelihood. Oh, shoot. Sonic is a livelihood, don't you know this? Sure. Gotta get those ones, gotta get those ones, gotta get, gotta get those, gotta get those reach! Oh, yes. exactly! Oh, my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, that was close. There is only one reason there's exactly two keys on that key ring. Those were the two keys Shadow meant to give to Espio and Vector. Or us? No way! Well, what of his own key? Couldn't one of those be for him? I have my own key on me. This guy looks like a guy who has his own keys, you know? Interesting. So, let's say Shadow's telling the truth. Then what? Um... If Shadow didn't murder Sonic and bring him to the dining car, then what possible reason could he have for locking all the doors? She is right. Her theory is strong. Tails and I certainly haven't presented any possibilities. Is Shadow really innocent in Sonic's murder? Probably. Oh, yeah. Like the red herring. Oh, yeah. Literally. He's got red hair. I think... I think Glamour and I know exactly Pilots. why Shadow is blocking all the doors. Why does he keep including me too? Main character syndrome? First, Amy, I just have one question for you. Do you feel lucky? Has everybody today given you a birthday present? Oh, most everyone, yeah. Everyone's been so sweet. Uh-oh. Shit. Just, um... Shadow and Sonic haven't given me anything yet, but uh, that, that's okay. Just them being here is just fine. I'm not that angry or anything. Oh, we're not going to look into that? Cameron? Uh, yes, Tails. I have a theory, but I need a piece of evidence for it. Would a crumpled piece of paper help? <laughs> I've got, I've got quite a few of them. We now shadow walk through every train car locking the exits and gave everyone in the cars a key. Except for you, me, and Amy. This is arguably true. Yeah. That's right. The conductor gave Amy her birthday key, not Shadow. 
So well, why yeah, would he? Birthday. So why would he lock all the doors and not give us a key? Maybe Shadow just couldn't find us. Maybe he's just stupid. But Shadow knew Amy, and you and I started in the dining car. True. You could have given us keys if you wanted to. So, that's a compelling argument. So maybe Shadow just wanted to keep us away from something. Was Shadow locking all the doors to keep us away? No, no, Cameron. I'm making a leap here, but stick with me. Keep your condescending and high and mighty mouth shut, Tails. Think you know I everything? I think Shadow's trying to keep Amy away. Oh. Oh? Uh, what? Excuse me? Shadow would never do that. It's my birthday. You know it's my birthday, right? Don't you, Shadow? Uh, 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 how dare... Glamorin? Show me some evidence. Uh, me. Huh? If Shadow was trying to keep you away, prove it. You've been so thorough or whatever. What proof do you have? Okay. Okay. Um, Tails thinks Shadow was trying to keep just Amy away? Why? What evidence shows what Shadow didn't want Amy to know? It must Hello. be in the trash. It must be the, the chili dogs on it the menu. It must be the chili dogs on the menu. Chili dogs. And this piece of dogs. trash must be a crumpled piece of the menu. This is actually a thing of Ritz crackers. That feels right. Crackers. Ritz crackers. Now time to organize my thoughts into a cohesive argument by playing there more video these. games. I'll 65. Gotta get them. Gotta get the rings. Gotta get the. Whoa! Excuse me. Holy shit. That took away a lot of rings. This stuff feels like it could be the final stage. No! Oh my goodness. Oh, nuts. Damn, bro. Let's give that another go. Nuts. Like those roasted that nuts that Knuckles that licked all the tank sink salt off of. That's one thing I like is the fact that, like, they don't punish you for failure. Yeah. It just, it just happens. You know, failure happens, you know? Yeah. Whoa. Oh my god, that was close. Shit, dude. Oh my god. Oh no, I need more. I need more Ringos. Okay, we're good. Now I just need the Levite. It's like the final rush. Come on. Oh yeah. Bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> Nobody can stop this chili dog train. You know what Hell I'm saying? Yeah, dude. You were the trash. Huh? What's that? We found this in the trash bin next to the printer. It's true. Tails gave me this one. Oh my. It's of a fan ticket website. Oh, look at that. Hot honey. Friday, second 53 row. Peep, per, 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 per. Tails, don't. Oh my god. <gasps> this is Hot Honey's website? No way! I love them! Uh. Hot honey? It's the band I'm currently obsessed with. Jeremy B is, ha, huh, my current favorite. All the members have B after their name. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> isn't it cute? I haven't got any of their shows yet to see them though. Their tickets are really oh, yeah. hard to get. You have to be ready online at a specific time. And they sell out in minutes. Man, it sounds like an SP concert. Right? Oh, you gotta be quick about those things. <laughs> yeah, you really do. So the question becomes, why was this paper found in the train car Shadow is stationed in? Oh man. Watch yourself, Fox. The situation is becoming much clearer. Charmy has been confirmed. Like I don't know how- Shadow like zips off his head and it's actually Charmy in disguise. <laughs> it was me, Charmy B, the whole time! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh my god. Oh god, that really, that actually really hurt my voice. Oh shit. I don't know how Tails figured things out so soon, but I see where he's heading. Dual barrel roll. The printout of the roll. Hot Honey Band's ticket website exists because... Shadow's either a big Hot Honey fan or was buying tickets for Amy. I think Shadow's being a sweetheart. Yeah, I think he's being cool. <laughs> what? Shadow, is this true? Are you trying to get me concert tickets for my birthday? I've done a 
poor job hiding the surprise. Yes, Aww. I'm trying to get you concert tickets. Aww. Aww, these guys. Shadow. Dude, that's such a bro move to do. Shadow. Aww. That's really sweet. I used the printer earlier, and I found it too difficult to manage. When logging onto the website, did you print the homepage by accident? <laughs> How would the... Yes, that's exactly what happened. I'm not fantastic so great. with computers submitted. That, I mean, that, that checks, though. Oh, my God. <laughs> and so, Lorelai's quiz. Shadow smothered us in our sleep for ruining his plans. But he's got that aloof big bro energy. He certainly does. He does. Ugh. I can't believe this. After I accuse you of murder. <laughs> Spill everything, Shadow. The cat's out of the bag. I want to know everything. Fine. The surprise has ruined it. Oof, probably our fault there. Big oof! Sorry, bro. <laughs> oh my god. That's what a detective's job is, I, I suppose. Hmm. That's great. When I arrived on the train, I realized everyone else had a gift, except for me. <laughs> oh my god. Shadow. Uh, <laughs> I'm 50 fucking years old. Text hard, man. Worried, worried for my social status. Why the fuck does he care? Oh my god. I immediately began brainstorming ideas, and I saw the computer. I remembered Amy had never seen Hot Honey live and looked it up. That's why I accidentally printed the homepage. The concert tickets weren't actually on sale, I realized, but would be available soon. Mm. Is that the appointment you've been speaking of? The time you're actually able to buy the concert tickets? Precisely. I haven't purchased the tickets yet. I knew I had to keep Amy away while I waited to buy the tickets. So I began locking all the doors. But for, for the safety of everyone, I handed... Oh, but for the Shadow? safety of everyone, I handed out the keys so they could get in and out, telling them not to let anyone in, not to let anyone through. It didn't work. Amy still managed to make it here somehow. To cheap Amy out, huh? It's because the conductor gave me this. This key opens up any door on the train. I've gotten through every locked door with ease. The plan's fatal Son flaw. Of a bitch. The birthday key. A likely story. I should have guessed. It's a well-known privilege. Naturally. I wouldn't say that's well known. Oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> Shadow's both a boomer and a boom. Er. Catch, catch Dom's drift. Camera, camera with an X. Don't you know about the celebratory birthday key where you get the skeleton key for wherever you live? Celebratory birthday key. Naturally. Duh. Yeah. Shadow, I... Your gesture's so sweet. After I accused you too. How about this? Let's buy the tickets later. And to make it up for you, you can come with me. I, uh... Oh. I don't know if... Too oh, late! Is actually, uh -huh. It's happening! Eee! I can't wait! The show of a lifetime! I would I would laugh if he actually was a hot honey fan. Oh my god, it's true. It's true. Uh, fine. Happy birthday, Amy. I Aww. expect lots of pictures from the concert you do. <laughs> Dude, total twist, Amy falls in love with Shadow instead. Oh my god. Seems the mystery of Shadow's locked doors has finally reached the end. I blame my source for all this. That wasn't a hot tip at all, leading me to believe Shadow was behind everything. My credibility as a journalist reporter down the drain. Amy, I am curious. Who is this uh, source for your uh, big scoop? I would like to know as well. Sorry, strictly confidential, can't tell you. My credibility may be shot, but my principles must stay intact. I have a strange feeling I know exactly who your source is. What if it's Sonic? Oh. Huh. Well, we need to investigate one last area, the conductor's car. Is there anybody we haven't seen yet? No. I we've seen everyone. I'll come with you. I love to know who's been dragging my name through the mud. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Are you sure it's just not through all the bodies? And I'll join you as well. Time to see this through to the end. Happy to have you both. Glamorin, I hate to say it, but I believe our investigation is finally coming to a close. No! 
The pieces are coming together. The full picture is becoming clearer and clearer. Let's end this, Tails. We'll pin down Sonic's murderer for good. Right then, let's do this. Oh my goodness. I love, this is delightful. Dude, there's been so much, there's been so much conversation. Amy, Lorelai saying that Amy was literally in the room with us when we, oh, when we got him. Wait, you, you, you got cut there, bro. Oh, you're good, you're good. I'm just mentioning some of Lorelai's most recent comments about Shadow looking ready to kill, deck, kill, decked out in bee merch. Specifically, Charmy bee merch. A total fanboy. Yeah. And the fact that oh, Shadow yeah. and Amy, it's a pretty popular ship. And the fact that, of yeah. course, Sonic will not be the one talking. Alas, dead men tell one tale. Don't mess with the edge, to mess with the edge lord, which is a tale. Don't mess with the edge lord, of course. All uh, right. So shall we actually wrap up this episode up here? Ooh, that's a good idea, that? sir. Because this seems like a good stopping point for this episode. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've been, you've enjoyed. And for our live studio audience, I hope you guys have enjoyed as well. Another one down. This thank you all. This is a delightful. This is an absolutely delightful game. And ne next episode might be the last the one. The shocking so conclusion, perhaps? Don't miss it. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. We'll find out next time. So, as always, friends, goodbye. Till next time, y'all. Lycos. Out. Bye. Oh, my goodness. We're so close. Uh, I love this. All right, let's kick it off. Hey, guys. Lycos Lore here, and welcome to what might be the last episode of The Murder of Sonic, Sonic the Hedgehog. Sonic is still dead. <laughs> So we, last episode, we got into what I forgot the name of this car, but uh, basically it's the lounge the car was someone has been framing Shadow because basically we just found out he was locking the doors to keep Amy away so that way he could buy her concert tickets for Hot Honey, a band she likes. And, oh my uh, god! Yeah, so now we are about to go into the conductor car. It's time so to go for it. See what happens. Let's go! Ready to go to the conductor car? Let's finish this! It's now or never! Now or never! Or something like that, you know, something sinks on. Whoa. It's kinda, kinda cool in here, you know? Yeah. The conductor car. Oh, oh look, it looks like a young- Oh, it here. looks so young! Or maybe it's his kid or something, who knows? I hope it's him. Should really sort out my evidence before I continue. In my short time working on this train, I haven't visited the conductor car key yet. It feels empty. Oh, this is a very Peridot area. Excellent observation. Yes. Uh, I, I would agree. It's totally giving me Peridot here. Steven Universe vibes. He's been working for 32 years. Oh, I remember. Yeah, he's, a, he, he's been here for a long time, that guy. Yeah. But where's the conductor? That's odd. I haven't seen him throughout the train at all. Maybe he's the Last, murderer. We saw him once when he left the dining car. Something clearly happened here. Nothing we can't figure out. Come on, time to investigate. Crack on. Crack on what? Crack on, cr cr crack in my nose or crack? What are we doing? Hell yeah. Hell yeah, dude. Shadow's like, yo, you gonna pass me some of that crack? Yeah. <laughs> Annie is stripped. Oh, oh my god. Shit. Did this fall over when the train sped up? Not sure. Wait, what's it say on the mug? A cup of joe in your hand? Wife by your side? Paradise. Wait, who's got a wife? All right, all right, we get it. He loves his wife. I'll put her down later. Shadow! What? Robot arm. This robot arm has been completely torn off. Oh! Oh, dear. Yuck, how creepy. That arm is powerful. It'd be tough to break out of its grip. A lot of people here have the strength to tear this off, but the question is why? Hmm. A confrontation definitely occurred in this room. We should log this. Aye, aye, sir. Ba -da -da -ba -ba. Broken robot arm is added to your inventory. <gasps> Look at this key. It looks like... What's this? Was someone playing darts? Oh. It's a dart. That's not throwing darts, that's a blue dart. Oh shit! 
someone brought a weapon aboard this train. That feels like Espio's MO. Hmm. Well, yeah, because he's the only one who I think would use something like that. Yeah. Either that or the conductor's like an assassin or something. True. Hmm, ah. That shouldn't be possible. Tails is right. The train detects any weapons on a passenger before letting them on board. Unless the conductor's the enemy. Yeah, because they specifically say passenger. He'd have, that's true, it's his passengers. Ba -da -da -ba -ba. I think we found enough clues. I don't know, man. Let's talk to aliens, solve this once and for all. Dom, my good, good friend, may you have a wonderful rest of your night as well. Thank you for popping in. Enjoy yourself, Dom. Let's see. Can we look at the picture of the, uh, the Oh, conductor? we have to, we have to. Oh. Wow, the conductor looks so Aww. young in his uniform. He's been here a long time. After 32 years, he told me he's finally retiring. He said he's headed to Spagonia with his wife. I hope they have a great trip. 32 years is a long time. Oh, I wish them a lot of happiness. May any future sorrow be fleeting. Fuck, that was deep. Oh, yeah, I wish that too. <gasps> Trash! Trash. You know, I'm all right. I don't need to check the trash bin. You're satisfied with finding a clue here before, huh? I know they say always check the trash bin, but I'm good. I'll go out on a high note. Oh my god. You know what? Fair. Check the speakers. Ooh, speakers, speakers. A microphone! We can talk to the whole train with this! Hmm. Should I say something? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> it starts beatboxing? Yeah. Glamour, why are you reaching for the mic? Um, you know, just um, offer, I guess, some musical entertainment. You know, because someone is dead. Glamour. Thank you for sharing. You're so very welcome. Yep, 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 yep. You should definitely come to one of my live streams where I beat Bucks live. Air vent. Oh, air vent. Mm. A vent. Hmm, it's a large one. Seems like they, at least one person could fit through. Not a problem for me, but I'm not sure how you'd get up there. Wait, why wouldn't it be a problem for you? <laughs> Tails knows that a vent. Shadow's like, you, you still, still don't know this guy? Ah! Uh! Oh. <laughs> it's the tails. Glamour, you freaking idiot! You fucked, you fucked up! No, I'm not gonna invite you to a birthday party. I don't know things! I've noticed these screens throughout the entire train. Yeah, they're used to show information and advertisements. They're nice, the picture is really clear. I would watch a whole full movie on them if I wanted to. I saw a slide that said, Happy Birthday, Amy. That was so cute. Wait, did we see one of those? Oh, maybe I it was in the first... Think... It might have been in the first car. We didn't know we could flip through them then. Ooh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. The next ad being for nasal medication was a little jarring, though. <laughs> the high-quality screens probably didn't do that ad any favors. Not at all. Perhaps too much detail. Oh my gosh. In our defense, you know, technically, Glamorin hasn't seen Tails fly. Yeah. So, like, he didn't know. I didn't know. Like, that was legitimately a good question. I couldn't have known. I couldn't have known. No, I think the only... Oh, wait, no, that was everything. Mm-hmm. I think that might have been everything out here, you know? So, talk to Amy. Okie doke. Right? Unless we want to talk to Shadow. I mean, we haven't talked to Shadow yet. Okay. Isn't it odd that we haven't seen the conductor since the dining car? Oh, yeah. I figured he's had to drive to train the entire time. Oh, but the, the, one of the things did mention autopilot, I guess. Yeah. I guess it's the same, but the train's quick speed up is odd, and we currently don't know where he is. Hope he's all right. Admittedly, I do miss his laugh. <laughs> is my impression of my boss's laugh. Dude, this guy. I gotta say, I love the fact that Glamour's really getting into the, uh, getting into the role here. Oh yeah. All right. Talk to Amy. I just noticed. What is this? Oh, that's the menu. I never clicked the oh. button. 
nice. Also, I, I love the fact that Amy, instead of having like a little crown, she has a little, this is a little cake Oh, on yeah, her yeah. Head. She's got the little like I, cake I think on that's it. That's really cute. Oh, for sure, for sure. Well, you two, think you have enough evidence for me to call everyone here? It's high time we named a suspect. Cameron, ready to solve the case? I'm ready! God, I don't know. It's, I mean, my gut, it's like, it's either the conductor. Wait. I mean, the conductor's not here. I feel like he could have been in cahoots the entire time. Yeah. Hello, everyone. This is the birthday girl speaking. Please report to the conductor car at once. Or Shadow will deck you. The clock. Oh, the clock doesn't mess around with birthdays. Uh, All right. Uh, <laughs> Tim Allen. God. Wonderful to have you all here. Tails and I are ready to announce our prime suspect. With assistance from... Glamour, take it away, buddy. Why hasn't Sonic shown up? Oh, wait. <laughs> He's been murdered. Yeah. Uh. 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 Vector. Uh, real quick, can you come with... Can you come with me to get Sonic? He must still be pretending to be dead. Lazy bum. Hey, let's go get him. Let me tell you, darling, this has been a delight. Oh yeah, you got out of it with a Faberge egg. A delight? The air in here is so intense. I love it. Nothing like the thrill of a mystery. Seriously, though. Yeah, like, this has been awesome. The train has so many amenities. I felt so catered to. I feel so catered to. Made it all myself. The amusement of it. Chase. I see why you're a detective outside of the mystery, SBO. Mm -hmm. You and I love a good thrill, it seems. <laughs> <laughs> but on this train, I am but a humble poet. I'd be willing to do an event like this again. It says here the train does escape rooms as well. Oh my god. Oh my god, an escape train? Escape train, Sonic style. I love escape rooms. Count me in. Count me in. Let's do it. No, oh, I'm so glad everyone's having a good time. Maybe we we could ride a train just to relax sometime. Are there trains in other Sonic games? I must know the answer, dude. Sonic the Hedgehog spirit um... tracks. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, that was all water travel. So no, there was no train in that game. Mm-hmm. Tales. Oh, there, wait, dude, Sonic DX. Oh, Sonic DX did have a train. You're right. Yeah, you use the train to Gotta get from the, the city to the, um, the jungle. Ooh, and there's also a train in uh, Sonic Mania. Uh, yeah, that'd be fun, too. Totally. Ah, go for the windows. Oh! Uh? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what in the world? Oh my God. That's Amy's voice. Sonic Quit. is actually dead. Where's Amy? Slam's door. Oh! <gasps> oh no! He's he he's not responded to us. Sonic, Sonic. Is he hurt? Why isn't mm. he moving? Sonic, Sonic, can you hear us? <laughs> that melatonin voice. banged up. If there's a pulse, it's weak. Send him down, Vector. Make sure his head is propped up. SPS voice gets me every single time. <laughs> <laughs> I think SPS is my favorite voice. <laughs> I'll help you. Uh, I knew one of you would take this too far. Proceeds to brandish the hammer. Oh. I, don't, I don't know why my first thing is she would like flip and just cave in Knuckles' skull. Oh my god. Which one of you did this to Sonic on my birthday, no less? Could this really been have been one of us? There's no one else here, Knuckles! 
So I'll ask again. Which oh, one of you did this? I oh my god. Nobody expects the Candyman from Amphibia to be the Poet Ninja. Nobody expects Matt Mercer's one only Sonic voice character. Hmm. 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 <laughs> Murder. This is inexcusable. Sonic turn! I'm going to expose the monster who did this! Tails is not having it. This kid is like, uh-uh. I thought Sonic could handle anything, but... Somehow, he met his match. I'm gonna help you get to the bottom of this, Tails. Absolutely. Me too. Time! We're gonna figure out exactly what happened in this room. And punish the one responsible. S Sonic! He really was hurt this whole time. And I did... Nothing! I'm writing my wrong. I must take down the murderer. Tails, Glamoured, I have a big question to ask. Who in this room did this? Who killed Sonic the Hedgehog? Uh... Throughout all of this? I'm telling you, man, I still think Sonic killed himself. The facts all point to self-harm. But, I will think, there were some other things, you know? There was that blow dart that was unanswered for. Like, like the blow dart closest person would be Espio. And also the fact, like, he can turn invisible. That's true. I don't know, I don't know. I have a strange feeling. What if it is the conductor? Like, my gut, it, actually, my gut is up to three, but one of them is kind of, like, mixed at this point. So I want to try... Conductor, Espio, and Amy. Those I want to try to click in the conductor. Okay, clicking the conductor does absolutely nothing. Damn. I gotta be so clever. I gotta think like who else could have done it, you know? Shadow, yeah. like, I mean, Shallow had a Shadow had a good alibi handing around the stuff. And but the whole presence of the He was obviously a red herring. Yeah. Like it was too obvious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't oh. think Blade. Maybe somebody swallowed the blow dart, you know? <laughs> Let's see, Blaze seemed to be- Blaze Alibi is plotting the- plotting the Fabergé egg heist with Rouge, and Rouge was yeah. going around the rooms, distracting but people, she, I guess? Well, no, she- she was trying to find information on the Fabergé egg heist. That's fair. Blueprint. SPO really was reading that book. I mean, he did prove that he was going through the book, after all. Yeah, he did. Tails has been with us the whole time. However, yep. we did say the only other people were Amy, Tails, and ourselves. Yeah. Knuckles is a hothead. I don't think he'd kill Sonic. I don't think he would. And no, I just, I wouldn't pass, pass Vector. Because the thing is, Vector and Knuckles, they're muscle heads. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So they wouldn't use something like a blow dart. That's also a fair point, too. The mm -hmm. only other person that I can think of that we use in blow dart is Espio. However, yeah, that's what I'm thinking. the other Except person. He has a solid alibi. Tails, though, knows how to do a bunch of things, and I wouldn't put him past put him past him to do a blow dart. Also, he's the one we've never been able to get an alibi for, because in between us blacking out, we don't have an alibi for Amy or Tails. So I wonder. Vector, Vector would straight up music Sonic to death. And did Espio have a solid alibi? We made it for him. And I guess with the whole book thing, we did. The yeah. blow dart, though. Yeah. I don't the know, man. It really points to Espio. It does, though. And you know, it, it is interesting. We didn't, we picked up the blow dart. But we didn't get anything else. Like, that's the only other piece of evidence that we have. Actually, actually, we can look in our inventory. Wait, we have the Smash robot arm. You're right, wait a minute. Oh my god, it couldn't have just been one person then. I think there must be two different people. Right? But one of them, I mean, if we're going based off of the facts here, one of them has to be Espio. Then would the other one be Vector? Maybe, I mean, he is super freaking strong. Mm-hmm. So let's see. And like... Signs point to Espio. At least from the evidence. And also, wouldn't it be the irony that the detectives were the murderers? That would be pretty ironic. 
That's true. Uh, Lorelai has a good point. There was no launcher for the blow dart. Unless somebody was definitely. trained to shoot blow darts from their mouth, like Espio, perhaps. Yeah. I, or he might have it on him. Oh, but a weapon. You can't bring a weapon on play on the. Train. You're right. The hands would. The hands would take it away. Oh, oh, but wait. The hand wouldn't take it away if it was ripped out. That would give Espio the opportunity to use the weapon. Which means. Vector was with Knuckles. Espio, though. Glenn, what do you think? Oh, God. Blow dart points to Espio, but we don't have solid info for either of Tails or Amy. Again, like, now it's up to four where it's Tails and Amy because, again, we don't have solid alibis for either of them. Vector and Or the Espio conductor! Because... Yeah. Again, I legitimately, like, want to think it's the conductor. I think... We should go based off of the evidence that we have. And we do have a blow dart. And the, of, based off of my knowledge of the Sonic theory, it must be Espio. Or at least in yeah, part Espio. Yeah, that's my thought. All right. Locking our answer in. Hey, wait, Cameron, can we save in case like it doesn't let us go back? We can. I just realized we haven't saved this entire time. We have not saved this entire time. Oh my time. god. I can't wow. believe we never saved it. God forbid this game crashed on us. Yeah. By the oh way, I god. lost the game. Oh, I lost the game too. <laughs> oh, and Lorelai brings up a good point. If the rules of the game are to be followed, it can't be the detective, and it can't be the birthday girl. Right. That's a good point. Based and the, up, the thing is... I think it's... it's I'm going SBO. Yeah, no, I, I'd agree with that. All right, buddy. Fingers crossed. Espio, you were the one who murdered Sonic. Oh my god, I can't wait for this. Glory to you. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, and then Rector comes up. I did no such thing, my young friend. So if it's a battle, what you wish, I would love to discuss things. Let's discuss. What the? You're accusing Espio. We already talked about this. The man was reading. You have nothing. Mm. He's stating Espio's alibi would be helpful for everyone, I think. Espio was locked in the library car reading. He only had access to the saloon car during the murder. Oh, uh, shit. That's true. Oh. However, new evidence has come to light that, that needs to be addressed. New evidence? Oh, yeah. That's right. Glamorin, would you fill everyone in? With pleasure. What did we find that brings into question Espio's alibi? Well, the we discovered the hidden passage. Yeah. Well, Espio could have left the library at any time because Tails and I found a hidden passage from the library car to the lounge car. In the lounge, the hidden passage exits behind the wardrobe. I feel lucky we even found it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit, that's not those with. Forgot about that. Not only would Espio avoid at any locked doors, but that would put him in the car just before this one. You have no evidence I used any secret passage. I answered all your questions without flaw. I was right. I remember. Hmm, sus. It's true. You didn't miss a question. So I think Glamour and I can explain that too. Glamour. Naturally. How did Espio know everything in the ma train manual he was reading? <laughs> A ninja like him speed reads, or he's a poet, so a quick reader. I mean, speed read. Yeah. Espio is a ninja. He's split in 17 different languages. Oh my Holy god. Shit. I didn't know that at all. Remarkably disciplined. Same. But then again, language isn't much of a factor in Sonic. Yeah, I guess. What are you getting at? Well, I mean, well, hold up a second. How many different languages are the Sonic games translated in? Oh and does that God. mean that everybody speaks all those languages? <laughs> you picked a random book from the shelf and memorized it. Memorized it, fuck. Did oh, man. In my life. Just to guarantee yourself a clean alibi. And you're a nerd for doing so. What? 
That, that's absurd, memorizing a whole book? I know this is a talented bunch. That seems like a lot. I don't know, it's plausible. Espio is particularly skilled. I've known Espio a long time. He once speed read a book I was reading, just to spoil the ending for me. <laughs> what an asshole! Wow, that's such a dick move, and I love it. Espio, you twink. Uh, <laughs> I'm not a twink! <laughs> no, 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 we love you for it, Espio. Oh. I'm a twink! <laughs> <laughs> Fully embraces uh, it. <laughs> quickly memorized the book before entering the hidden passage. Then Espio could have met Sonic in the conductor's car where he was murdered. Murdered? Since we're only talking in what if, let me throw something at ya. How was I to know about the hidden passage? It's in it. You're a fucking ninja. He's a ninja! I've known it was there! Oh, the blueprint. Oh, yeah. The blueprints that they got from Dude, Rouge. You say yourself, kid. You were lucky to even find the secret passage. Glamour and I may have been not found the evidence to answer your question. But we know someone who does. Oh, Glamour. yes, we do. Rouge. Who here has evidence to prove that Espio knew about the hidden passage? Got the blueprints. Rouge? Give me a see those blueprints. Naturally. Blue blueprints? Do you sell blueprints? Oh my gosh. Whatever. I already used them to scout for more treasures. Game of gold. You can have it. Mm, blueprints got the blueprints were added to your inventory. Nice. This right here is the blueprint to the entire train. You could have easily used this to find the hidden passage. And look, you can see right here, obviously a secret passage somewhere? Somewhere? Maybe? Uh. What makes you think I ever saw those blueprints? Rouge Adam! You could have just snuck a glance, dude. Well, Glamour, do you have an answer for him? Dude, stop bringing me into this, man. How could I see not seen those blueprints? He can turn invisible! He was in the... Hmm. Found I mean, them before Roos did? Both of these are technically yeah, correct. Be because remember, she found it in the library. Oh, yeah! Roos, where did you find that blueprint? Oh, uh, the library car. Stuck with the brochures. the brochures. I checked the saloon car first, then found the blueprint after reading. And that means Espio had time to find the blueprints and discover the secret passage. Hmm. In my theory, Espio looked at the blueprints and used the hidden passage to get to Sonic. With Amy's guidelines, the murderer can kill a single participant however they choose. Hmm, that's true. The logistics are still vague, but Glamour and I have evidence on how Sonic was murdered. Huh. I'm unsure how much harm Espio caused Sonic, but Glamour and I have evidence on how it was done. Check this out. Oh, this is rich. Please, pray tell. If I murdered Sonic, then how'd I do it? With a blow dart and blood yeah. force trauma, but mostly the blow dart. The blow dart. Okay, now to form my argument. Come oh on, focus. God, come on, You're so close. Time to sit in the corner and play video game. On, it's time for video games. Oh, still six, oh. 60 rings again. Oh my god, I'm ready I, for it. I, oh my god. Hey, Ninja I would, Star. I would kind of I would kind of laugh if we went through all of this and it's like, well, you're wrong. Oh god, I got one. Go to the beginning. Oh my god, what in the world? Oh, okay. Hell? I had no idea that was about to happen. Okay, let me let me just try what this again. Hell? Oh my god, I would not have noticed that. <laughs> I was moving too fast, you see? Moving just too fast. Holy shit. Oh, I just realized I can jump over those. I forgot about that. I 
I didn't realize I could do that. There we go. Oh no, that was not the right one. Oh no, I needed those ones. Ah. Okay. This time, I'm not screwing around. Let's go, Cameron. Let's go, Cameron. Swipe. Wait a minute. There we go. There we go. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got it. This one's fine. And I need to do this. Oh, I see the thingy now. I see the cracks in the thing now. Oh, I mi oh, I didn't have enough. Oh. Uh, you were two rings short. Oh, I can beat it. I gotta be more aggressive than that. Here we go. Bro. Okay, gotcha. To the middle, out of the side. To the middle. There we go. Oh my god, I fell. Oh, that was the good strategy, though. That was the right strategy. You were, you were doing really good, dude. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh. To the side, and then back. And then in the middle, and then jump. And then jump again, and then to the middle. Okay, there. Dodge the... the oh, that's why we also have uh, shurikens as well, because Espio is obviously the killer. It's a yeah. sign. It's absolutely a sign. There's no way around it. Oh my god, whoops. Oh my god, I hope... Oh my god, no! Okay. Too many mess-ups. Oh, here we go. We do it again. I got this. Believe. Espio, you must cheer me on. Use your voice to calm me. Let me focus. Oh, Cameron, oh, Cameron, let down your hand. Yes, give me your power, Espio. I believe in the me that you believe in. No! Oh, goodness gracious. Let me, let me caress those gorgeous lungs. Oh, my goodness! By the power of Espio's voice blinging through my head. Cameron was an ex. This loader was found here in the conductor's in the conductor room. Yeah, I guess it would have been more crazy if those things were randomized. Yeah. I believe Espio used this to knock Sonic unconscious. Yeah, poison! Ah. So you mean Sonic might just be knocked out? I'm unsure. He's more banged up than what a blow dart would do. According to these rules, a blow dart counts as a kill for the murder mystery. Hmm. My theory, is, therefore, is plausible. Plausible, you say? Then why are there so many holes in it? Holes, you say? You deny the allegations. Of course I do! Let me present the fatal flaw. If I knock Sonic out the conductor's car, then how was Sonic found in the dining car? Somebody had to carry him there. Ooh, shoot. That's a good point. But Tails was on to something, and I'm sure of it. I locked all of the doors, and I still didn't have a key. So you would have had to take the hidden passage back. If he took the hidden passage back, he'd end up back in the library. I know another way he could have he could have been done. We do. What piece of evidence do we need to take a closer look at? I mean, there could be more plans in the blueprint. Oh, I mean, like, God. but we also have the broken robotic arm, which we haven't used yet. Okay, uh, this is gonna really suck. I'm sorry. Uh, I actually need to go to the bathroom really bad. Oh my god, go for it, man. Oh, go for uh, it. This is so intense. The intense moment. This penultimate moment here. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Well, we get into this. Let's go back and chill out for just a moment. It's all good things. Also, it seems like an ad wants to come up during literally the climax of everything, so we're just gonna do that now so we don't have to worry about it later. That's just how it do. I'll be honest. I tried out this whole ad thing, and I'm gonna be perfectly honest. It's kind of pissing me off. The, the, the ads are very, very annoying. And I think of it this way. As opposed to a single one, right when you enter, it just keeps coming back. I think that's very annoying. I'm gonna probably turn this thing off after this. I go apologize for all that. These things are annoying, and I know it. Oh, at least there was a Sonic ad this time around. That's very good. That bodes well. Oh my goodness. I guess while we're hanging around here, 
I'll spoil a couple of things for Wednesday, because there is indeed, as usual, a cocktail theme on Wednesday if y'all stick around till then. I watched the D&D movie this weekend. Glenn was there as well, and I was there as well, and we had a wonderful time, and I had this magically magical idea. I've had in my collection the idea to do a random cocktail episode, rolling for cocktail with the power of a d20. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm currently working on, for Wednesday, I'm working on my cocktail matrix to be able to determine what different ingredients correspond to each die roll. And I'm actually really, really looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be really fun. The idea I'm essentially back. is each ingredient is going to be decided by the dice roll. Oh, Glenn, you're back. Yeah. I was giving okay. a little bit of a teaser to this week's bar stream. I heard something about dice rolling for ingredients. That's Roll hard. for cocktail. That's what I decided what? it was going to be because the D&D movie was so inspiring. It was, it was such a good movie. Oh my goodness. If you haven't seen it and you want to, I recommend it. Uh, Lorelai, uh, spoiler for you, if you do want to go see it, uh, you don't need to know D&D to enjoy the movie. It's, it's a fun fantasy. And you should go to a, an AMC movie theater instead of a real. Yes, because they have these special edition popcorn buckets that are shaped like D20. D20 popcorn buckets. We were yeah, able to I get one. Seen them. Yeah, we were not able to get one because we went to a Regal. But uh, I have seen them in I have seen them in person. They're really cool. They're My friend cool. uses it to store D and D minis now. It's a very good okay, idea. Okay, so how so how would it SBO get Sonic? to the conductor, or to the dining hall. So my one thought is the robotic arm could be used for something. Yeah. But I also think about the blueprints as well. I don't know. So that what I'm thinking is, so the robotic arm implies that he was working with somebody else because FDO, SBO, being the twink that he is, could not possibly pull that Wait, off himself. hang on though. The cord to the robotic arm is completely sliced through. Yeah. Weapons aren't allowed on the train. So, Who's got a... Oh could yeah, Sonic sliced. or Shadow pull it off? Spin dash. Yeah. Oh my god, what if Sonic broke the robotic arm itself? What if he just... I feel like, okay. Cause I feel like the robotic arm applies a couple of different things. So I think that's the piece of evidence. Also because, why not, right? Yeah, let's try it. Oh, I don't think this is the right direction. What evidence shows another route? Okay, another route completely. All right, well in that case it'd be the blueprints. Now what's my argument? We're getting closer. Think, Lamron, think. Oh, and apparently the closest AMC movie theater to Lorelei is like 50 miles away. Oh, is it worth though? Oh my god, hi there. Wow, that was quick. I agree. Bouncy. Dude, this is gonna be like one of those, like a Duncan Rumpa trailer where there's gonna be like three twists. Oh my god, whoops. There's a lot of twists. Nice. Oh, I totally fell. That was totally on me. Wow, Damn. that was absolute, that was absolute sonic dung. Oh my god. I, that, that gets me every single time. Alright. Oh my god. Every once in a while, the game seems to kind of, uh, kind of get a little slow on me. So, that might be why. I will admit, these segments do look a little slow on my end, but, like, all, all in all, I think they're okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. There we go. We got it. Just need to get... There we go. That's yeah. easy. Just... Easy, 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 easy. Alright, let's take a look. Blueprints! If Espio didn't take the secret passage to get to the dining car, then what route did he take to get Sonic there? Oh! Oh my god. Oh, because of the second floor oh. of the library! Oh. There's a path above the conductor car, and it goes all the way to the dining car. Oh, damn. And he's a ninja. Because he, he can climb easily, walls. He could easily go through vents. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It's the venting system, that too. Huh? I didn't even see that area. Oh, Rouge is so into this. Is that some sort of long attic? According to these blueprints, there's a hidden path in the ceiling that leads straight to the dining room. SBO bar. was venting. Oh my god, he was a sussy baka. He's a sussy baka! Uh, I, I used to get my line, bro. 
Oh, sorry. Over there. The vent, of course. That must be the entrance to the path. Allow me to check it out. Because he can climb off too. My word. There's a path back there. And a track. A track, huh? A track for robot arms, I think. This must be the path the arms take to move throughout the train. You're I somehow fit with Sonic in that vent and took him to the dining car. Uh. Dale, that's my game. So I know you realize we both couldn't fit up there. Espio's right. This is feeling flimsy, Tails. In answer, my name's getting dragged around here. How on earth would I get Sonic through that vent? Well, we do have this other robotic Robot. arm here. Oh my goodness. Phew. Now to think of the argument. You can do this, Glamorin. You got this. Oh. oh my god, this is so intense. Oh my gosh, yeah. Ooh, Lorelai's got a fun fact that I must read at some point. What fun factoid? It's a fun factoid about the trailer for something. It might have been the D&D movie or perhaps for the Sonic game. Oh my god, hi. Well, hello there. Oh, there's a lot head. Lot Whoa, hi there. There we go. Bouncy. Go to the middle. Oh, to the side. That's fine. Okay. There is a lot of cracking here. Oh my god. Bounce. Oh, that was, cer that was certainly not enough. Fun oh, fact, when Lorelai saw the trailer, I, she joked that Espio was going to kill somebody over being denied a chance to weave. This turn, the, this turn of events is very funny. Oh my god, that's hilarious. Oh my god, that's great. Okay, to the side. Bounce. To the side. Dude, you got to really nail that. Holy shit. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. Well... Oh, I needed those oh, extra bro. ones. There we go. There we go. Doing all right. In the middle. Get the boop. Got the boop. To the middle. To the side. To the middle. To the side. Oh my god. No. No, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh. This has got uh, This has got to be the last one. Yeah, this has to be it. Come on, bro. Also, Sonic can't be dead. We've been playing as him this whole time. Oh my god, whoops. Yeah, on Glamorin's dream here. Uh, duh. Yeah, I think every single time there's a... Um, the little alleyways start blinking, it gets a little laggy on my stream. Mm. Alright. Still wasn't enough, but... Just keep on... Damn. Just keep on practicing. Just, just all practice, dude. We're All we're doing is just collecting our thoughts. That's all we're doing. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if I get through that time. That was good. Oh my god. I, I totally missed all those ones. That was... I'm just gonna let it happen. Kill me. Kill me. Yeah. <laughs> this is a bad one. Just fall yeah. off the edge. Oh, maybe if I run out of rings. Oh, man. Oh, this was a sad one. This was, this was sad. Just fall. There we go. Yeah, just fall. It's there a metaphor go. for Sonic dying. Or being murdered. Alright, I need to be on the left-hand side for this one. That way, I can do this, and get killed. There we go. Right in the middle. To the side, and then backward. Okay, just a little bit. Just a little bit. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Oh no! Oh my god! Local murder hedgehog refuses to die. And I will not decrease the difficulty. I... We will succeed! We are gamers. We are true gamers. Okay, to the side. That way? Oh, I just missed it! That's okay. Another the thingy. To the side. Then to the side again. There we go. In the middle. Okay. Just gotta get all those. That'll be 61. 61. You can get nine more rings, dude. Yes! 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 Nice! Yes! I just had to stay oh, forward yeah. on it. Dude! Awesome! Nice! Everyone saw the broken robot arm on the ground, right? It's an arm of one of Eggman's robots! 
Clearly a fight broke out in one of those robot arms was a casualty. Oh. What if the real murder? Well, the robot arms actually caught Sonic. Knuckles said there's a track oh. of rope. Oh, that was no, mine anyway. Yeah. Knuckles did say that there was a track that went above. A robot arm could have grabbed Sonic, passed out from the blow dart, and carried him to the dining car. C could that be true? Take a look at Sonic. He's clearly banged up. Yeah, look at his limp, dead body. <laughs> could the fight have been between Sonic and the robot arm? Makes sense. Wouldn't be the first time. <gasps> I can see that. Those arms do look powerful. Sonic doesn't fall easy, but if he's woozy from a blue dart, the arms could be a god. Interesting theory tales, but you have to admit, these are a lot of coincidences. I might be able to link everything directly to SBO yet. But I found one inconsistency. Huh? What kind of inconsistency? Someone here received, received false information, and I believe that information came from Espia. Uh oh. Oh, that's right, Amy's informant. Who received that information? Oh, it's gotta be. Yeah, it's gotta be. Amy's had his informant yeah. the entire time. Amy, you received a hot scoop, did you not? I think it's time you told us where that scoop came from. Mm, Tails? You're right. Espio lied to me. Espio told me Shadow was locking doors to trap Sonic. But we found out Shadow was trying to keep me from discovering my birthday surprise. Scoop came from you, Espio? Oh, oh, we're gonna have a dead chameleon. Oh, and now oh. he's gonna die. I have a Glock with your name. Oh, of course not. Amy must have misheard me. <laughs> misheard you? Uh, yes, I said uh, I thought I was going to get trapped with all these locks and doors. I was just looking out for my fellow passenger safety. I didn't blame Shadow. I don't know, Espio. Wh what? The evidence might not be airtight, but there's a lot being thrown at you that makes sense. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole. You want us to believe you were lazily reading the whole time while you were stationed in a room with a hidden passage. Mm -hmm. yeah. The truth done come out. And now you're lying to me on my birthday of all days. I believe the murderer used the train's controls to move Sonic to the conductor. From the conductor car to the dining car. And lied to Amy, casting further blame on Shadow for no other reason than to cause doubt and confusion. When examining everyone's alibis, one clearly stands out as the weakest. I believe it's clear to everyone. It could only have been one person. It, it was, was you, you SBO. I love my outfit. You were the one who murdered Sonic the Hedgehog! Yeah! Uh. Oh my god, he's alive again. Aw, oh, come on, he wasn't actually murdered. What a tease this game is. <laughs> hey, hey guys! Sonic, you're okay! Sonic! And just as we solve the mystery, Espio is the murderer! Right. And now we recollect the entire story. Espio jumped me in the conductor car! Dang it, you got me! A blow dart, though? Really? A non lethal poison? You'll just be sleepy for a while. <laughs> Great! I could use a nap. Oh my god. No, wait. There's something important. Espio left me there. Something important? I need everyone to listen. The train's a bad Nick. <gasps> yep, that seems legit. That, that tracks. Sonic, are you feeling all right?
all right. Do you need a line back down? Dude, what if the conductor's actually Eggman in disguise? Oh my fucking god, I was literally thinking the same thing. No! We all need to get off this train! We're not safe! What? When I arrived at the conductor car, the conductor was already here! He was so excited to tell me all about the features of the train. But what he was telling me, I had a bad feeling. I asked to see the power source. The conductor hadn't even seen it. When we took a look, we realized the train's powered by a flicky. The train tail oh the my story. god! A flicky, the tiny animal. There's oh only one person twisted enough to use a flicky as a power source. Dr. Eggman. I always knew it. I told the conductor the train needed to be destroyed. He refused. The way the conductor was describing it, it's more than a simple badnik. It's the conductor's friend. The train is his co-conductor. You're not serious. They, uh, certainly didn't tell me that in the interview. Right. As we saw the flicky, I felt a sting in my shoulder. It was the blow dart from Espio. Ah oh, shit! Now I really feel like <laughs> a, oh, shit, dude. Like a dick. How's it <sighs> going, dude? Staying away from the assholes, I hope, but I shot you at range. Espio like an left and kept on blabbering as he moved on. The lights I... in the room started to glow red. Ooh. Oh, that's creepy. Oh my god! Holy shit! Hey, stop! What are you doing? I knew something was wrong and stood up. The arms came from me next. I spin dashed right through the robot arm, sliced yeah. it off the rail it was on. Wow. I'm amazed he was able to do any of this poisoned. But another robot arm managed to grab me and pin me to the floor. Conductor scream. I'll take that as a scream on Glenn's part. Oh, wait, was it not picking up? <laughs> no, absolute silence. God damn it. The conductor Excuse screamed me. as the arms approached him, but I was hit quite a bit before it all got to me. Uh oh. Now he's dead. Oh no. I murdered Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, you are really late to the party, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, we already knew that. <sighs> I will say, I was surprised we got that right. Yeah, yeah, that was that was good. That was like a real collaboration, because like holy shit. Totally teamwork, man. Yeah. Hell yeah. How about? The situation go. has gotten so serious. Why would you not just tell us? I thought that's how these murder games worked. Yeah, uh, I, I would too. You shoot someone with a blow dot, they die. Are you crazy? It's just a make-believe game. No one should get hit with a blow dart. Hey, Espio took the game too seriously. Right. <laughs> I, I love it. Which, that makes sense because he's a fucking ninja, like that's, an assassin. That's totally him. So of course the assassin would take it too far. Totally. I, I was just following the rules. Uh -huh. Use this blow dart on Saj station in the car. It lets him all Thank you for, again, for choosing. <laughs> See? Staff. Oh my god. Oh my god, incredible. Now, who would want Sonic incapacitated, though? Yeah. Now, what's that? It says, use this blow dart on Sonic stationed in the conductor car. It is laced with anomalies and sleeping agent. Thank you again for choosing Mirage Express. <laughs> Staff. Staff. My employer? What is this? Instructions? Maybe the employee would know. I was given the blow dart along with that cool card. It's signed staff. 
Who gave this to you? I don't think of it. One of the robotic arms handed it to me. Ugh! Weapons shouldn't be allowed on the train. What is the larger picture here? Who instructed those arms to attack? Eggman. Eggman. Two or what? Clarence, do oh you? Oh my god. Who do you think attack Sonic and handed at the other blood? Oh my, really? I mean, the train was the one who handed the instructions, and if it's a bad Nick, then it's the Flicky, you know? Yeah, I would say it's the train. That's what I think. And technically, Espio didn't take things too far at all. This was technically his lore card. Please change things behind the scenes. Something wanted Sonic out of the picture, and for a good while, so I think. The train itself is plotting something. Ugh! First we need to learn the train's the bad Nick, and now it's out to get us? Once again, you keep saying the most ridiculous nonsense. You're seriously convinced the train has it out to get us? Yeah, man. I don't know what the train's full intent is. Evidently, that Flicky's pretty freaking old. And clearly it's been tampering with in our murder mystery game. Also, is it... Okay, I don't know if I'm the only one who sees this, but doesn't, like, the front of the train, like, behind Amy, doesn't it almost kind of look like Eggman's head? Like, it's got, like, the round dome and then, like, It's kind of got the mustache on the, the outside, you yeah. know? Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. It's kind of Eggman-ish. I get yeah. that. Train. Train. Uh. Oh, wait, that's too fuck. Why did I do that? Come out and show yourself! Uh, Amy! Oh, it's, shit. it's my birthday, and I don't need you messing with it! Amy's hitting the wall with her hammer. I'm with you, Amy. This train can have it. Come on, there's gotta be another way to get this train's attention. Uh-oh! What's that? <laughs> and so... Eggman? The murder begins. Again. There it oh, is. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It's looking Eggman-y. What did you two do? Oh! Is that the conductor? Oh my oh. god. He's no, been strangled to death. Kill him. And right before retirement. I know, I mean, we called it in the beginning. <laughs> Here, I can get him down. Do not touch him. Oh god, I forgot you can do that boy. Yeah, dude. Oh my god. Ugh! Please. Ah! Is the train talking? Of course, I can talk. You fools were too distracted playing your little game to figure it out. You were right, well, you were right, weren't we? What are you plotting? I'm taking all of you to Eggman's base, where you will rot. Eggman! <laughs> After I deliver your annoying party right to this egg fortress, bless you. Thank you. Annoying? Bless you? Who is he talking to? The conductor and I will be free to laugh and play games, ride the open rails, like we always planned. What are you? Enough. The train's picking up speed. Yeah, everyone, grab something. Hmm. Which one of these buttons turns the train off? Mm. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Glenn, you cut out, I guess. Uh, yeah, I probably did. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Stay put oh, until we arrive. Goodbye. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Lorelai's like, who needs a wife anyway when you've got a train? <laughs> Wait, dude, we've been writing Thomas the Tank Engine this whole fucking Ooh, time. Oh, da, 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 da. oh my god. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Where's my. Ah, ah, I can't find it. I don't know where my kazoo went. Oh no. <laughs> I can't keep my footing. Whoa! Smack. Dead. Absolute smack. Dead. <laughs> Everyone on the train is dead. dead. Oh my. Hmm. 
a bunch of evidence has fallen out of my pockets. Well, shit. Is this gonna be like the uh, Junko fight from Danganronpa? It's the final boss. Ugh. What, are we gonna need the evidence to prove that we are worthy of beating Eggman? Maybe. That we are worthy? Oh my god. Oh my god. My head. Tails. Amy. Ugh. Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? No need to yell, bud. Sonic, I'm sorry. Um, are you okay? Hanging in there. It seems the train's arms threw us back into the dining car. But where's everyone else? A great question. But for now, you alright? Sonic the Hedgehog, asking about me. If I'm alright. Dude, I feel like shit. Yeah, things aren't looking the brightest. But when the situation's dark, it's up to us to shine the way forward. Sonic's just as cool as everyone says he is. Let's, sure. get, let's get our bearings and take a look around. Good idea. Lead the way. Oh, nice. Damn. Oh, I guess a final investigation? I guess. Oh my god. All right. Still that napkins from earlier. The conductor and I found Vector's ticket in this napkin holder. Hmm, what was his ticket doing here? Maybe he confused a napkin for his ticket and his ticket for a napkin? Ha! <laughs> Hope his ticket didn't have a ketchup stain. You know, I like that they can find humor in dark times like this. It's true. I mean, at least nobody's actually dead. Except maybe the conductor. Yeah. Oh, man! What? What's wrong? The windows are all covered up now. Never got a look to look at the pretty views. Amy was saying the train's sights couldn't be beat. I was excited. After all we've been through, I'm sure the train company will offer you some kind of coupon for another visit. <laughs> That'd be great, as I still don't know where my wallet is. Oh, okay, well, incredible. I mean, he does still have his prison wallet. That's true. Dude, look at this creepy animal picture here. Kind of wacky. Spooky. Arms? Still cleaning? Hey, one of those robotic arms are in here too! Wow! Yo, it swiped at me! Best to leave it alone! The train's definitely mad at us. Good call. We gotta get out of here before that arm swipes at us again. Not if I swipe you back. Oh god, what do these say? Oh! That yellow glow is chilling. I miss when it was just showing us the weather. Sorry, oh. I actually had to step away for a little. You're good. Uh, I found the Eggman. Oh, yep, they're, they're all the logos. Well, that's better than the yellow glow, I guess. Who do you want to be? Oh, take it away, bud. Eggman? Take it away, bud. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Why is no one responding to me? I missed the yellow glow already. You got some nerve showing up here, Egghead. Oh, ho, ho. you spiky blue pest. Seems you've finally taken passage on one of my passenger trains. You created this train? Who the heck are you? Don't talk to me. <laughs> Ignoring that, they certainly didn't talk about you in my interview. My involvement is a in well-known citizen. The infrastructure in your town just wasn't cutting it. If I were to build Eggman land, these problems would need, would need sorting out. So, I courageously got involved. I converted some cargo trains into passenger trains for the sake of the public. It's just more useful for future schemes. Let me guess, another death egg, Dr. Predictable? The people fear giant spears. <laughs> it's science. It really is science, though. Yeah. Let's cut to the chase. Where are our friends? Judging by my security cameras, your pathetic friends are all locked in the cars they were stationed in. Why would I tell you that? Seems you managed to make the train quite upset. Did you not know this was happening? Sonic says looking directly at us. Heavens no! I'm only now getting caught up. I'm far too busy noticing what a passenger train is up to. I mean, honestly, he's 
God bless yeah. that. He's got a lot you going see on. The cap capability of a bad Nick is normally very basic. Just kills, just kills Sonic the Hedgehog. Easy. But for a luxury train, I wanted to be sure things ran without my supervision. And report to me if any of you happened to vote. This train's capability of intellectual thought is extraordinary. A feat only accomplished by my genius. So this confirms it. The train really is sentient. Suffice to say, your capture was inevitable. You're on a train that deserves nothing more than deliver you all to me. Oh. See, I got to thinking. I needed to manufacture motivation beyond program. Like to make my bad nicks complete it, compete against one another from time to time. It's good for productivity. That's an actual machine learning like algorithm to train networks. Seriously? Oh yeah. They basically so battle I, against each other trying to win. So I instituted a bounty upon my army of bandits. First to capture you pathetic creatures gets a generous reward. What is a reward for a badnik though? Yeah! That's what I'm thinking. The train wants to deliver us to Eggman for a reward? Oma Chow. My robots ask for something simple like my autograph or whatever, but a highly intellectual train may ask for something more interesting. As much as I like reward programs, are you done blabbering, Doc? You can never just win silently, can you? When you're dragged to my face, you'll regret the day you ever crossed me, hedgehog. I already do. Get lost. <laughs> Ciao. Ugh. He always knows how to get under my skin. That's actually impressive, because normally I think I thought normally it's the other way around. This is tough. The train has the motivation, and being made by Eggman is no doubt powerful. Not to mention, we're all separated. Hmm. What am I supposed to think? The train purposely had Sonic knocked out so it could deliver us to Eggman. This whole time we were all in danger, and I went along with it. Okay, y you lagged out there for a bit, bud. Ooh. Well, the train made us all go along with it this entire time, and all we did was sit around with it. Sonic was really hurt. The conductor's been captured. Should I have been more assertive earlier? Why do we have to be so down on ourselves? Yeah, seriously. Because, like, dude, you didn't fucking know that this train was of course one of the not. things. And along that, who we made Oma Chow anyway? Oh my god, okay, it's actually lagging out on our end. What the hell? Oh dear. Am I uh, that, at fault here? Uh, okay, we're good, I guess. Checking, all good? Uh, yeah, it looks it. All right. Am I at fault here? New Sonic was all along. I couldn't keep anyone safe. No, dude, stop doubting yourself. I hate this. Yeah, but you did know he was hurt. Hey. <gasps> I can tell the situation's getting to you. Oh, yeah. Sorry, I... I get it. The road's getting tough. It's easy to question the decisions that you got here. But when negative thoughts hit you, let it pass. Keep living. I need you here helping me think three things before I do something rash. See? I'm one of those, uh, leap before you think kind of guys. <laughs> okay. You're right. Oh my god, I love this. Let's okay, keep moving you forward. See it, but I'm dancing. And make things right. Breathe. Okay. We gotta get to the conductor's car before the train arrives at Eggman's base. The doors have been heavily fortified. How do we get through? Oh, you gotta believe in yourself. There's only one answer there. Yeah, believe in the me. Don't believe in the you who believes in the me. Believe in the believe you who believes in yourself. yourself. No matter the obstacle, I know you have what it takes to figure it out. The entire day, Tails and I have been asking ourselves what would Sonic do? So what would you do? You're a bunch of nerds! What would I do? Well, I'm not some sort of Jesus analog or anything, so I don't know if I'd know the answer to that. But, if I were me, I'd speed through head-on, rescue our friends, by any means necessary. Here, stand back! 
Zoom. Wa bam. Wa bam. Wow. And with one big windup, Sonic Spin Dash was fast enough to get the door open. Who knew? Ow. <laughs> now that the road's clear, nothing can stop us. Better hold on to your pants. I don't think we'll be getting another break after this. Ready to go? Do it. Let's do it. That's the spirit. Let's go get our friends. All right. To the conductor car to end this mystery. All right. And Ooh. I don't remember la when we last ended the episode. I think it was before our big uh, stubba to do. Oh, goodness. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh. Uh, yeah, okay, we're going to quickly wrap this up. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you were really enjoying this. Next episode will probably be the last one. So stay tuned and subscribe in so that way you don't miss it. So don't always, miss guys, Sonic! Good until next time. Lycos, out. Keep it up. Go for it. Hey, guys, Lycos Four here, and welcome back to the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. All right, the so Sonic's Man, alive! Eggman. And it was also Eggman's train the whole time. Who fucking knew? It was one more and big now, Eggman's robot. Eggman captured all her friends, it's time to go get him back and kill him. So oh, right. Let's go. Our friends are locked up in the cars ahead. In my last adventure, maxing out my ring count gave me an extra boost of speed. If I can grab enough rings, I should be fast enough to bust through the next door, too. Ready? Let's do this. Cool. Ringos. 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 Oh, Ringos. Bounce. Oh, I saw another bouncy thing there. I see. Bouncy, bouncy, ayo, okay, nice. got it. it, excellent, 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 uh, okay, oh. that's fine, ring count, ayo, to the door, nice. I love this so much, just wait till I see Eggman, I'm gonna clobber him, we gotta deal with the train first, come on, let's go, hmm, go, take nuclear are wrong for the ride, bouncy, oh, that wasn't a good idea, Ah, uh, there was too much along the way. Okay. Oop. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Oh, Not good. Boy. No. Oh, this is a good one. Oh, can I get the... Ah, oh, I totally missed it. Ah, oh, damn. No. Ah, uh, advancing too much. Ah, no, you... no, oh, I totally fun. missed it. Not enough rings. Is yeah. it just going to let me try again? Oh. Oh. Oh, yeah. It'll just let me try again. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, good. <laughs> Sonic's just like, nope, you lose. You suck, dude. We have to start oh over from the beginning of the game, and we deleted all your saves. <laughs> Sucks to be you, I guess. Get good next time, Scrub. Come on, step it up. Or at least try to. Oh, we were so close that time. Oh, it was damn, so close. Sure. Also, there's a there's a little photo frame in the background of the chow going, shh, so we must be in the library. Uh, oh, well, yeah, because look at the color of the stage. That's the Oh, true. Oh, totally, totally. Oh we're, my god, I did not mean to do that. Part. Oh yeah. Oh man. Oh jeez. Okay. Oh, I wanted to go for that one again, but I totally uh, missed it. Damn. I don't know if I made it this time. Oh, it was oh, a little on. bit closer than last time. Damn. A little bit closer. Uh. Alright, we'll go with that one. This guy. That one. Oh shoot. That's okay. It's fine. It. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Oh It'll my god. Fine. It's not fine, actually. Oh dear. Yeah, let's just die. <laughs> yeah, I, think, <laughs> I, I think that was. The... I know when to stop. Yeah. Here come the war crimes! Oh god. Alright, I wanna be over here yeah, for this one because I can jump like... in here. Oh my god. Like Somebody brought it up in the ago. beginning. Yeah. Oh my god. Dude, this has been a hell of a stream. Oh my god, yeah. This is going great. Oh, wow, that well, really sucked that for time. you, recording sesh for me. That's true. Dude, I'm glad that you joined me for this, Glenn. I really appreciate it. No, this is really fun, actually. Okay, I know what I must do. Go for that. Back of the side. Yep. Over here. Grab these coins. Rings. That's okay. Oh, no, I it was on the wrong one. There we go. Okay, right. just take over here. Can I get the... I totally missed it, but it's fine. Maybe? Oh, yes! Yeah. Oh, nice. Hell yeah, dude. Oh. You came for us. Naturally. 
Of course, but let's move. The train wants to take us prisoner and order a reward. Our reward is getting off this stupid train. Let's go. Let's -a go. Mm, Sonic style. Yep. Yeah, they now secure the casino. Naturally. Oh my god, okay. Nope, that was rough. Ow. Bouncy. Oh, there was one in the middle. And one on the side. Incredible. Okay, uh, if I only got one of those thingies. Damn. Alright. We'll get him this time. This one ain't too bad. It's just about oh. not crashing into things. Yeah, no. I'll it. admit, the isometric angle here makes it a little difficult to actually, like, get my bearing on what's happening. No, I gotcha. Also, this background, holy shit. Yeah, no, this is trippy. Oh, got one. Awesome. Nice. And that's really all we needed. That was it. Sweet. Nice. Lesson on through. Sonic. It's about time. I thought you were supposed to be fast or something. Oh, we gotta move. You two ready? And Rouge, for God's sake, stop back talking me, bitch. Always. Bring you Captain Blue Balls. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's time for the fire of doom. Fires of doom. Okay, well, fires of doom are scary, you know? Oh, right in the middle. Okay. I saw the little thingy too. Oh. Uh oh. Oh, 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 oh. Bounce. We got it. We got it. We got it. To the side. And the side. And the side. In the middle. Oh, oh, little missy. Little missy. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. Oh my god! We're so close. Oh my goodness. One more time. Oh my goodness. There's so much pressure going on here. God damn, you were one ring short. Oh my gosh. I shouldn't have taken those bumpers in the beginning. They sent me back just a little bit. Oh, hello. That's fine. Side and then middle. There. Oh, there was a little capsule, but it's okay. Doing okay. fine so far. To the side. In the middle. A little more. Bounce. Yep. Okay. Oh, damn it. oh, this is perfect. This is perfect. Just don't die. Yeah. Just don't die. And that was yeah. it. Alrighty then. Hell yeah, dude. Let's see the folks. Shadow. They lost Amy and Taylor. Say no more. Let's go. I knew I should have brought my glove. Only 55. Okay. Oh man, this must be a dangerous one then. Yeah, I mean, look at all this shit. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it looks short too. Oh my goodness. Oh wait, how can you tell how short it is? Oh, well, I just noticed my, there's like, a quartz thing. I just noticed it actually yeah. keeps track of the horse. Okay, that was close. That was close. Yeah. yeah. I didn't even realize. I completely forgot that there was a uh, um something keeping track of like how far you are at the top. Oh my goodness. Oh, that totally worked. Oh, nice. Okay. I was gonna try to avoid the spikes there, but it's okay. Okay. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's that's not as okay. Oh uh, boy. Oh, well, maybe, maybe, maybe reversal? Maybe, uh, nah, no, no reversal here. That was totally on me. I take full responsibility for that. I kept walking into well, too I mean, many spikes. You're, you're the one playing the game, bro. It's true. It is hosting it on my computer in Philadelphia. <laughs> On the bright side, you know, uh, all things considered, this is actually kind of encouraging because evidently we can totally still play a game together, even even though we're like at least an hour apart from each other. Yeah, no. Like, oh, nice. Honestly, I think that if nothing else, this was a great test to see if we could do something like this, and the answer is yes. Yeah, I mean, there's it's definitely bet. I think there's always room for technical improvement, which I'm always glad to explore with you, pal. Of course. Sonic. Sonic, you're here. There's no way, this is no way to treat the birthday girl. You're right, I'm ready to stop this train. Time to finish this. And so we finally stopped looking at our iPad for one second. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Excellent work trapping these paths. Now hurry to me. Mm. I must properly dispose of them to begin my plans for Eggman Land and probably another death egg. Please don't teleport us to the future. Oh god. Oh my god. Teleport you all. 
Oh, to the future, when I've already ruled the planet. Sure, I'll do that, whatever. Shut it, Eggman. Don't disappoint me, train, hurry it up. I will not fail, my wish will be granted. Your wish? Oh, you mean the bounty. I don't care what you call it, just bring me those overgrown mammals. We are kind of overgrown mammals. I will say, why do I have a feeling its wish is it doesn't want the dude to retire? Aww, that's gonna be really sad, actually. Like, I have a feeling that's its wish. Mm-hmm. That Eggman! I must get my wish. I will not fail. This is it, everyone. Get ready. We're taking this thing down. Time to kill a train. If that's even possible. Ooh. Train time. Oh, oh hey. Run. Oh, that's actually I kind of... I want to keep on running. This you actually is that? mildly terrifying. Whoa. Holy shit. There's a lot happening. There is a lot happening here. Oh, hi there. It's fine. It's chill. It's chill. Oh, oh god. Oh my god, I'm one oh. ring away! Oh, I love this train hit. though. I love running alongside the train. This is really cool, actually. This is really cool. Also, the, the music for this game has been really, really nice. Just, which yeah. is just like par for the course for a Sonic game, but still. Oh my god. Okay, my, my controls were getting a little laggy there. Oh okay. good. I fully blame that. Oh, what a run. Loco oh, for wait. locomotion. I like that. Locomon, bitch. Locomon? Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. It's a Digimon. Oh, it's Locomon's a actually a thing? Yes. It's a Digimon. It's literally just a train. Oh my god, I cannot believe I jumped right over that. <laughs> oh my god. Like, I'm assuming that was Lorelei who talked about Locomon. Absolutely. Yeah, I would expect nothing less, especially because I, 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 I said the thing. Come on, baby, do the locomon. Come on, baby, let's go kill a train, yeah. Kill the train, Bounce. yeah. There we go, we're good, we're good. Whew. Oh my god. None of you can possibly understand. We promised to be together our whole lives. How could you just leave that it was nothing? Call it. What do you mean? A conductor? Oh my god. He's retiring. You just have to accept that. My wish will keep us together forever. That's what being friends is all about. It's for someone to be friends with you. That's just messed up. Shut up. Just shut up. Dude's getting angry. Yeah. Aw, it's so sad. Eggman created a sentient robot and gave it emotions. Why would yeah. you do that to a machine, Eggman? Why would you do that to the poor machine? It doesn't deserve it. It just deserves happiness. Oh my god. Did I miss one? Oh, we're good. Oh, we're totally good. Nice. Ooh. And apparently Grand Locomom was in an OVA and kept using the phrase bro quoting. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Eggman, Eggman, can you hear me? My wish, my wish, my wish. Make the conductor never leave me. Let us be friends forever. The kind of friends who would never leave each other. Why would he betray me? Dude, that robot's getting pissed. Holy shit. Yeah, because it's probably like his only friend. Yeah, that's really sad. He's just like, I don't want my friend to leave me. Oh, fudge. Even though, like, I mean, the dude's had a good run. Yeah, for real, though. Okay, that's fine. Like, okay. Let's say this gentleman... How old do you think the conductor is? Well, he's been at this for at least 32 years, so... My gut says, like, 60s or 70s. He's definitely over 65. I think we established that with the, whoever made the rules. Oh, oh like, my god. Close. Ah, oh, damn. But, like, he's just... 
okay? He needs to retire. Like, he wants to retire. Yeah, dude wants to rest. Maybe he can retire with the train, just take it with him. Aww, Who knows? That'd be, that'd be so cute. We love a happy ending. Yes, we do. Good stuff, dude. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, my God. Locomotion. Oh. Here we go. Locomotion. Uh. Oh, here we go. We got it. Oh, my gosh. Oh, <laughs> conductor. You promised me. You promised. Let him speak. Oh, my God. Train, stop this. When I told you we'd be with each other forever, I was a much younger man. I'm getting old. I'm tired. Excuses. How dare you abandon me? I'll be lonely. So lonely. Why must you insist upon loneliness for me? Aww. Oh. No. Stop. What are you doing to me? Please don't make me do this. We have to rescue the conductor if we ever want to stop this train. Oh. Oh, speed. It's time for supersonic speed. Oh my god. Oh, hey, oh. What the? Oh, oh hey, bro. Um, oh, um, hey, bro. You can see the silhouette of the conductor in there. Oh my god, it's tragic. You know, go. the moment he said he was going to retire, I had a feeling that I was going to play. Mmm, intuition. Oh, he's shooting laser beams at me. Oh my god. Dude, this is so crazy. Like, I know on my end it's oh, so I missed... laggy and it's so hard to see. Like, oh god my damn. gosh. On the bright side, I've got the full cat. Well, I got my face in front of the capture, I guess, but... I will provide you with all the recording equipment. All the footage, I mean. Natural. Okay, got that guy. Oh, I totally couldn't got it now, guy. Oh, whoops. Oh, nice. We totally got it. Nice. Yes! Alright. Oh, nice. One spin dash. Oh. oh, we gotta hit it three times. Right? Maybe? Oh. Oh, well. Oh, there to the flicky oh. yet. Oh, so my flicky. God. It's running so fast. <laughs> Oh my god! The Flicky! It's like the lore card when my ex best friend left detectives left detective work to join the Eggman. Oh my god. So this really is a bad Why did I say it? The <laughs> stakes raise every second, huh? You gotta save them. Oh, dude. Let's show our full power. The power of friendship! Oh, hi there. Power of friendship, power of friendship, power of friends. You know that you're my friend. Oh my god, hi there. Oh, we love, love, love laser beams! Holy shit. Oh my god, hi. Definitely shouldn't have jumped at that. Here we go. Cool. Oh my god. Oh, hi. Oh, whoa, oh, jeez. Whoa, whoa. Okay there. Uh, calm down, guys. <laughs> Like Sonic can only take so rock. much. That was insane. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's insane. Holy wow. shit. That was a lot. Blaze arson, the power of arson. Oh my god. Yep. Blaze is just like, I'm just gonna set the train on fire. Oh my god, whoops. Well, I mean, if she got to the fuel... Oh, my. Well, I don't know if it... I mean, it's running on flicky power, so there... I don't think this right, thing uses gasoline. Never mind. Well... It the flames the flicky, he dies. No more power. Oh no! Oh, I think that was gonna be a, that was gonna be a good one. Dude, you were close. Indeed. I need to take this one. Um, this guy. I need you. That. Nice. Good shit, dude. Oh, I just saw that one too. Oops. Damn. Oh my god. Okay, up this way. And then I have the spikes in between that I can jump upon, not get hit. 
not get hit. Okay, well, we got hit. That's fine. Oh my god. Come on. Ah, damn it. Dude, my eyes are... Dude, staring at the screen is making my eyes feel so weird. It's like my entire desk is moving because of the speed of this thing. Okay, this is wild. This is awesome, though. Although it's really this tough to play. It is really tough to play this. Dude, this looks really tough. Oh my like, god. No. Oh, I saw the bumper. Yeah, just have to, like, readjust your eyes, too. That's what she was doing, like, while there was, like, moving background things that were always distracting me. Oh, yeah. Like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But oh, we're making it through! We're making it through! We're making it through! Maybe... No! Uh, okay. Uh, getting closer. Damn. Getting closer. Each time, getting a little bit closer. Getting a little bit closer. A little bit closer. All right, give it a- Aw, oh, man, you totally lagged on me! Just die. Oh. Totally lagged on me. Okay, that's fine. Just give me the- give me the good. Give me the good good. I'll take it. Give me the good good. That's fine. I also wanted that one, but that's fine. Here we go. Oh, a little bit of hurt. A little bit of hurt. A lot of bit of- a lot of bit of sadness. Here we go over here. Bounce. Run in the middle. Yeah. The side. Over here. Get the things. Okay. That was good. That was good. That was good. That was okay. That was mediocre. But it was closer. Uh, it. it was closer yeah. than the last time. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That didn't play out well. Not, not we're letting oh, that, letting that go. Yeah, no, restart. Yeah, I think that that so first area bad. is really that that first area is kind of difficult to get past, especially when the game yeah. just decides to lag on you. Yeah. Get that? Bounce. Okay. Nice. Now we're good. We're off to the races. We're off to the races. Yeah. Oh my God, that thing bounced on me. Okay, twice then. That's uh, and I jumped off the edge. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. Whoopsie. God. Ooh, this one, this one's, uh, this one's really testing my courage here, you know? This is a doozy. This is a doozy. Yeah, it is a doozy indeed. I feel that one. I felt oh. that. I felt that in my soul. And I'm feeling all of this in my fingers. Alright, actually, I'm gonna go with these guys. Because I think that there's value more in those coins the rings there. Okay. I also love it when it continues to move even though I unclick the button. Alright. Or just or just moves anyway. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my goodness. Oh man. This is not a not a good one. Not a good one. Not a good one. Now I just gotta have yeah, I just gotta have fun with it this time. <laughs> This must be like the last one. This is totally insane. Or I'm just, or it's gonna be even harder next time. Oh my god. I can only imagine. Oh, Why? I thought I, I thought I jumped. Oh. Uh, Who knows? Maybe next one might just be like a supersonic segment, so it might be stupid easy. Oh my god, the chaos symbols just pop up out of nowhere. Yeah. That would be so surprising. Feel it in my eyes again. All right, we're at like 70-ish. Okay, go over here. Bunch of stuff happening here. A little bit of hurt. A little bit of hurt. But we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. We are okay. We're okay. We got it. Oh, yes. Oh, baby. Oh, dude. Nice. Another hit down. Just, just be delivered to Eggman already. What about, what about my happiness? Your happiness comes at the expense of others. Last I checked, that's called being selfish. Me, selfish. How, how dare you? Oh my God, there's more. Oh, mm, there's God. more. Oh, there's more. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, my guy. No, 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 don't be sorry. This is fun. It's video games. That's what it's all about. Holy shit. There's also stars falling from the sky. That was beautiful. It's all about taking the moments of suffering and just realizing how beautiful things are. It's all beautiful. The beautiful clouds. We're like, it's like, like a train in space or something. I don't know. Dude, it's like a technicolor nightmare. Like, goddamn. 
Technicolor Knight. You know, I feel that. That's it. That's accurate. That was a good one. Good streak. Good streak. Good streak. Oh my god, good streak. Holy crap. Holy credoodles. Oh my god, I got it. Nice. 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 Oh my god. No! Fell off the edge. Oh my goodness. Dude, so many rangs. So many rangs of power. The rang. The rangs. It's the rang thing. It's the rang thing to do. It's a rang thing, don't you know? like the, uh, the ring of power that's like $50,000 or whatever. Oh my goodness. Too much money for the ring of power. Okay, I'm gonna be over here. I'll probably live in something there if I jumped on it, but I did not, and it's okay. We're at 70. We're at 70. Okay. Oh, well. No. Mm. It's tough. It's yeah, tough, my is, gay. That is insanely tough. Whoa. Maybe this is the last one. I want to believe it. We're at 100 rings. It, can, it can't be worse than this, right? Rings, it can't be worse like than this. There's no way. Thing. Unless there is a way, in which case, dude, Sonic and their suffering. Okay. Just follow the rings. Follow the rings. Follow the rings, right? Follow the rings. Oh, no. I, same as before. Same as before. I gotta get more Damn. in the beginning. If I get more in the beginning, I think we'll be okay. It's like you really can't afford to get hit, because goddamn. Yeah. Now it's just a matter of not falling off the edge. A and skill. I was gonna say, I was gonna say skill as well. <laughs> that was definitely what I was going for. Wanna be on this side? That's fine. Over here. Oh, that was a little too far. Okay, that's fine. Oh, that was good! Oh, that was really good! Oh, that was exceptionally good. Nice. Oh, no. A little bit of lag there. A little bit of lag. Oh. Okay, a little bit better. Just okay. A, just a tad. Not, not a tad. bad. Whew. These hands of mine. These hands Dude. of mine are feeling it. I'm so sweaty right now. Oh, my God. I am the conductor. Oh. I am the employee. My hands are incredibly sweaty. Sweaty I'm through my jacket. Ask, like, how sweaty are your hands? Palms are sweaty, knees weak, like my mother's spaghetti. Does your mother make spaghetti? Mm, I mean, I haven't had my mother's spaghetti in quite a while. Mm. Oh man, he got me. Damn. Oh my god. Yeah, I think there's a little bit of like, it's probably my computer, but there's a little bit of impact lag sometime, and so I don't make the jumps all the time. Mm -hmm. Or, or I don't move lanes all the time. Yeah. That was a lot of hit. I don't think we're gonna make it this time either. But, practice. Okay. Or yeah. <laughs> just run through all the spikes. <laughs> oh my gosh. Make it your objective to hit every obstacle on your way. Dude, honestly, I feel like that'd be harder. Or not. Yeah, no. Oh, if you run out of rings, you just straight up die. I have learned that for the first time. Oh, regular Sonic rules. Awesome. Regular Sonic rules. Regular Sonic rules. You've established the rules of the universe and you stick with that. We appreciate it. Yep, that's good. That tracks. Yeah. Oh my god. Damn. Yeah. It's like weird when I'm clicking on one button and then it doesn't do what I expect it to. <laughs> like when I click the space bar, it doesn't, it doesn't pop over. I don't want to. I don't want to blame Sega for this. This is definitely not their fault. This is most definitely my computer. No, because there's a lot going on. Oh yeah. Oh, there's a lot going on. I was good. Like not only what's on the screen, but also all the stuff right in the back. Oh, for sure. Got remember, the 50. Kids, back end stuff is very important. Okay, that was unfortunate. Uh, nah, it's not gonna. Nah, it's not happening. No good. No good, this one. That's okay. That's no good. That's no good. Sonic says, get more rings. Ding, ding. Here, there, here. Metal across. All right, boy, the middle. Should be okay. I can afford at least a little bit of those. Inside, 57. That's okay. 57, you're about halfway there. Take all those from the side. Throw over there. Avoid it. Okay, that was alright. No, but I fell. That was pretty close. 
That no, felt pretty, pretty close. close. Yeah. Okay. Back to this. Go over here. Back to the side. Oh, that's cool too. Uh, oh. That's fine. That's fine. Jump too early. That's a little bit of a just a little bit of a restart at the very beginning. Just reminding me where we are. Mr. Mr. Captain Hedgehog. I like the fact that he still has his uh, hat on. Yeah, it's it's wonderful flavoring. <laughs> hat flavored hedgehog. We like that flavor. Yeah, that we do. Yeah. Cameron, with the next, what's your favorite flavor hedgehog? Uh, vanilla. Oh, that was the closest we've gotten so far. Oh, 91. I Damn. like, I like vanilla hedgehogs. I guess. If I had to pick a favorite, can you, gotta be vanilla. Can you oh, chocolate eat hedgehogs. hedgehogs. I, think I feel like, I feel like you can I guess Grace Hedgehog. I guess be my you favorite. Know what? I guess. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna Google it. No, that's it. <laughs> that is it. Oh jeez. Oh my god. The vanilla was a rabbit. Cream's mom. Oh my god. I don't need a Cream's mom flavored Sonic. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Oh, oh my god. goodness gracious. What does hedgehog taste like? So thoughts of a first-hand experience. Yes, Glenn, do some research. We need to know. Okay. Oh my god, it's like a whole ingredient. What the hell? What does hedgehog taste like? Hedgehog meat has a sharp pork-like flavor according to folks with first-hand experience. The texture is quite chewy and may take several times to get used to, especially those with no exotic meat consumption experience. Exotic. Popular, hedge popular hedgehog recipes include roasted hedgehog, he hedgehog meatballs, and sauteed hedgehog mushrooms. Sausage meatballs. Sonic's the meatballs. My god. It's Sonic the meatballs. Not bad. Oh, okay. actually extremely bad. Your interest in consuming hedgehog meat is neither gross nor perverted because it has served as a delicacy in many cultures around the root for, around the world for centuries. Oh, that's cool, actually. Locations and, locations and tribes where hedgehogs were formerly popular or or are still enjoyed to eat include ancient Egypt, ancient Britain, uh, Romani people, they still enjoy hedgehog today. Ah! Ancient Eurasia and ancient Africa. Hmm. I'm learning quite a each bit culture, about eating hedgehogs. Each, each culture had a distinct method for cooking hedgehog meat. For example, the ancient Brits wrapped hedgehog meat in leaves before cooking it to prevent it from burning. The gypsies, on the other hand, wrapped clay around the hedgehog's body before roasting. They breaking off the hard clay after roasting, removing the sponge from the hedgehog's body so the meat could be enjoyed with heat. Okay. Little bit. I don't know if I've improved at all, but this is just a matter of luck at this point. Eventually, we'll get there. No, like... I mean, you're getting closer. Whoops. Huh. Whoopsie. I also I love like, how the little, the little hands still have the bow ties on them, even as they're trying to kill us. I like that. Uh, That's also a nice flavor. And falling. Also a very good flavor. In my skin. It's all about flavor. Flavor in my skin? Glenn, what are you- are you okay? No, I meant falling, but uh, Oh, falling- oh, falling. Crawling. Crawling in my skin. Yeah, that's- that's kind of what I was going for, but- That work. space bar is wild and- wild and wild and- Oh, my goodness. Huh, well this is a lot, says Sonic. <laughs> this is freaking crazy! Okay, that's I fine. Nice, that actually worked. I actually got the thing that time. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Oh my god, that was so close! Oh, that was super duper close! Nice! Nice, nice! Oh my goodness, it was because I got that one at the end. It was that other, um, the thingy at the end. That's really important to get. If I can get both of the capsules, it's very, very beneficial. Dude, if that one hand did not hit you, you would have had that. 
Okay. Got that capsule. That's yeah. good. And the other capsule is coming up. Oh, I missed it. It's okay. Ah, damn. So, close-ish. 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 Okay. Still Not really bad. close, though. If I got that one capsule, it would have been totally okay. Yep. Agreed. Oh, no. <laughs> R.I.P. Oh, my goodness. That was close to the edge. That was close-ish. We take those. We take those. I'm going to enjoy a Triscuit. Oh, please enjoy your Triscuits. What kind of what kind of Triscuits are they? Hints of sea salt. Oh, those are those are good. Those are really good. I have almost eaten the entire I just oh, started with them today. That was good. Alright, close there. Close there. Itchy nose. Nice. Ah, itchy nose. Okay, cool. Is you? I have these salted caramel cookies on my desk that I snack on every once in a while, and all I want to do is eat a salted caramel cookie right now. I feel it. Oh my god, Glenn, you're such a bro. Ah, ah. Oh, okay. This feels. This feels. This feels. I can feel this. Get that? Get that. Oh my god, get that. Oh my god, get that. That's it. That's it. We did it. We got it. Ooh. That was it. All you gotta do it is once. All you gotta do is just once. We did it. That was good. No, no, no. No. Oh like, my god! Objection! <laughs> oh my god, it totally is. That's totally the objection thing. It's over! Time to pay for ruining my birthday! Wow! Nice. Love hammer. Pico Pico. And then the tray explodes? Oh. Conductor. Where's the conductor? Is the conductor dead? <laughs> oh my god. Oh, jeez. <laughs> That's great. And then Sonic, the hero as always. Yep. The train's slowing down. Great hit, Amy. <laughs> it was pretty great, wasn't it? That's what you get when you mess with my special day. That's still the weak hammer. That's a good point, Lorelai. <clears throat> beep, 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 beep. I... I just... couldn't bear to see you go. I'm sorry for the trouble. Zerp. Aww. That's sad. Yeah. I think our work here is done. Now let's get off this thing. Thank you. Oh, Goodbye, my friend. I may be leaving the rails, but I assure you, I'll never forget our time together. Oh, That's so cute. Oh, that's really sad. Aww. That's really sad. That is really sad. <laughs> that put a tear to my eye. Oh, my God. Aww. Okay, that train is the only one. That's oh my god. That train's beating the shit. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, holy shit. <laughs> oh, buddy. Uh, we did it. Well, I'd say I've never been on a train like that before. This universe has a unique way of doing things. Oh, watch your step. Watch your step. You watch your step. Watch your step. I can't believe it's over. The mystery of Sonic the Hedgehog's murder is officially over. Maybe next, 
Maybe next birthday we should ask Vanilla to make dinner. <laughs> we were just talking about her. You know, Cream's mom. Whoa. You don't love parties where, where by the end someone tries to kill you? No, Vector, do you? What the, what the hell is your problem, dude? What kind of parties do you go to? I think I'm actually going to miss this group's unhinged way of thinking. Oh. Honey, you're late! I've been waiting here for hours! <laughs> You'd honestly never believe what happened. My train tried to give me a prostate! I mean, uh... Killer. <laughs> what so was that, I won't honey? even try. Your train tied <laughs> to finger you again? Oh, that train of yours. Always getting oh, all that. weird. Oh, that train. I'm just glad you're here. Quick, we leave for Spagoni in the morning. We need to pack. I'll pack faster than the wind. I need this vacation something terrible. Oh, you definitely do. And I need you home. Happy first day of retirement, dear. Seems the conductor is more than ready to begin his retirement after this ordeal. I'm happy for them both. Mo, who's this? An old friend, I think. Well, they're a cutie, that's for sure. Cheep, cheep, cheep. Cheep, 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 cheep. Seems that Flicky found a friend. Great job saving that little guy, Espio. Oh my god. It was the least I could do. Sonic, everyone, I sincerely apologize for the trouble I caused. Oh my god, look at all the chows. They've even got the bouncer. Wait, wait, wait where are they? We still got the bouncer right here. I want to see them. Oh my god, I completely forgot <laughs> to read that line. <laughs> yes, it, you did. It's hard to know <laughs> what I would have done in the same situation. I wouldn't have hit somebody with a blow dart. Seriously, a dart? <laughs> it won't be hard to get close to you otherwise, Mr. Speed of Sound. Mm hmm. Oh, I it's mean, a big honestly? chow band. Oh. <laughs> Regardless, I am sorry. We're cool. And now that we're all safe, it was fun. This group has a wild idea of fun. Boy, I am starving. I forgot we never ate. With all the clutter, I com clatter. I completely forgot I was hungry. Ew, I was a strike of plane detective. Naturally. If only you could have seen me, Sonic. I was finding clues, presenting evidence, poking holes in alibis. Sonic, wait, where'd he go? Everyone, guess what? What? This station has a bakery, and look what I bought! Ah, A birthday oh, cake! I call bullshit. Oh my god. There's no way. He stole it. Maybe. Happy birthday, Amy! birthday, Amy! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Right. Happy birthday. To, say to... to the confident, unshakable, and radiant Amy Rose. Oh, wait, didn't Tails also say that he had candy on him? Uh, yes, he had jelly. Yeah, but, like, he's got no pockets to keep it in. Prison wallet. Excellent observation. <laughs> oh, my. To an adventure of a birthday, darling. An adventure of a birthday, indeed. Indeed, indeed, indeed. A member of a party every year. What was last year? To a fun birthday. A ride from start to finish. I never did fill that body bag. May our friendship grow stronger each celebration. I admire your tenacity. May you never lose your vivacity. Happy birthday to Amy and her sparkling personality. Personacity? Personacity, fuck. <laughs> SBO, you dumbass. Oh shit! Happy birthday! I'm not smart enough to know if I if personacity is a word. <laughs> Incredible. We love you, Amy. Happy birthday! Ah, thank you guys. We almost got murdered by a lonely train, but 
I wouldn't trade these adventures for anything, never in a million years. You guys won't ever leave me, right? Wouldn't dream of it. Now, let's have some cake. Please sit in, everyone. Yay! I hope it's Oh my god, Shadow. Oh, oh Shadow. man. Oh, Shadow. They made him such like a sweet bean. Like, they, like, totally they made did. him like the tough guy who's like really sweet on the inside. Oh, Love yeah. That. <laughs> I love it! <laughs> oh my god. Let's go, Dad. They've got they've got Metal Sonic and I, I don't remember the um the girl's name from or the AI's uh, name from Frontier. Frontier yeah, from I Frontiers. Her name. I don't recall. I don't remember her name. <laughs> Let's go, fire. Dad. I love it. I love this. I'm just gonna Oh, I can't save at this point. <laughs> Never mind. The flag though. Oh the little flag! Sage! Sage was their name. Never making it here, is it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Orba, prepare a bath. <laughs> the happy rubber duck or the angry one? <laughs> angry. <laughs> sour, sour choice, your evilness. That was excellent. Those duckies. Shut up! Oh wow, what a great ending to that. That was awesome. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. And that's my story of when I met Sonic and his friends. Entangled in their lives for a fleeting moment, and then back to things as they were. Cities realized Eggman was running the train system and fought back to seize control. Everything's squeaky clean now. As for me, I. Oh, did we quit our job? Ooh, I don't we, know. I, oh, I feel like did. we would have stuck with it. We had a ton of fun. Yeah, that's fair. Plus, we've had the fucking Sonic the Hedgehog. And then. He oh, became I, the conductor. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I kept my job. And then I practiced, practiced my singing. My singing. Naturally. Yes. And after all after that. that I managed to fly to space. Whoa, dude, did I really? Holy shit. Holy crap. Yeah, we've been to space. Yeah. That's just been my life. Holy shit. That's great. How did the job Glamour work without a train, jam. though? Excellent point. The murder of Sonic. That was absolutely excellent. What an adventure that, that was. was. delightful. I'm so glad we were able to completely play that all in one sitting. Dude, that was a really... One thing I will say, I really liked the costumes, actually. Oh my god. Oh, Glenn, like, you didn't... I thought they all looked great. You couldn't see, but I'm in a costume right now. Oh, really? I'm dressed up as a little inspector. Oh, I got, I've got all my, I got all my fancies on. I've even got a little handkerchief. It's also I'm plaid. Just a regular t-shirt. That's fair. I definitely should have been using this handkerchief whenever my nose got actually, a little ass. Actually, I'm more like I'm more like Sonic than you could imagine. I'm wearing a shirt and nothing else. Are you telling me you're not wearing pants, Glenn? No. Um. Uh, uh, what do you mean by that? Uh, my uh, my, my uh, pants may be fleeting, and I think my arm is bleeding. And I went to. Go and to then? my car, but then I got kicked pretty far. Nice. That was great, though. Like, considering this game is free, that is delightful. I'm just really happy to see that, like, I, I don't know. I, I like, I like Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. I like Sonic the Hedgehog. And this was a very awesome, Agreed. complete diversion from, like, the normal flow of things. Mm -hmm. I'm a fan of that. Sonic just has, like, a personality that I like. Mario yeah. doesn't have a personality. That is the big thing between them, is Sonic... Like, ever since, yeah. like, the early days of Sonic, like, Sonic had personality. Oh, yeah. Mario really doesn't. Yeah. At least, not for that. Oh, did they indicate Bouncer Chow was based on a person? There were two names. Or there was, there was Bouncer Chow and the other Chow, and there was a person there. Or two, I think. That was cool. That is very, very cool. I bet he had a mustache like that and everything. That's even better. Awesome. Oh, 
Oh my god! Look, the stray cats! The stray cats outside of Justin's house! Oh, Big the cute. cat, the dog. Oh, Big the cat, the dog. That's funny. Happy Thank you, year. Sega, for Happy letting us make this game. Day. Oh. Thank you, Sega. This was delightful. Oh, so Sega allowed them to make this game and license it. That's so cool. Big the cat, the dog. That's so cool. Aww. Oh, that is that wonderful. Was delightful. Oh my wow. god. That was super cool. Glenn, Agreed. my guy. Thank you so much, Glenn, for playing well, dude, thank playing you. this. You're the one who played the game. Who was playing the game? I was oh, like, well, I'm more than happy to do so. May this be another installment in the beautiful series that is this Cam and Lycos, Glamorin. 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 Like, I would love to do like this, this more because this was delightful. I am. I am. I, Glenn. All. All I want is to be able to share my content with people. And you are also a man of content. Premium quality content, if I may add. Thank you. Let's, let's collab, man. Collab yeah, more. Yeah, no, I, I, Yeah, I, dude, bless. Totally. Because collabing with you is always a blast, because, like, oh. being, in, being in your presence and just doing stuff with you, it's always a good time. You flatter me, sir. You flatter me. Glenn, you were the one to read the, I, I feel like I haven't mentioned it enough, but, like, you starting your YouTube journey was pretty much why I started my Twitch journey. Very much one of the leading factors here. I would not be here without you, so thank you for that. Alright, well, folks, at least on my side of the stream, that's it. We're done. Yeah. And we'll wrap so, things up from there. Yeah, and you guys who watch, who watch from home, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this game as much as we did. Because th this was an absolute treat. Oh, absolutely indeed. Gotta find more stuff like this to do. Yeah, definitely. All right. So I think that'll be it for this one. So as always, guys, goodbye. Good till next vibes time, till next time, y'all. Like Out. Bye. Bye. And of course, to the folks over on this side who stuck around until the bitter end, thank you very, very much. It is very late over here. Downright almost 2 o'clock in the morning, but it ain't too late for Holy a good shit. set of friendship and stuff. This was very, very fun, and I'm glad that we were able to experience this. I'm super glad I was able to play this. This was awesome. Dude, so, I'm so happy I, I joined in for this, because... Indeed. I would not have wanted to miss this. Indeed. And so all the folks out there who stuck around to the end, I hope your evening is going absolutely wonderfully. Hopefully it has been. And if perhaps it is the morning where you guys are, then may you have a wonderful rest of your morning. Twilight, dawn, eleven seas, otherwise... Whatever time it is. Whatever time it is, it doesn't matter. The party will continue next time on Wednesday when I see you all for cocktails. But until then, y'all... From Lycos and I to you, bye. Bye.